How exciting. Yeah, I'm excited. It's not, it's not, not a unanimously fun experience playing. That's not the right word at all. Bloodborne. <laughs> well, it's uh, unanimously fun. <laughs> are you trying to say that not everybody considers it fun? Oh, uh, no. What? See, that's that's why it's the incorrect word. What I'm trying to say is that it's not fun all the time. Mm -hmm. So there's got to be a better word for that. Consistently fun? Yeah, but that's boring. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted it to be a cool little uh, word play pun usage. It's supposed to be a writer, goddammit. <laughs> <laughs> I feel... Well, look, all right. It's the, the it's definitely the mark of somebody who's not completely insecure to figure out the biggest, craziest words to communicate very simple things. Well, um, that actually ties into the name of my character right now. It's uh, uh wait, it's I. You gotta send me a link. I can't see it. It's, well, it's not. Um, I don't think it's listed yet. It's functioning uh, though. That's the important part. Public stun save. Alright, it's listed yet. It's fun. Okay. No, that's the important so that's the link you'll need. Ooh. Oh, it. it's right there. It's just popped up. Oh, well, if you have it anyway. Um would you like to see it now? Uh yes. Okay. Please, please let me see. I'm excited. Have you seen it? <laughs> it's a furtive gunt. So like, do you know what that means? <laughs> no, I don't. Go but Google I want to. Google both the words. The first one is an actual word, the okay. second one is more of a urban dictionary word. Okay, so you have you misspelt furtive? Um oh, I didn't mean to if I did. So furtive Attempting to avoid notice or attention typically oh, yeah. because of guilt or the belief that the discovery would lead to trouble. So, <laughs> so it is the attempting to avoid attention because of guilt and belief guns. So what is it? <laughs> so what is that second word? All right. Well, let's look up gunt. Um... <laughs> <laughs> gunt is slang for a fatty area below the <laughs> pelvic button and above the public area of a woman, often as a result of childbirth, weight gain, or just having a normal body. Related words, chode. <laughs> <laughs> Says dictionary.com. The, the furtive guy. The f Man, I want to try harder with the next one, the proper one. It's just funny because, like, it's like, what do you, what, what does that even, why is your character named that? You're like, shut up. You don't get it. Yeah, like, wh what is a furtive gun? It's like, wouldn't you like to know? That would no, be I would, spoilers. Though. <laughs> so and you... plus, that's the whole idea. It's furtive. You got to figure it out for yourself. Hell yeah. I'll be having people oh, right, spoil the context. It. What's happening here? Oh. I mean, are enough people in yet? Are you, what are you doing? You carrying on? Uh, um. Well, I mean, I'm I'm just gonna start pushing on, but I guess we can just wait for people to show up. I mean, yeah, um, it's not a huge deal. I, it's in my title. I've just said. Uh, I don't know if I called it practicing or testing Bloodborne, something like that. Uh, there's a prep for a rematch, whereas mine is chill, even though it's not chill at all. I'm I'm like, it's actually the opposite of chill. I'm trying to game the system by like going hee hee hee. I'm gonna beat you guys next time by racing ahead. Oh my Starting God. from exactly where I am before. Um, yeah, Mel's been playing it a lot, so he'll be ready for this rematch. I know that, well, I mean, if he doesn't beat Orphan of Cause, you know. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see if he can get past the shadows. Or whatever. Though, I did a, a small playthrough with um, the cane while I was uh, in between right. editings, and I quite like the cane. It might be my favorite. It's um, it's um, it's okay. It's pros are not as overt as the the saw cleaver is probably the best. Um, the axe I don't like at all actually. Right. It's funny because I used to really like the axe. Not sure what happened.
character growth, you say, you know? That sort of thing. Um, so like, the boss that I'm fighting right now is the spider. How, how difficult would you say that one is? Oof. It's kind of hard to pin oh. down. <laughs> that's not a good sign. I don't think you're gonna beat it first try, let's put it that way. It's a bit of a bitch well, I only, sometimes. I only have four, uh, I only have four, um... The spiders keep jumping at me. Yeah, well, obviously... It has uh, three phases. First phase, only they are annoying. Second phase, it starts doing, um, you know, attacks on you, the big one. Looks um, like you're in second phase, so have fun. Okay, but I, I guess my, my, oh, what, oh, what the? No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Fuck me. Bullshit. I guess I gotta go farm some blood vials. Oh, jeez, all right. Uh, hey guys, how's the watch party for Man of Steel go? <laughs> We're not up to it yet. Yeah, we didn't do that but, yet. Uh, but, um, I'm sure that's gonna be a lot... Get up! I'm sure that's gonna be a lot of fun. Um, we, we, as you now know officially, because the Wonder Woman one is up, we don't really like those movies much. Hey, Wonder Woman's oh, supposed beat... to be the best one. You beat the wolf without the thing. I well, did is now, is now the perspective that Shazam is the best one, or is it still Wonder Woman? Is that my money would be on Man of Steel right now? Well, I mean, in terms of what I'm guessing is going to be the best film, I'm on Man of Steel as well. But don't people generally? If it was like there's two different DCEU fan groups, there's like the 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 Snyder fans who mainly just give a shit about Snyder stuff. And then there's the other people who seem to like the happy-go-lucky stuff in in DC. Mm -hmm. and I feel like if you, I feel like if you ask one group, they'll say Man of St like Batman v Superman or Man of Steel, and maybe they'll say Justice League in a couple of months. And if you ask the other group, they'll say um, Wonder Woman or Shazam. They're all awful though. Yeah, we're coming so for all of them. Even... I'm surprised it was so well received <laughs> that we went after Wonder Woman. Honestly. Yeah, so am I. Um, Maybe, maybe people are like primed. Mm, no, actually, I was, I was about to say maybe people are primed against Wonder Woman because of '84. But that doesn't make sense. A lot of people are like upset about '84 because they like the first movie so much. Um, I mean, the second movie is worse, but it's not a meaningful distinction in a, in some ways. We'll have to find out how it all goes, but again, I just don't even get how well received. I think it's because it was attached to 84. It must have been that. Uh, maybe? Yeah. When Shazam is attacked on its own, that will be controversial. Um, I don't even... Do you think that movie is very funny? Because, like, I don't, really, from what I can um, remember. If fun could be considered a tone, I suppose it has it. Oh, well, I guess that was because I was about to say, maybe there's a distinction between fun and funny. Yeah. Like, that movie is... Well, Aquaman is fun, and I think I didn't laugh at that movie, except ironically. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't think that film was funny when it was trying to be funny, but when it wasn't trying to be funny, it was uh, hilarious. Mm -hmm. I had the same experience. I think Aquaman... Well, that might be the controversial one, though, because a lot of people really? do like Aquaman. Oh. Well, I, I think I think people like think that movie's bad, but I feel like they don't think that it's quite as catastrophically bad as um as it really is. Like that movie is is fundamentally broken. Yeah, we should have some fun with that one. Maybe uh, like, this this it'll yeah. just be a surprise. Whatever ends up being the thing that gets us in the most trouble. <laughs> Uh, I feel like Man of Steel and Batman v Superman might be the controversial ones because a lot of people think those films are awesome. Um, though, it would be funny to look at stuff, for instance, in like Batman v Superman that was clearly meant to be setting up things that are never going to happen now. Like, you remember that scene where the Flash comes back in time? Lois is the key to all of it. Yeah, that's right. What does that it's even like, mean? <laughs> wait. What? Uh, well, yeah, you think he'd be a little more specific. I guess, is that to explain that Batman organized Lois turning up when Superman was new and evil again, almost? Um, 
Maybe? It's huh. Not. Maybe. That's and are we suggesting that he didn't do that initially? Superman went nuts and killed everybody, and so the Flash went back in time to tell Batman to, to do that? I don't know. Maybe. But, but he also says, like, you were right about him in Ethereum, and it's like, but at the end of Justice League, they're all buddies. I guess that would be, he's like, yeah, you should be afraid of him. Look at all the, the uh... Also, please watch Death Note. I want people to talk about how not good it is. Oh, that's an interesting one, because I liked it when I watched it, but, um... <gasps> but... It is anime, so it does have a lot of the problems that anime has. Um, I think if, if we watched it, I think even at the first episode, you'd have a lot of things to say. Because um, there's a lot that is really stupid about where it starts off. It's so um, beloved. Well, I mean, I really like it, but as for how strong it is, I mean, I think the thing that works in that show's favor, in like anime's favor, is um, it does like its rules. <clears throat> I mean, well, it's, all, yeah. it's all about rules. Um, but as for how well those rules make sense, it's probably something that I would, I guess, have to consider in a second watch through. But it's got other shows to watch. Like The Boys. Oh. I mean live action Death Note? Oh right. Oh yeah, the boys. <laughs> oh. I like how late to the party I'm gonna be with my video when it finally comes out. Like, oh the boys season two? Oh yeah, I think I remember it. Was it I remember it being good and it's like it wasn't. How long ago was it when the boys season two came out? I can't um, remember. Someone in chat will know. Was it August or like no, it was later than that. Um, Someone said I prefer season one, season two went off the rails. It's funny how I don't even know what show they're referring to. It could be any of the ones we just mentioned. It could be a lot of shows. <laughs> it's like season two went off the rails. Like, hmm. Don't know, Stranger Things? Westworld? The inevitable um, Witcher and Lord of the Rings shows that are to come. Bojack, even? <laughs> I saw someone say, like, the only good season of Bojack was season one. I was like, huh. Maybe. I saw. Yeah. Did we watch Man of Steel yet? No, we haven't seen it. Soon. Soon. Oh, I died. Yo, Fring Daddy G, where in Australia do you live? Not an address, which is just state ish. I've seen a license plate where I live in that's green that says Fringy, just curious <laughs> curious if that's you. <laughs> <laughs> Any green license plate that's it's like well that's gonna be fringy's doing that green forest well it said fringy yes, on it as well fringy. apparently oh uh well that wasn't me so i don't, I don't yeah. know what to say about that also yeet uh, and this stream is racist somehow probably yeah that makes no sense yeah what do you what do you mean this is a Super diverse stream. We got a Welshman. They're pretty rare. Yeah. They're uh, pretty endangered. And, uh, <laughs> endangered. Green Australian plague doctors. How many of them do you see? Yeah. Well, apparently a guy with a license plate that has my name on it and the exact same <laughs> color just around. All right, who has my souls? You, you butts. Yeah, Eric, but there no. we go. Now I got twenty. Pretty strikes me as a Queenslander. Oh, uh, I'm not from Queensland. What? I don't know why you would think that. Actually, um, hmm. I wonder. Now, now I'm kind of curious. What? Why someone would think that? Uh, are they posh up there, or are they not posh up no, there? No, they're not posh. They aren't. That's what, that's, <laughs> that's sort of. Well, it depends where we're talking about. I guess if it's Brisbane, it's a little bit different. But if like you're further north of Brisbane, then um, uh, basically just like um, true blue Aussie, yeah, the party of common sense, the liberals, like <laughs> that kind of thing. <laughs> Queensland's alright though. God, these villagers in the opening, they're so mean. I'm, I'm trying I'm, to destroy uh, their world. I'm looking at you using the cane just to figure out what uh what exactly it looks like. Yeah, the uh the, the trick version of it is a big whip. 
The benefit of the whip is that it's got the longest range of any weapon, I think, but it's a little bit slow okay. to land and it can hit multiple enemies. Right, I see. I don't appreciate that about Bloodborne. It's a really cool starting set of three items. They're all very different. Really change Australia. how you play. Yeah, I mean, that's a... I think that's a meaningful difference between, um... Like, at least, you know, it's a significant difference between weapons. That's kind of what you want. Um, it's one of the things that makes Halo kind of cool compared to, you know, like, Call of Duty. Why did the spiders have to spawn in before I reach Rom? Rom the vacuous spider. The hell is he doesn't look like a spider, does he? He's got really stubby legs. Yeah, and a fat ass. And I guess he has nothing much to say. He's a, he's like he's just a bit vacuous. Oh, uh, you need to not hit him in the face. Clearly. Oh yeah, it's like really but, strong. I can't remember if you yeah, get like a bonus from like hitting it in the multiple, like it needed like breaks or something. I don't know if that happens. I'm gonna be making that up. Oh uh, well, I mean, part of the problem is I don't want to. Oh, these fucking retarded spiders. Queensland, this all right. Is... Unsubscribed, unfollowed, undonated, undelated, unfilled. I thought you had a higher standard of guests, Mola. I thought you said you weren't from there. Or did you say you are from there? I said it's all right. No. <laughs> that, that was, that's clearly the thing that's upset him. A thorough endorsement. Um. All right, so I guess this time I need to try and avoid these stupid things that shoot out. Me. This is. I like how this um this boss is basically Australia Simulator, <laughs> just spiders everywhere, and you need to hack at them with a giant um hatchet. I would say most them. of the game could be considered an Australia Simulator. Um, I guess it's just the, the spiders. Are there any giant snake enemies? Uh, oh yeah, you went through the forest area, didn't you? Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> this sucks. I can't even get to him because there's spiders every. It, oh, so he's shooting. He's shooting it out of his his uh his little asshole. And now I'm dead because he has this massive error of effect attack that I if didn't him, see. Yeah, you have to just sort of learn <coughs> which ones do what. He has like a closer range, mid range, and then long range sort of attacks, depending well, on the way he moves his body. Of, part of the problem that I'm having though is that he just sort of flails around, so it's really hard to tell. <laughs> what the hell he's doing? Oh yeah, well, so the flail, so like the way you sort of beat him is uh, you stay away from him, and then once he decides on an attack, and say it's the close range, long range, or even flail, he wouldn't do flail unless you're right next to him, I guess. Um, the second like the attack is starting to be over, you'll run toward him, hit him like between one and four times, I guess, and then run away and wait for the next attack. Okay, I guess. The pro uh, but if you kill his spiders, do they respawn or? They respawn per phase. Oh, so, oh, well then I'm gonna do that. Okay, I didn't know that's how it works. So. Alright. Well, obviously, just be. So, like, first phase, you may as well go for him. Second phase, it is. Yeah. A lot of people do tend to consider killing the, the spiders. Though, I believe if you don't kill the first phase spiders, then they will be there in phase two. So, it's probably easier to kill them when Rom can't attack you, if that makes sense. Right. And yeah, this I is just, you know, layman advice. It. There's probably someone out there who's like, No, you should be doing it this way. And it's like, eh. <laughs> I don't know as much about Bloodborne as the average bear. Or maybe more than the average bear. Well, I mean, you probably know more than the average person. Yeah. But, uh... Maybe not the oh, average. Come on! <laughs> <laughs> Get out of here. Yeah, oh. those spiders can be proper cunts. It's not easy being a DC fan nowadays. Man of Steel is hot trash. Oh my. A DT- oh, DC- I guess you mean DC fan, and yes, you're right. I hope Batman's good. Um, is Man of Steel hot trash? I honestly can't remember. I only saw it the once. Um, I know a lot of people don't like Man of Steel, but I actually don't know if those uh, criticisms translate in a meaningful way. Like, um... Like, a lot of people just don't like it that, um, like, people get killed and that he's sad. But that's not a flaw, that's just, you don't like that, which is fine, but it's not a flaw. I suppose we shall um, find so out if there's more to it. Um, I, I know that the, the I, I do, I do remember that there was an issue with the, um, uh, well, maybe not an issue, but there was something to do with, like, the DNA of all Kryptonians was put into Superman, and my immediate thought was, like, I don't... Why why do that? <laughs> you know? How does that work, what exactly? 
out of curiosity. Um, well, the problem is that I, I don't remember much about that movie. Um, I remember that there's a scene at the beginning where Russell Crowe um, flies around and grabs, like, some skull and then imbues it with, like, baby Superman. Huh. Um, I, I remember that. Um, I remember the music being really good in that scene. <laughs> I like the music in Bad of Steel. Oh, there you go. Do you remember any of it, or...? Uh, I'm guessing not, not really. It's, um, cause I'm, yeah, I'm a big fan of, of the, the soundtrack in that movie. I was actually listening to some of the Dark Fate soundtrack from Hans Zimmer. There's a song in it that I really like, and it was funny, I was looking at the comments section, and everyone was just like, God, this, this, the music is so much better than the film. I remember uh, Dark Phoenix had a really cool Oh, sorry, that's what I song. meant, Dark Phoenix, not Dark Fate. Yeah, at the beginning, where, um... I, I was wondering, because I'm like, Hans Zimmer do Terminator? <laughs> like, really? Um, oh, yeah, Dark Fate had a really cool one. But that film is, is in general, a little bit overhated. It's not underrated, uh, but overhated. Yeah. Sure. Um, actually, you have to use the Tornidus with Beast Blood Pellet bonus and have at least this many... I, I don't... Oh! <laughs> I get it. It's a meme. Hmm. We enjoy memes here. Yes, this is... Oh! Fuck! I could picture that being I'm... in, like, fucking season three of The Boys, where Homelander's like, I appreciate your meme. <laughs> and they use it to get him out of a war crime he committed. <laughs> you know, they're like, bring him in front of the International Tribunal for Human Rights, and they're like, look, he may have killed the child, but hey... Memes. This meme is pretty funny, isn't it? That show is so dumb. I can't believe that you guys thought it was good up until episode 7. <laughs> <laughs> there are people in chat who are like, Hey, I thought it was bad earlier than that. How I'm glad you. for you, alright? They tried, okay? They didn't know. They didn't know. Okay, I haven't been paying much attention to the spider attacks because I've just been killing all of his buddies. Um, Do you remember how far you got before in your, like, first playthrough or whatever? I'm pretty sure I got past this boss. I think this is the last boss that I beat when I played it the first time. Um, which is funny because it took me about 20 hours to reach that point. <laughs> well, I mean, if you take your time in Bloodborne, which you really, I would say, should, like, because it's just such a gorgeous game. Well. Yeah. It's well, kind of hard I mean, to describe, right? Probably. Gorgeous and how haunting and tragic it all is. Yeah. I guess there's also the fact that, you know, you the first time you're playing it, you're trying to figure out where you're supposed to go and where everything is. I'm up to phase three now. Um, so we got a lot of bad movies coming up. And a lot of good ones, I suppose. Wait, you got phase three? He's got, like, just under half his health. That's some bullshit. Oh, why should he have lost more? Well, you should give you a little bit more time in phase two, I reckon. Phase three is the hardest one, obviously. <laughs> Ryan, of course. He's it is. being mean. This game is. Can't trust Rom. Horrible. He's a little shit. Hope you two mad lads doing good. Hope you have a wonderful night slash day. Time zones are strange. <laughs> yes, yeah, my morning, your night, right? It's my night. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's still bright, but yeah, it's night. Summer. Good old summer. <laughs> Fucking mad. Died. <laughs> Gotta do it all over again. Mm, fairness, I'm dying a lot on this opening. I'm probably gonna have to concentrate a little harder on this once we actually do a race, because, you know, Metal might actually beat me this time, and I can't have that. We're doing a proper race, yeah. Probably is worth paying a little bit more attention. Because, uh, it's funny that... Because he did the thing with the doll's clothes, and I didn't remember that, but this time around I'll be doing it. It's like you can find a doll outfit and sell it for 30,000 echoes, which is quite a bit early game. Early game, yeah. Eh, it's like early mid, I guess. I don't know, it's kind of hard because Bloodborne is... If you just gun to beat all the bosses, you can complete Bloodborne real quick. Oh, yeah, sorry, let me let me read out the full chat. I was in the middle of a boss while I was playing. Actually, you have yeah. to use the uh, Tenitris with ba Beast Blood Pellet bonus. And have at least these many points invested in this stat so you can kill Rom in her first phase. Any other strat is literally noob play and shouldn't be considered actual gaming, okay? I feel like you you would appreciate the meme more than me. Oh, well, it's probably, it's probably true. The Tonitrus is like, 
I, don't, I think you can electrify it, or it electrifies itself normally, and then Beast Blood Pellet, like, at full power times your damage really significantly. So it's probably true. You could probably wipe out Rom that quickly, but we're not that level, you know? We're just... We're all right. We're yeah, all this, right. This is not high level play. Oh, and also, no. thanks for the two bucks, man. <laughs> uh... Since I hear anime shows, I've got three for you. Black Lagoon, Konosuba, and Monster. Well, well. More anime I'm not going to watch any of those, but... I mean, th <laughs> this is what I, I'll just say what I usually say. It's like, um, maybe one day, I don't know. But, I mean, no guarantees. I fucking... There's a lot of stuff to watch. God damn. I suddenly lost any ability to parry. And I guess, uh, you, you told me earlier, right? A lot of movies are now getting delayed. Is that what's happening? That's what I've heard. I only know that from Movie Bob, funnily enough. Yeah, I... Th I think uh, after you sent that to me, I think I found an article that said that, um... Yeah, we're probably gonna hear about delays soon for, uh, for a lot of big movies that are coming out, like, in May. Black thing is, if we get 2020 Part 2 this year, um... <laughs> how the fuck is theaters gonna recover? I don't... Well, I guess that's what I mean, right? It's almost like, uh, at this point, studios should be biting the bullet. Like, if they want the film... You know, you know what I mean? It's almost like, um... It's almost like... If film studios are so resistant to, like, doing streaming because they really want to keep cinemas open, maybe they should be just taking the hit to keep cinemas open. As opposed to what they're doing at the moment, which is kind of just letting them die. Yeah. Like, just take the hit on Black Widow. If you if you really don't want movies like Black Widow to come out on streaming, take the hit with Fast and... F I guess it's interesting because it's, um, different, different studios have a lot... You know, like, Disney is in a good position to release a lot of their stuff to streaming, but Sony does not have a streaming platform. So what is their option for releasing digitally? VOD, I guess, but... I just feel like it's Very inevitable. Yeah. Uh, your boy ready for one division on Friday. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that one. I've seen yeah, a man. few clips. Of Hopefully, it looks, it's good. Looks cool. I hope it's good, but I think I did tell you that the person who wrote Captain Marvel is the lead writer on that. So, <laughs> and also the the writer on Black Widow too. So, there's a couple of super chats for you to read. I just want to skip to the latest one. Started watching Bly Matter yesterday. Watched the first two episodes. It's so good. It's so much better than Mandalorian. <laughs> <laughs> Look, you're right, okay? Look, if you love it after the first two episodes, you're gonna love the season. Yeah, yeah. The, what people, what I found with watching it with a couple people is the episodes four, five, and six, seven, and eight, and nine. They, like, one, two, three is the set of the rest of it. It's just gravy. Mm. All the answers start yeah. to flow in. Small studios don't have any options for streaming. I mean, I guess they don't, but the question is, like, is there really no way to make it happen? You can't cut a deal with Disney to release it on, like, Disney Plus and get paid for it. Um, and I mean, in general, like, I guess, I guess, um... Netflix somehow finds a way to, to have these massive movies come out on streaming, so if they can do it, why can't Disney? It's not that they can't, it's that they want more money. <laughs> I think that's, that's fundamentally the problem. I do like how I got a spider spitting venom through the big spider. Like, as in spitting it through all the fat. <laughs> it's a furtive gun, do you see? It is a furtive gun, so you're right. <laughs> I want to be a critic and make videos. Any advice? Oh man. Um. <laughs> I don't know. Seems Watch like, movies, I guess. <laughs> seems like a big question. Yeah, like in what do you do? You want to do the thing of hey, I let's talk about a movie for three minutes. That's definitely enough time. Is that what you want to do, or do you want to do it the right way? <laughs> Where you actually <laughs> talk about it for as long as you need to. I saw somebody tweet this out the other day. That the ideal length for a video game review is uh is three to five minutes, oh, and I geez. thought about. I, I know I I was really upset by that. Um, oh my! Mm. 
That is a shitty amount of time. Yeah, like, f for a video game especially. Uh... Uh, well, Play Creations just said it right. Don't, don't high top and redraft, redraft, redraft. Absolutely. Yeah, look what happens when you don't. Yeah, you make that video where there's no structure and nothing leads to a big point and the sentences aren't very good. And your points suck. <laughs> It's kind of just the um, worst of all worlds. Yeah. Your first... I mean, if we if we hold true that, you know, the first script or the first draft of a book is pretty bad, that's going to apply to videos as well. Unless you don't treat it like it's, you know, a worthwhile creative enterprise, which it is. Um, and if you don't, then it's probably not even worth being a critic at that point, you know? Like, just focus on making movies or writing books, and that's kind of where, you, where your mind is. <clears throat> yeah, the casual advice is redraft, and underneath it is the idea of increase accuracy and insight. Yes, it's not just your opinion, alright? You're gonna make claims, you need to substantiate those claims. Don't listen to all the people on the internet who say it's only an opinion, therefore anything goes. It's like, no! <laughs> Yeah, this is- it's my opinion that the sun is a ball of potato. I don't know what a ball of potato is, but it's something. Well, I respect um, your opinion, sun. but I disagree. I do love that I respect your opinion. <laughs> it's a very subtle way of saying I actually don't care what you think at all. See, I simply disagree. Why'd you have to make it so aggressive? Jeez. Love this game, I had a good laugh when you forgot English for a second after that clutch German kill. Yeah, that was insane. Uh, and hilarious. That was Fucking pretty funny. desperately tapping that trigger button. <laughs> like, please die. It's one of those deer in headlight moments as well, because the move he was doing would take another, let's say, 10 seconds to start, like, to kill me. So I have plenty of time to run up to him and just hit him once and I win. But once I've committed to just firing the fucking pistol, it's just like, no, fire it, fire it, fire it. Oh my god. This spider is vacuous. Wow, the game must have nailed it then. Yeah, I guess that's, uh, that's some good writing, isn't it? It's accurate. Yup. I hate this stupid... Spider. Oh, nope, 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 rolling on its belly. No. The Untended Graves in DS3 is my favorite area. Is that the place where you get the spears thrown at you and you have to talk to Onion Knight um, and stuff? I can't remember. That's not my favorite area of the game. <laughs> but I mean, I can't remember which area it is, so... Maybe that is it? Um, I think my favorite area of the game was the... Um, not not in terms of gameplay, but just in terms of aesthetic, is the uh, the the, kin the kiln of the first flame. Um, it's such a cool setting. Like it's just this crappy place that's dead, and you got these two idiots fighting <laughs> <laughs> up there. Yeah. And the music really? obviously helps. Uh oh, what's happening? Kill bear rat. <laughs> Feels bad, man. The Royal Rat Authority. That was a good boss fight, wasn't it? Oh, excellent. And the Royal Rat <laughs> Vanguard, another great one. Wait, there was a second one? <laughs> oh, oh, God. Dark Souls 2 is a very good game, by the way. <laughs> it's actually genius. That. Oh, wait, he didn't say that, did he? He said it was a good game. Oh um, my! I can't remember what the title of this video is anymore. Um, in defense of Dark Souls 2, right? Oh yeah, because I was going to say, if he called it yeah. genius, Jesus. No, he said Bloodborne was genius, that's... that's right. I'm much more willing to call Bloodborne genius than I am DS2, so <laughs> that's a plus. <laughs> um, opinion on the Gale boss flight? Or Gale? Oh, Gale. Yeah, Gale, that's right. Slave Knight Gale, I can't remember what his title is. Uh, um, it is Slave Knight Gale, yeah. I always thought he was neat. Uh, he's very highly regarded by a lot of people. I just haven't fought him in so long, I can't really say. Oh, I accidentally used... What? 
Uh, he's the one who jumps around and kicks you as well, isn't he? I kind of remember. I just remember the music being really good. <clears throat> well, I, remember, I looked it up and thought it was really good. Um, when I started watching Bly, the site I watched it on played the final episode first. Wow. So me thinking it's this bizarre episode contextualized in the following episode. <laughs> Man, that would have- that kind of ruins the whole thing. I would say that well, surely that fucks it, but... a lot of how you can consume the story at that point. Yeah, because if you know how it ends. You kind of need to just forget like... the episode and restart. <laughs> like... Yeah. Prepare yourself. Sekiro bad or different? Well, I mean, I liked it. Um, I didn't beat it, though. I, I think I beat that boss fight. Oh, fight. you... That... Oh, wait, I got my soul back? How do you know? Um, mm. so I just got hit by one spider, and it took away all of my health. Um, it's, it hit uh, me in the back. Larry, the, uh, the bodybuilding spider. He just hit me once and I lost all my health. Unless I just forget what happened. That happened like two seconds ago. Alright, where are you, you vacuous fuck? Give me back my souls. I think somebody's asking how you would fix Bed of Chaos. What would be your suggestion? Remove it Don't... and redo it. Yeah! <laughs> Otherwise, no no insta-kill bullshit, it just hurts you with all of its attacks. I think, uh, cause Wolf, he, cause I haven't played Dark Souls 1, I didn't know about the Bed of Chaos, I only knew about all the cool boss fights in that game. Uh -huh. I think he showed me a clip from it, and, um, I asked him if he was trolling me. <laughs> it's one of the worst boss fights ever. Why would you make a platforming boss fight in a game that has, that is not a platformer? God, don't remind me of that fucking boss. Such ass. Did they just run out of time? Or... <laughs> uh, that's the theory. The whole area is just sort of rushed. Right. Well, I mean, what I often hear is that the second half of that game is not nearly as good as the first. Um, yeah, it really depends on how you split it. Like, it's, it could be considered the last third, or the last half. Okay. It's just, yeah. But, um, Undead Berg and, like, well, the first half of the game is just so meticulously put together, and then the rest of it... Well, once you've finished Analondo, it gets a little weird. Unfortunately. Oh my god, why do I always get the third phase when he's already got half his health left? And then I gotta go fight all the rest of his stupid spiders. Maybe that's when he does do it, and I just always hurt the shit out of him, so I don't realize? I don't know. Yeah, but I can't, I can't, like I can't, and then the spiders jump on me and then I'm dead. Oh, bots, yep. Re, indeed. I am so sorry. Hey guys, I'm the fellow who drew mm, Hunter Mola vs. Orphan, glad you liked it. Love your content, make a fringy pick soon. Oh, making a fringy pick soon, there you go. A what? A fringy vision, I guess, maybe? They're gonna have you fighting something from right. Bloodborne? I don't know. Oh, okay. That'd be neat. Well, stun lock those... those bots. <laughs> EFAP this early and it's not my birthday? Oh, well, I guess, uh... This is early if you live in America land. EFAP gaming, yo. or some say Cosm. I want to see you fight Orphan of Castle, it'll be great. <laughs> I'm never getting there. One day, Jimmy, <coughs> you just gotta believe in yourself. You gotta, you gotta believe that you can get to Orphan. Well, if you remember um, um, it... Wonder Woman, she's like, you're not, you keep doubting yourself, Diana. See, if you doubt yourself, Fringy, what are you gonna be able to uh, achieve? Nothing. That's right. You gotta believe in love and then shoot lasers into Aries. 
So yeah. most people consider the laser part not key. I would say that is key. It is key to be able to shoot lasers. You need to be able to shoot lasers. So And also disintegrate um, projectiles somehow. Also beat- What are her powers? I don't fucking know. <laughs> Nobody knows what her powers are. If only she flew in the in, in Justice League, that would have come in handy. I wonder if they're gonna CGI her flying in. You know, to cover for that movie. I wouldn't put it past hmm. him. Because there's going to be a lot of visual effects in that movie, I imagine. The fucking riflemen in this game are so good. Yeah, I mean, if only guns were this accurate back in 1864. Their tracking is phenomenal. And you know, it's only because if they... Wow, he killed me, okay. Um, I need to fucking get my health upgraded. Holy moly. Bringing in Mauler one oh. gun you always want to shoot. Um, uh, like a real gun? I guess so. Um, Desert Eagle it can shoot through anything. <laughs> That'd be neat to shoot. Just to think, feel uh, the power of it. Does an RPG count as a gun? Because that'd probably be really fun to shoot. <laughs> yeah. Don't see why not. I mean, that can shoot through any- well, no, it can't actually. It ain't a Desert Eagle, alright? <laughs> Snyder cut delayed in order to include Wonder Woman flying scene. They just, just fucking film a new scene where she's like, I forgot how to fly! Yeah. kal -El, no. She saw kal -El fly and that upset her so much that she lost He's her He's so much better than she is so that she got really sad. One of the interesting things I saw somebody observe was it's weird how, like, people are really quiet about the fact that Amber Heard shot more scenes for that movie. Like, nobody's talking about it. It's like, hmm, are you not outraged about this because this is the movie that you wanted? <laughs> you just gotta mm. keep quiet and not mention that. But you'll shit on all the other movies, but not Justice League. Amber Heard sucks. Yeah. She, uh, she got paid $33,000 to do a speaking thing on, uh, domestic violence. Yep. Um, and again, they, they might be doing a Mera spin-off show, because, you know, if there's one character who I really want to know more about, it's Mera. She's my favorite. She should be yours. I, um, I find it, I, I see people say, like, no, she was actually really good in that role. It's like, she's actually not very good at acting. <laughs> <laughs> um. Who remembers Mira? <laughs> like, what does she even fucking say? I don't know. Um, well, what is her perspective on anything in that movie? Was it just like, hey, the surface sucks for some reason. You pollute oh, the yeah, world. Oh, yeah, she was like the princess or some shit, right? She wore a squid yeah. dress or something. Well, she was a princess of- I get confused in that film, because there's Atlantis, and that's one kingdom, and then there was, like, a different one that she's from, and then there were a bunch of other kingdoms, and, like, then they went to war with one of the underwater kingdoms to determine if they could go to war with land. It's like, dude, how many people are you gonna lose fighting each other? How do you plan on going to war with the- and also, you know, <laughs> you can't beat Earth. We have nukes. Like, They always what do you forget have? about our nukes. Every movie does. If you just nuke Thanos, that's it. Except Wonder Woman that was like, more nukes. That's right, more nukes. <laughs> I want more nukes. Not, I want to end the Cold War because we win. Like, why would you just say that? I want Russia to not... Imagine if that was the wish. I want Russia not to exist. And then it's like, I renounce my wish and Russia just pops back into existence. <laughs> I don't account for any like of that. Just... Like, there's gonna be someone out there that's like, I wish we made contact with aliens. Yeah, and then the aliens... Uh, or is that how it works? That, like, apparently this this thing is reaching across the universe? Yeah. It gets a little complicated at that uh, point, doesn't it? Well, that's the problem with, like, DC. They're very Earth-centric. And, like, Marvel's Earth-centric too, but at least they do acknowledge that there are other places and other people. I'm pretty sure Tony says that much. You know? If I knew that we were not this alone, and you know, even and to such an extent, I never would have believed that. I mean, remember, it's a crisis on infinite Earths, not crisis in infinite universes. Yeah, Earth is infinite so Earths. important. 
How do you wipe out all the infinite Earths? That Stupid was show. so amusing to watch. It was such garbage. <laughs> Fighting the anti monitor in Vancouver. It's on just the like. Rooftop. It's, the, I think, the, like, it rightfully sits at 1 out of 10. It's just the perfect example of when you just... Nothing makes sense. You don't give a fuck. Stuff just happens. Yeah. Supergirl. Throw it like a girl and she actually does. <laughs> <laughs> like she does the limp throw. <laughs> That's the thing, like, For I remember Ollie. early school, like, where we did, you know, just PE, like, challenges or whatever, and throwing competitions, um, the girls would always be in the bottom half, if you will, it's just because they were really shit at throwing, and one of them threw it behind her, she got negative <gasps> points. <laughs> yeah, did she get it? Oh, that's funny. Well, you threw it minus 10 meters, good job. <laughs> it's like, it's well, impressive, yeah, but, far. you know. Yeah. It is impressive. I can still I can picture the field and badly. the person who did it. That memory is super fucking old. Like, that's one of those... I was like, fucking yeah. 9 or 10 memories. Jeez. When you think about... I... Yeah, like, I think about... I think I thought earlier today, like, man, it's... it's it, it'll have been nearly, uh... Next year, it will have been, like, two decades since I, um, started, you know, school. It's crazy. The world is old. That's what our generation's all about. Just reminiscing about better times. Yeah, because <laughs> all of our adult times have been so awful. <laughs> like, oh, it's like straight out of school for a lot of a lot of millennials was straight into the global financial crisis. <laughs> Um, Iraq war- well, the earliest millennials were recruited into the Iraq war, so there was that. Um, and then the next line graduated into the, you know, the GFC, and then the ones after that graduated into fucking COVID. <laughs> like, we've had a really bad lot- well, we, we didn't have a Vietnam, like, Bart said to thin out- oh, no, wait, no, he said that about Gen X, right? Gen X needed another Vietnam to thin out their ranks a little. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get there, of course. More war, please. More, yes, war good, alright? <laughs> you heard it here first, EFAP into- <laughs> EFAP approves of war. Um, I'm an amendment to be- Yeah, go ahead. Do you think you will have two EFAPs per week in the future? One normal one and one offline EFAP just for the super chats on the last one? Um, the only time we ever have to do a catch-up like that is when we have a topic that lasts ten hours, which is very rare. Um, no, usually we can. So yeah. usually it's done with the same one. We just the boys catch up. It's just we we've been haven't found quite a good slot for it yet. Awkwardly. Oh yeah, because that took like fifty hours. Yeah. So um, you know, whatever is required, we will do. Uh, Rags and I are planning on doing catch ups here and there. It's just we're not always free at the same time. Different schedules. I need a replay of that. I got hit once and died. Like, I was actually gobsmacked because I was about to roll and I was collapsing to the ground. <laughs> Still. My lord. Wondering why I wasn't getting up. Bullshit. I need some replays of this. Spider one shot me. Oh, thanks, guys. I was too gobsmacked to even sort of figure out what was happening there. Uh, and I was getting real close as well, so that's fun. I'm pretty sure I beat Gurnum quicker than this or whatever the name is. Not Gurnum. Gascoin? Um, Gascoin, yeah. Gascoin. 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 you. Wow. See, no, this is why health just stops me in this game is stressful. The fucking crow almost killed me, like, from full health almost. It's just crazy. A crow, oh, a bird yeah, almost I just killed saw me. That. It's fucked up, guys. Enough bird violence. You just leave the crows alone, and right? I'll leave you alone. Maybe if they leave me alone first. What if you leave them alone first, alright? It's not all about you. Wonder Woman taught us that. Global warming. <laughs> I can't believe she said that was actually what it was about. 
<laughs> it's about climate change. It's like, what do you mean? Where? <laughs> you can't just wish that climate change was better. You gotta, you gotta you accept gotta, the way it is act. and act. Yeah. I mean, I guess that's true, but I don't see how Wonder Woman taught it didn't us really that. get translated, did it? Well, yeah, considering that it was something that was never even mentioned in the film at all. If it was like something she added afterwards, it's like, what is this film about? Oh, right, we're going for an Oscar. We need to make it have a point. <laughs> what's, the, what's the easiest point we could come up with? Oh, global warming, yeah. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> that was it. That was it the whole time. Nice. 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 Dude, these spiders, the amount of health they actually take is kind of insane. Yeah, well, obviously it depends on what kind of weapon and... Uh, level you are in a... No, no, no. The, the amount of health they take from me. <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> Zack Snyder should stick to cameras and they shouldn't let him near a piece of paper. Well, the more controversial <laughs> take is maybe he shouldn't be doing that either. <laughs> um, like, the shots are occasionally cool, but... Again, I don't know how much credit I want to give when a lot of the shots that are cool that he does are things that are pulled from the comics. Like, he just copies the panel. How much of that is attributable to him? And I mean, isn't that, like, one of the things people complain about in Watchmen? They do, like, the whole Ride of the Valkyries with the big sun in the background. It's like, that's not really his image. That's somebody else's image. Just recontextualized. Bum, bum, ba -dum, bum, bum. I know a lot of people hate that scene. Excited for Batwoman Season 2? You betcha. Yeah, we're really thrilled. Uh, more so than Mando Season 3, that's for sure. By the time we get to that, uh, it'll be Batwoman Season 3, right? Um, yeah, I suppose so. Because everything... Yeah, they'll probably be actually making... We should have had Batwoman for about three months now. That makes me sad. They stole it from us. COVID stole a lot more Batwoman episodes from us. Alright. First phase done. Now there's just twice as many spiders. Come at me, big bro. Rom, come on. Oh! This is oh, today's no, no, my no, no, birth. No, no, no. Oh no. Did you, did you die? I did. Oh no. I got stun locked by one hit and the second hit. A AoE attack got me. Yeah. That sucks. Big dangus. Today's my birthday and I love you guys. Kalel, no. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you guys appreciate just how bad she is at delivering lines. It's all people defending her in the comments. They're like, it's just her accent. It's like, no, it's nothing to do with her accent. <laughs> Did you not it's her emotional this? delivery, her facial expression. She's awful at just acting. She doesn't actually portray emotion. That is the problem. <laughs> Oh, dude, I just got a parry when I wasn't even aiming uh, locked on. That's nice. Well, I was locked onto something else, but it's still nice. Good for you. Man. Sometimes I can nail Man. parries, sometimes I fail them miserably. I will destroy you. <laughs> Ares could have been an interesting character. You know, it. He's almost interesting right up until he has this switch. He goes, I almost think it might have been a reshoot or some shit, because he says, My dear, I don't want to fight you. And then it cuts yeah. to her, I think, and he goes, Well, if I must. <laughs> and it's it's it almost as if, like, oh, there was a different scene maybe where he was just like... Like, what if he said, Do you truly believe this world is better with them? And she says something like, Yeah, you know, she makes her case. And then he says, Fine. Like... I will leave, and I will return one day, or something like that. Yeah, but they wanted the fight. Yeah, they want the fight. And they want him to have his crazy armor from the comics. <laughs> David Thewlis looks so fucking awkward in that armor. 
It's such a bad film, and I love how people think that it's like, nah, the third act ruins it. It's like, well, the third act ruins if, if it was good, but it wasn't good. That's the, that's the hot take, that it wasn't even good up until that point. Streaming during the day? This is weird. Yeah, this is a super secret stream. Yes, it is. You can't tell anybody. Don't tell Metal or Rags. If Rags and Metal find out, they will crucify us. Yeah. They're probably either doing the sleeping or they're or whatever. Whatever other people, normal people do. Mm -hmm. Ew. Fucking pig biff poison all over me. That should be illegal. Oh, somebody mentioning that they put Wonder Woman up for consideration for the Oscars. Yeah, how insane <laughs> is that? Whatever works. Whatever they think they can achieve. Good luck. Well, I think we we mentioned it was the you know there's not enough films out this year that it might just get it because there weren't any other films. I hope that they wouldn't do that though. That would really upset me actually. I think if they did. But admittedly, the pedigree of comic book movies nominated for best picture it's like black panther oh joker oh yeah that's a good one wonder woman 1984 wow it's like where did oh, we dude. go wrong they can't keep getting away with this they can't keep getting away with it man remember like breaking bad that was neat uh yeah breaking bad that was those were simpler times when there were good shows that were like 45 minutes long <laughs> and had only 13 episodes a season. Now, that's like a hallmark of something awful. <laughs> you failed if you did oh, that. Except for why. Yeah. But you guys didn't watch it, so now we're never going to get season three. No, they did watch it. <laughs> Some of them, but yeah. uh, they didn't see it. Yeah, you looked at it. Maybe, yeah, you could you could go both ways. They saw it, but they didn't watch it, that sort of thing. Oh, I usually, because I think the easiest one is you heard me, but you didn't listen to me. Yeah. I think that's a, that's a good one. It's just like, yeah, you, you heard the words come out. Like, you heard the de the, the, the waves. <laughs> like, you didn't listen to anything I said at all. You didn't take in that information. I guess we'll still get that movie that he's working on. Um, some of the actors who were in Bly are in that one, so that's, that's something. He's working on a new TV show right now. It's in post-production oh, yeah, as far as I know, yeah. It's not a haunting one, but it's a horror show on Netflix, so. Oh, hey, at least he's got another deal with them. So, so keep, I just want him to keep making stuff, even if I did want it to be, you know, like, something. Yeah. From haunting. What is a Bloodborne race? <laughs> Uncultured Man, swine. Allow me to educate. Such a fun thing to call somebody swine. Wow. All right, Chungus. Sometimes that doesn't stun lock me, and I can roll away. So I'm not sure about that. God, when they spit the stupid venom on you they might as well just give them like a kill sometimes with they just stun lock stun oh locking is God. a big part of the design in this game not yeah, what i would describe it's, as fun it's not a one hit kill you got hit three <laughs> times you should have dodged better <laughs> you're like, like wait I a minute you sound like you're bullshitting me Can you, uh, can you parry these spiders? Fucking hell, that is a... That is a hungry wolf, okay. And I don't know the answer to that question, I'm afraid. Yeah, I, I feel like you wouldn't be able to parry a spider, that seems like a, uh... I mean, you give it a shot, that... see if it... Because you can't parry dogs, but you can shoot them so that they fall over, sort of thing. I kinda don't want to risk it with how much health these spiders seem to take from me every time I try and attack them. Hmm. Give me back my soul. Oh! Fuck! <laughs> 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 
Last year's Oscars for Best Picture weren't half bad. Yeah, um, there were a lot of good films. Yeah, 2019 was neat. Wait, when they say last year, they mean 2019, right? Yeah, I think, well, last Oscars, I think, is what they Was mean. in 2020, but it was about 2019, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because unlike the Game Awards, which do their award when a lot of the biggest games of the year have not been out for long enough to be reviewed, or when some of the games that are out haven't even been released yet, like Cyberpunk 2077 wasn't up for contention in 2020 because it came out a week after the... Why would you do the awards at the end of the year? Why wouldn't you do them at the beginning of the next year? What you said up, else does. up for contention. Do you mean up for consideration? Uh, yeah, like it wasn't... Yeah, yeah, it wasn't even, you know... Hmm. It couldn't compete because it wasn't nominated. Because it wasn't technically out. Uh, it, well, it was out, but it wasn't out in time. Uh, Mola, can we get a Bracketeers Jackbox game? I think it's three or four EFAP gaming. It's like TKO or Champed Up with ideas or concepts. Um, I think Champed Up is gonna be the the big boy Dude. forever. Bullshit. Everyone loves Champed Up. Oh, you little bitch. Off you go. I love retrieving all zero of my blood echoes, because I've been killed too many times. Wait, did I clear this area already? Fucking... Ugh. Oh, I just... Just so distracted. I chilling out, having fun, you know? That's what it is. Also high rags. He's not even here. He's you having liar. a stupidism. Yeah. all that health back. Yeah, Rom's not one of what we would call a good boss. I hate this. <laughs> <laughs> this is what I would call an awful boss. If only one movie comes out in 2021, does that automatically mean they'll win all the Oscars? Yes. <laughs> I guess so. And then someone it will submit an indie wonder. film and they're like, Boo. Um, My best guess would be in terms Fuck. of, you know, the Oscars this year is that they just won't nominate as many films because normally they nominate like 10 films for Best Picture. I'm guessing they just won't do that. Mul, you are granted the ability to reverse your age at will, but as a catch you'll lose all the memories of your life after the age you revert to. Will you still choose to reverse your age? Oh, that's an interesting question. Um, can I get around I this like by, like, writing down and recording just... everything that happened? Yeah, <laughs> just record a thing that says, hey, this is you, this is your family, um, this is all the most important stuff that happened in your life. <laughs> oh, well, now, if that's something I can do, then I'm definitely doing it. Yeah, there's a lot of benefits to it, I'd say. Like, the fact that you get to live for longer. There's probably some health benefits, yeah. <laughs> Dude, imagine like getting cancer and then you just revert until it's gone and then you like or because if we knew exactly when you can you have any kind of cancer and you reverse it back to when it's in its smallest form and you just nuke it with a you know chemotherapy yeah that's probably the way to go right oh yeah i guess if we could i mean that might be you know the the logic behind like the action oh so rom thrashes around when he's low health now I thought you said he, uh, he'd been doing that to you as well already. No, he hadn't. Um, huh. But I guess now i got to be concerned about him doing that. Yep, nice keep an eye fun. on that crafty little spider. I do like his AoE attack, how they don't give you much time. Like, if you get stun locks, um, you can't get away in time. Don't you see, uh, it's your really fault if you get stuck. Yes, you should have never been hit in the first place. <laughs> It's not like there's health for a reason. Oh! This sucks. God, those guys are... pieces of shit. Alright. That's it. We've cleared all of... Is this Yarnum? I can't remember. I'm going home. Gotta buy me some stuff. Why are there no library robbery heist movies? What? Robbing stuff from a library? I guess it's just too boring, you know? Who cares about a library? 
Stop thrashing around, Rom. Rom, you're being vacuous. Yes! Finally. Damn, you killed the spider. Get me out of this place. This is Yarnum, you fake gamer. I'm so sorry. But gaming isn't cool. I only do this to come across as though I know what games are. I'm not actually playing. This is just an old fringy playthrough that I've got recorded. Look, I, 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 I don't play video games. I had to play a lot of video games for this this video. That's a that's an old reference meme for you. Wait, who said that and when? It was Anita Sarkeesian before she decided that it was really profitable to lie about video <laughs> games. You know, I know a lot about video games. Sometimes, maybe. Not really. Ah. Okay. Uh, see the Nightmare Reborn. That doesn't sound good. Um. <laughs> yeah, that'd be your next boss, I think, right? No, the next boss you gotta fight is in the Nightmare Reborn. The one Reborn, well, I think, I'm is in, the, the guy you gotta I'm fight. I a place called Yagul or something. Yagul. So, uh, I, I think this is, um, this is where I got in my last playthrough that I didn't get much further than this area. I got, um... I got two bosses to fight now. I've just been wobbling around. Right. Have a loop. Where, where is my uh, where's my lantern? You don't deserve one. Well, I've just spawned into this area, but there's no lantern nearby. Uh, did I walk past it, or do I have to? Oh, you're getting to one soon. I think it's near the beginning. Okay. Yeah, I figured. Yeah, this is a nice, oh, right. scary-looking skybox here. Yeah, there it is. Oh, do I have to reload? Mm -hmm. Fine, if you must. Shad would probably have some things to say about your reverse grip on that weapon. Um, I don't. Maybe. I don't think so. I think he'd think it's rule of cool, cool. Yeah, it's cool. So, oh, and even the nightmare looks a little different. Oi, massives! Thanks for the stream. It helps me at work. Also, fun fact: Celeborn, Gadadriel's husband, is also called Teleporn. Hashtag the more you know. Or Teleporno, okay. That's probably not as preferable as a name, you know? People are probably like, probably oh, that name's not as cool. Imagine it was part of, like, the Tolkien estate to maintain... Like, Mount Doom was actually called Mount Porn. And it had to remain that way. <laughs> and it's just this awkward thing <laughs> that none of us really address that often. We're just like, yeah, yeah, it's called Mount Porn. Yeah, fine, whatever. You just say it as quickly as possible. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, you know, Mount, uh, you know, the mountain. And you're like, which one? You're like, uh, you know, Mount Porn. Uh, yeah, that's, that's where they have to go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Why did he call it that? You're like, it doesn't, it was shut up. <laughs> created from the fires of Mount Porn. <laughs> the ring must be cast deep into Porn Door. <laughs> Oh, it must be brought deep into Pondor and cast back into the fiery chasm from whence it came. One of you must do this. Why don't you do it, Elrond, you lazy fuck? And then, and then he's just like, wow. Ah, oh, such a good movie. Bow, 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 bow. Reverse grip is for reach rounds. No, it is for double damage. I said that in the Mando episode five coverage. Okay, I thought it was, I oh, thought I made it clear. Monster. I got picked up by that monster. Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> oh, that's the entrance to the DLC, by the way. Wait, what? Oh wait, not sorry, what? not that one. The entrance to the DLC is some, a different one. I thought it was when I looked at your screen. Sorry. Uh, to get to the DLC, you have to be picked up by an amygdala. Oh, right. But that's back in the Cathedral Ward, right? Yeah, just outside. Yeah. Uh, I'd love to play video games, but I don't want to go around shooting and chopping people's heads, and it's just gross. That's an Anita Sarkeesian quote, I'm guessing. What? <laughs> so, yeah. let us talk about escapism and fantasy. <laughs> But also, let us talk about all those genres of video games where you don't do those things. <laughs> and let's talk about all the games she has played and enjoyed where I could easily call it as violent as that. I, I do love that. That is such a 
normie take on video games like oh what do you do you just chop people's heads off it's like no actually in, in fact most video games don't even have protagonists who should i kill first chat um big big noodle monster hairball or gascoin who's dying first first one to say one of them i will follow your lead noodle monster all right He's not even a noodle monster, he just comes under that classification, unfortunately. Wow, everyone- two people wanted the hairball, okay. Oh, like, paraphrasing. Okay, right, yeah, but I'm- I'm pre I did remember that. What Vaguely. you mean to say is you're lying. Alright guys, we'll use oil urns and molotovs, it's gonna be great. <laughs> Oh, you gotta fight Beast Man. I don't think it's gonna be hard. Uh, uh, F Y I I M O F Y I E L. I am Beast Man. Let's go, whip it a minute. Why? Who dies? It's not about that, alright? It's not about whether someone dies. It's not about winning or losing. It's about what's fair. Oh, I was I was doing the, the other the other one. I was gonna switch to another movie. It's like fair. I'll tell you what's not fair. Spending a lifetime on a dime store shelf watching every other toy being sold. Well, finally, my time has come, and I'm not gonna let some hand-me-down cowboy doll mess it up for me now! Toy Story 2, is it that, that's the controversial take that is better than the first one. And 3. <laughs> Fucking, uh, Kelsey Grammer's Stinky Pete is fantastic. He's such a great villain. He's a great villain in a lot of things. I mean, Sideshow Bob, obviously. Yeah. You can't... Oh my, I lost all my damn... You, you can't keep the Democrats out of the White House forever. <laughs> and when they get in, I'm back on the streets with all my criminal buddies! <laughs> <laughs> Such a fucking great line. Yeah, it is. The fact that he's just laughing maniacally. With all my criminal buddies. Ah, <laughs> more politic meme. Deep down, your conscience forces you to vote Democratic. Deep down, you desire a cold-hearted Republican to <laughs> lower taxes, brutalize criminals, and rule you like a king. That's why I did this, to protect you from yourselves. Now, you'll excuse me, I'll have a city to run. Bailiff, arrest the mayor, what? Oh, yeah, right, all the illegal stuff I did. <laughs> oh, yes, all the illegal stuff I did. <laughs> yeah. Just confirm. I just love the fact that he dumps, like, his fraud plans on the table. With what, all what my was, criminal what buddies. What were the books called? What were those books called that he dumped? Um, Sorry? Like he had a books bunch of books, but... So, because Sideshow Bob rigs the election in Springfield to win, and he has a he has all these books that he drops on the... the like, because he planned it out so meticulously. Hmm. He, um... I, I think, because... I think the joke in that episode was that, um... Bart was saying, like, he was too retarded to rig an election. Um, and so, like, his, his, he, he was so angry about that that he just dumped all these books that explain exactly how he did it. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, but I can't remember what the book is called. I had a really funny name because The Simpsons has a lot of really funny... Dude, the, one of the gags the that had me died was, uh, the book where... I already know you're gonna know the payoff, but I guess for the sake of chat, I'll, uh, yeah, I'll yeah, build it. So, horror episode, and it's, um, the school, the, the Springfield school, uh, oh. they're running out of cheap meat. At the same time, they have low yeah. grades, of which, if they were to, you know, not have them counted, it would look better for the school, and so they come up with a solution. If we eat the children, we'll lose the low grades, and we'll be fed. That's great. 
<laughs> and um, they try to sneak out of the school at some point, and they're worried that, like, who might be next. And they, I think it's, is it Miss Krabappel? She's a really fat, and she's reading a book yeah. in the class. They try to sneak past, and the book is called The Joy of Cooking Millhouse. <laughs> <laughs> Such a specific I, I, book. <laughs> I remember that one of the things was, um, was, uh, like somebody dropped their pen on the floor and she sent them to detention. Detention? <laughs> Yeah, they just scared. Um, don't worry, guys. I'm sure we'll we'll, we'll be saved at the last second. Millhouse falls into the blender. <laughs> well, I'm sure that there's something will save the Simpson kids. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't it? Yeah, and it's all a dream, but it turns out there's a, a turning you inside out gas that seeps yeah, into the gas room. Stupid cheap lighting. <laughs> And then oh, they start man. singing and Bart gets eaten by the dog. Yeah, this, it's like, you could easily call it really gory, but I just remember having loads of fun with it. Yeah, it was, um, and that was the episode, because I think, uh, I think they get Groundskeeper Willie shows up for the song as well, because he was so prominent in that episode. Yeah. All the right, show me what you got! <laughs> I, I actually thought it was a, um, a connected narrative. The, there's the, the episode where Willie gets killed in all three stories. And then, I can't remember if it's the next horror one or whatever, but he's, like, the villain. Oh, yeah, the, the, the Nightmare on Elm Street thing where he... That, they go to have a parent-teacher meeting and he gets I set just, on fire. Yeah, I saw it as, like, God, a... Please help me. It was him being, like, it's my time to shine, I keep getting killed, sort of thing. He's like, Kenny. I uh, just... That joke was so funny how, like, the, the fire thing explodes and then they're, like, um, replacing the, the, um... Replacing the the stuff in the fire extinguishers. This is a free service offered by the fire department. Nay. <laughs> Nay. <laughs> <laughs> Run this. God, please help me. Please, Willie. Millhouse's father has the floor. <laughs> like. <laughs> I for one think that I can't remember what the fuck he says. I just. I can't remember either, but it was something really funny. <laughs> I think we should get the school dinners in advance. I I want to know like what Millhouse is eating. He's just dying in the background as he's talking yeah. about this. I'll make you pay for this with your children's blood. All right, what are you gonna do? What, what did what did he say? Something really funny. It's funny these memories. If I get the keywords, they just unlock. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now this isn't gonna be. This isn't gonna. What, what are you saying? The police thing? It takes like an hour of de an hour of solid training to get that badge. Forget about the badge. When do we get the freaking guns? <laughs> hey, I told you. You what the? I had an enemy spawn on the. Okay, on the the um. Remember the um. <laughs> Quit stalling. What's the plan? <laughs> yeah. Oh my God! The PTA is disbanded. <laughs> <laughs> Jumps out the window, and then when he realizes it's all fine, he jumps back. He's like, it. He just sits down really calmly. I mean, um, it's funny because he is a running gag. Because there was that joke where where it was uh the B shops, and he and Homer's like, we have a very special guest. This uh, she's over two hundred years old and weighs over three thousand tons. This enormous woman will devour us all. <laughs> <laughs> I was talking about the statue. He's talking about the statue. <laughs> fucking... um, um, just watched the latest episode of Expanse. Hope you're both watching it. This episode had a moment that was cringe, though. Still good to watch. We um, have not been watching the Expanse. Yeah, Ephab's right. not really a fan. I saw the first, I think, three seasons. I thought it was kind of shit. I have... I'm apparently in the minority on that one, which is fine. I, uh, I often am. I saw the first two seasons and was quite baffled. By a lot of it, the characters seem to act really weirdly a lot of the time. I know that Wolf hates it though, because he's a big fan. He of fucking books. hates the show, yeah. Didn't Drinker just do a video recommending the Expanse like today? Hey, you know what? Maybe that's Everyone, why we're getting asked. They have different tastes. Drinker likes Expanse, doesn't like Bly. We're the reverse. Um, the show kind of sucks. The books are amazing, though. Well, I've only read a, uh... Oh, that's a, that's a topic. So you guys... Have you guys heard of the High Republic? You heard of that? I mean, I've... Star Wars? Yeah. <laughs> oh, well, yeah. It's more for, more for their sake than yours. Mm -hmm. I think we've talked about this already. Um, 
So I, I, uh, I bought the, the, like, the flagship book, I guess, to read it. Um, yeah, I don't know about this one. <laughs> so, uh, a little rough. Um, uh, though, admittedly, my, my issues with it more are the fact that I think it's pretty poorly, like, I don't like the way that it's written. Um, it's weird, because I do like Charles Soul. I like this dead of a run. I thought that was pretty good. Um, I don't remember enough about it at all. But, uh, but yeah, it's it's pretty exposition laden, and I do wonder if uh, it seems like Star Wars has committed. Well, maybe people in chat might know more about this. Um, is hyperspace meant to like be? Ex I always assume the hyperspace was almost like a different plane of reality. Like once you enter it, you're not really in like the same realm in a certain sense. But in this one, there are like objects moving through hyperspace that are heading towards a planet. Um, and something, and a ship was destroyed in hyperspace. And the threat is that the objects that are traveling in hyperspace are going to like fly into a planet and blow it up. And when I heard that, my immediate thought was, I feel like that's not how hyperspace used to work, but I guess they're just committing to this now. Maybe because of what happened in TLJ. Mm. Um... And I think a bunch of Jedi are planning to use, like, the Force to stop it. And I feel like that's not how the Force works, but... Those pesky Jedi. Well, somebody said that's not how hyperspace works. <laughs> and we're all turning into hard Solo. That's not how hyperspace works! Any opinion on the possibility of movies becoming fewer and TV series becoming more abundant due to costs and the coof? Um, I guess, yeah, probably. It's it. I think it's categorical. Marvel. I think Disney panicked like crazy when COVID did a thing, and instead of having, like, possibly four shows, they were like, let's go, 11. Yeah, and, which is funny, because they're, they're developing these shows almost... Like, what if... You know, like, imagine WandaVision comes out, and people watch it, and by the time Falcon and Winter Soldier comes out, like, people just aren't interested. But you have, like, 11 shows that are already in the works. That would be, um... Probably not good for them. Akvad. I guess. Um, I'm fine with whichever medium there is more of. I just want them to be good. Yeah, that's the main thing. I do like movies, though. I mean, I like TV shows and I like movies. I think they can both coexist. Well, they will be whether you like it or not, Free. Look at them everywhere. I Black Widow probably would have been better as a show than a movie, and Falcon and Winter Soldier might have been better as a film. I guess we'll just wait and see. Yeah, maybe. I think, I think we're both a little concerned about that one, for obvious reasons. See mm -hmm. both back. Alright, let's stop Indo Beast. Does the indoctrination theory in Mass Effect 3 make the ending better? Um, no. <laughs> I mean, it probably, it probably makes it better from what I can remember, but it's still not an ending that I think is very good, nor is it an ending that I like at all. Um, and the director's cut basically all but confirmed that that is not the ending. So, again, we're talking about nine... Oh, dude, that was nine years ago, nearly. Man. I remember when it happened, I was like, this game has pissed a whole bunch of people off, I don't know what's going on. It was pretty egregious. I remember it very well, because I'd been playing the game for about 14 hours straight. Um, I was having a really good time. Uh, and then I got to the end and I was pretty bewildered and baffled. And then you went to the internet for help. Yeah, I did. Uh, and then I saw that all the explosions were just different colors. <laughs> Because, <laughs> of course, when you first play it, you're like, oh, does this, like, did I... I remember that really frustrated me, because there were three choices. Destroy the Reapers, synthesize with them, or uh, control them. And I, I, I always felt like destroying them was the, the correct choice. Um, but it was really frustrating to me, because I had specifically gone out of my way to uh, save the Geth. And... You know, that ending makes it to where the get is dead. But it's like, I can't pick the other ending. I just don't feel like it's... it's I don't feel like the other ending is really... I mean, 
synthesis seems to just totally... The whole point of that series is that our differences, when we work together, is how we can beat the bad guys. And that ending says, those differences don't matter anymore. It just seems like such a contradictory message. Was Mass Effect 3 the first TLJ? No, I don't think so, because, like, bad endings is not... I think TLJ is a different thing, because, like, TLJ is about destroying, like, the franchise forever. Everything I thought that's what Mass Effect 3 did. And, uh, um, I guess, I guess characters as well is another important part. Like, Mass Effect 3's ending doesn't destroy the characters. I could have sworn um, I said that to Rags in the last E5 and he said that they did do that. Oh, um, I guess it, th um, oh, yeah, I think, I know what he's talking, I can't, these enemies. <laughs> um, it destroys the ending of, like, the characters abandoning Shepard. The, the Normandy will flee from the Battle of Earth. Um, and that's insane. They would never run away. Um, why would they abandon you? There is that. I don't know. I feel like, I feel like, um... That's what Andromeda did from Weekend Warrior. You want to jump in, Weekend Warrior? We're just chilling, playing some video games? You big nerd. This is the time of day that he's actually around normally, you know? Ah, that's right. I think, um, I think TLJ is more... Because I often say Halo 5 is, like, the first TLJ, or... Genesis was the first TLJ, I guess, and then Halo 5 was, like, the next one. Yeah, I think, Genesis is definitely one of the I earlier think, ones of that, uh, breed. I think the most important part about being TLJ is that there is meant to be a story that comes after it, but it's never gonna work again, whereas Mass Effect 3 was the end. Um, so I almost feel like that's what TLJ is. It is, like, the middle of a story that obliterates it. Or, or, or not the middle, but it is not the end, but it might as well be, um, with all of the damage that's done. I think I like that as a definition. But Halo 5 was definitely a TLJ sort of moment. Um, God, Halo 5. Multiplayer is really fun, but the campaign was abysmal. Or was it? No. No, you see, you don't understand Cortana's plan, alright? It makes sense to... ...the people, or control them, yes, the AI, yep, created. What Adverbs. up, nerd? No, I don't know gamers. Warrior What's of up? the week. <laughs> we'll be playing some video games. Fring Fringy's trying to rant about Mass Effect 3, because he just can't get over it. Oh, I, yeah, I, I actually did... I actually didn't even play it because of the bad reception it got. So I, I just saw the memes on 4chan and it and yeah, which I just explosion did with you it. pick? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Which explosion did you pick? Or or how about the small the ending where the grandpa talks to the kid about the shepherd when when the, <laughs> the model shepherd, is, yeah, 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 and and the and the model for the kid is just an adult that they shrank. <laughs> they were that lazy about the ending. Yeah, Mass Effect 3 probably could have used a little more time in the oven. Um, cause I mean, yeah, that I game, think... two years, I think, between it and 2, which is an insanely short amount of time for a game that big. They, they, want, they wanted that Mass Effect money. And then the funny yeah, thing, after all that dramatic school. shit in the ending, continued the journey with Mass Effect 3 DLC. Yeah, I can't <laughs> believe that. Yeah, man. Well, I can actually. That was E3 and two. That was EA in like 2012. <laughs> they, yeah. were, they were uh, monsters. <laughs> Continue the fight. <laughs> yes. What's finish the, the um, fight? Do you want to like just pretend I have zero context? I don't know what, what's the meme. Is it because the uh -huh. it was over? Well, Mass Effect Three. Uh, it, it explained a lot. You know, like, you have an ending that's super incomplete and obtuse and confusing, and then they say, hey, look, continue with DLC. It's like, did you did you actually just do this because you wanted to make DLC? Like, is the ending uh. really bad because you wanted to sell us DLC? <laughs> yeah, it was, it was really bad. And of it course, ended. they did have DLC. Hello? Hello? Uh, oh, you cut oh, yeah. out for a second, I think. Oh yeah, it, it you know, Philippine internet. <laughs> <laughs> Philippine. It's not, it's not great, guys. Yeah, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, it's it's not top tier. Do you think it's fucked up if people make Philippine jokes? Do you consider those racist? Oh, I get oh, it. Okay. I, 
I'm sorry, I'm, I'm not racist, so oh I didn't get God. it. Oh my god, game just lags so much. Come on, PS4, you can do it. Oh yeah, the blood... ...borns. A game I that, when running at 30 FPS, yeah. is considered... ...fully functional. Sorry. Good enough, alright? Performing maybe better than ever. Do you think the memes will come true and they'll actually release Bloodborne on the PC? Do you think that will happen? No. Uh, I really want nah, them to, though. I don't think so. That would be a dream come true. Yeah, probably not. I agree. Well, they did release that... That Horizon game. So, I don't know. They did, so maybe. But I'm skeptical. Yeah, because that's one of their... I. Th I think a lot of people bought the PS5 so they could play Demon Souls. So there's that. Yeah, I mean, I, mean, I would have. The IP. I want to play Demon Souls, so. But it's um. It's... But. Oh, it's just you know I'm not buying a PS5 just to play one game. Right? Yeah, it's expensive at this point. Point, and they'll probably yeah. release a PS5 Slim at some point. So that's what I'm gonna buy. And also, enough. just you know, early consoles can be. Okay. Uh, unreliable. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, I mean, remember when the Switch came out? Joy-Con, uh, the Joy-Con's Rift? Oh, man. Oh, <laughs> a funny, I'm, I'm just gonna share a story, because I was in the mall the other day, mm -hmm. and, like, the, the PS5s were, like, sold out, right? But there was this one shop that was selling it, and I asked, oh, how much, how much are you selling it? They said 60,000 pesos, which is like 1,200 US dollars. So it's like... They ask, oh, so about three times that. as much. Yeah, and and the guy said, yeah, it's a scam. And he's like this, he's like one of the guys who are selling the shit. Like one of the clerks, and he knows it's a scam. God damn. Yeah. Mother... You... I find it so rude when you're trying to run through an area and one of the enemies just hits you. It's like, excuse you. Oh yeah, that, that, yeah, not not polite. It's like I have, I'm busy. I have things to do, people to be, and you're just like, oh, bing bong bang. Why can't these fucking hunters attack each other? Why do they have to come after me? What do I do? See, that's a good question, right? Quest chin. Like, the other hunter should be killing the other hunters, not just you. For some reason, you're the one they well, hate. Well, I mean, like, is this game a Dick Cheney simulator, or like, you know what I mean? <laughs> Why are we shooting <laughs> each other? When <laughs> <do> we shoot? <laughs> Dick Cheney simulator? It's called that, it releases like this, like, this is the <laughs> game, and you're just like, I don't understand. Funny, man. Like, Dick Cheney and the old hunter's garbage. <laughs> <laughs> Dick Cheney is the, like, instead of, uh, Lady Maria, it's Dick Cheney. Yeah. That would be fucking great. He has a funny. shotgun on his hand. Replace all of the bad guy, the bosses with just political figures. Maybe, like, one of his special moves is calling the Iraq War on you or something. <laughs> like... Um, hey, Spooder Wars. He just says, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, go ahead. Spooder Wars guy here. I'd like to say thanks for the advice for my Longman anime review. Save me from the copytisms. I'm thinking about making more Longman reviews, but I don't know where to start. Any advice? So, advice on what to talk about? I mean, that's, something you... that's probably something we can't give you advice on. That's gonna be something you really yeah. care about. Yeah, it's almost like the I was wedding say that right here is common advice. About. Like, yeah, wedding like, when... like, I don't know. <laughs> What do you think about something? Like, <laughs> That's probably find a good something one. that bothers you when you wake up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's something that keeps you up at night is usually a good topic to discuss in review. <laughs> God bring a nice 2006 era political reference. Yeah, no, I was pretty proud of that one actually. <laughs> yeah, it was funny. Um, it, was, it was funny enough. I feel Dick like uh, <laughs> Uh, yeah, I feel like it was simpler times back then, <laughs> just in general, when uh, the vice presidents of a nation just had a habit of shooting people. <laughs> like, just, you know, simpler times. I don't actually even remember the full story. I just know that he shot someone. Like, that's all I know about that uh, particular event. I think the first time I found out about it properly was fucking Family Guy. 
I think Family Guy fits for me as well. Yeah. But yeah, obviously the the point we we're trying to make was make sure you cover what you care about. That's that those things connect, right? Yes. Um, but like obviously, president is going to get you the whole way. Like, i.e., when you're making a big crash four video, you know. It's not going to be a very fun experience the whole way through, especially when you're like working on the script and trying to figure out how it all plays out. You just got to, I don't know, almost put blinders on, just focus like if you keep working on it, you'll get there eventually. Um, it's all a piece of puzzle, building it up one at a time and redraft. Yeah, yeah but in terms of choosing topics, just um, the ones I go with is you got something to say that you don't think many people have said. You, something yeah, you care about. Yeah. And then something that you know people will be interested in hearing, I guess? Um, I guess, but I don't know how... Like, that's not something I would want... I would say is as important as something that you're interested in. Um, I mean, I'm okay with it being, like, the only reason. If you think you've got something you don't necessarily care about, but you know people will be really interested to hear about it, it's a reason. Um, yeah, I guess it's a little bit more um, of, like, a... Hunt werewolf. Knowing we'll, we'll watch. Oh my. Something so controversial you if you're looking for views. Uh, well, if you're looking for views, there's lots of different pieces of advice that could be given. In fact, you probably don't want to be making super long reviews if you want to get more clicks in general. Yeah. Um, and, and you should cover the news, don't do critiques. Covering the news is a much better way of getting more views. No, just read the news, and just yeah, well, put yeah, your just, own spin just on copy it. Yeah, yeah. 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 Like yeah article: movies are being pushed back um, by a couple of months. So the title of the video is um, "The Death of Cinema?" Question mark, and then or, or something like "Black Widow delayed again." Also, more MCU news. Just make sure. Make it more dramatic than that. TV. Is this the end for Black Widow? Is this the end? And then yeah. someone checks it out and it's just you saying, yeah, it's delayed again. Like, yeah. why did you ask if that's the uh -huh. end? It's like, I asked a question, what? So, yeah, so basically just do the Glenn Beck thing. I'm just asking questions, alright? I'm <laughs> just, just putting some questions. Free um, speech, bro. I guess, uh, I guess one of your options is also, you could just lie. Like, make up a rumor for, for something and don't substantiate it at all. Like, Daredevil coming to Doctor Strange 2? Uh, there's a source who said so. Like, you can always do that. That's a good way to get clicks. <laughs> Just lie. Black <laughs> Widow TV so. show confirmed? Yeah. Which With a qu right. Again, question mark. Capital, capitalize the words. Kinda, um, or like, kinda confirmed? <laughs> kinda confirmed? Question mark? Yeah, just add a question mark to any of these statements and you're yeah. fine. Yeah. Yeah, that's the key to making money. Ask questions, alright? Be Glenn Beck. Gellin Bellic. Gellin Bellic. Slave Knight Glenn Bellic. <laughs> <laughs> he jumps at you. His special attack is crying about how much he loves America. <laughs> <laughs> you can drown you in the stage. You gotta kill him before he gets too much of it done. This is funny, because, like, Glenn Beck is still around, but I'm just referencing stuff I remember from, like, 2010. <laughs> so dated <laughs> my references today. Hello, my fellow gamers. Do, do you know about Dick Cheney? Dick Devan Cheney. Hey guys, I want to have a conversation about Walter Mondale, alright? <laughs> Some super relevant politic. Politicking. Oh, there's a giant, there's a giant Cthulhu monster shooting a laser at me. <laughs> what is, is a problem? What? what? Uh, uh, he said, he said that like it was a problem. <laughs> What's wrong with that? There's a giant- there's a bunch of women as well. Oh, oh, okay. Jeez. Oh, that's the problem. That- Yeah, but they're, they're they scary and they're wearing big Dude, you better delete this VOD. Like, people are gonna clip that. Yeah. are <laughs> women running at me. <laughs> and this is very scary. There are oh, many no. women in this area and it's terrifying. I'm with her, alright? I'm with her! <laughs> no, I'm dead. It's too late. I don't even care that I died, I'm just trying to open a fucking route to the boss. That's all I exist for. So I was reading the paper- yeah, somebody said, so how, how's Hurricane Katrina frigate? It's like, what what are some other mid-2000s references? Linkin Park, I guess? 
<laughs> well, Green they Day. Really, they were more popular before the 2000s, I think, or right or early. Were they? I feel like it was a mid, mid to early, early to not mid. It's hard to, to remember early, these things. Fringy no. Damn. Someone stole your catchphrase. You can't just steal Fringy's catch catchphrase like that. That's fucked up. I'm gonna patent it like uh, King did when they wanted to copyright candy or put a trademark Saga. on it. <laughs> yeah, that was so dumb. Jesus Christ. Like... Um, yeah, well, they almost got away with it too. Do you That's know about... the scary part, right? Do you know about Star Weirds in Star Wars? I'm not sure what point in lore they first show up, but apparently they're ghosts that live in deep space. What? Star Weirds? Somebody in chat asking, how was the last episode of House MD Fringy? I'm guessing. Yeah, we got real far back now. Yeah, no, I, we no idea. We talked about House on e before? I don't know. Um, I watched the breakdown of House relatively recently. It was pretty good. And it, it was just like Explain a guy passionately that. explaining how the show went from okay to great to terrible. I really like the theme song, but uh, we only had the cool American theme song for the first season in Australia, and it, and it was worse ever since then, and even when I was a kid, I'm like, wait, this is not, something's wrong. Um, the, the, the American theme song's really cool for House. Oh, they changed it in Australia. Yeah, so, when it's, so the, 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 the real one, the actual house God, one, was bad. like, boom, 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 like that's the American one, and the Australian one was something like, um, well, it was probably the European one, right? It was, um, ah, oh, damn, I can, I, I kind of I pulled it out of my mind almost, I, I like, total recalled it, because I hated it so much, um, it was... Uh, damn it, I can't even remember. That's probably a good thing. Your uh, training isn't going well. Don't worry, guys. As long as none of this happens on the day, it's fine. Well, I've made no progress at all. Fringy, how are you holding up with the Hollywood Riders strike? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was what the, uh, the Canada on Strike episode was about. I'm pretty sure that, um, that Riders strike ruined heroes. Uh, it yeah, ruined it did. a lot of things. Um, yeah, Heroes oh Season 1, everyone loved it. Season 2, everyone hated it, and it died. Um, I remember, I remember, uh, because I, I have a DVD copy of Transformers 2. Um, I remember watching the behind the scenes for it. And, um, that was written during the writer's strike. So, the two writers that they got weren't participating in it, and they were pampered, and they wrote it in six weeks. And when I was a kid, like, I didn't fully appreciate just how short of a time that is, but it explains a lot about that film. Six weeks is not long enough to write a, a film and make it good. At least I don't think so, anyway. Yeah, I agree. An incredibly short amount of time. Yeah, at least it was six weeks, and, like... Wonder Woman that was in an afternoon. Which was written in an afternoon, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, dude, I'm, I'm pretty confident that it was written like in an afternoon. Yeah, um, it, or at best, it's like a weekend. But not, yeah, not, like it, 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 it really doesn't feel like they spent any time on it at all. That she had a crappy little idea and then just immediately started going to work on it. And um, I can't, I can't believe how badly written it is. It's, um, and I mean, again, it's so bad that you even want me to kind of You're gonna make a video on it weekend? Uh, maybe next month. I, I have something for this month. What's that? So, this month is, uh, I'm going back to that galaxy far, far away. So <gasps> finally finishing that one. <laughs> After 10 years, he's <laughs> I hope people will like it. I oh yeah, but all the doing TFA pod, whatever. <laughs> Whenever that's coming I out. I finish my Star Wars stuff so quickly and on time. I've done all of them. I'm missing like one. My fight, yeah. <laughs> Bringing, I want to go back to Wonder Woman. It really bothered me that they didn't realize how handsome guy was such a what's was such a problem. That that really bothers me. I can't now. believe that one. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, I don't, I don't know. It's quite damning that nobody picked up on that. You know? And I, 
Yeah, and I think a, a hint on how much they didn't give a fuck was the name of the guy. Yeah, handsome it, it guy. Reminds me of, yeah, yeah, hands up. It reminds me of Battle for for LA. Did, did any of you watch that? I remember that movie. Yeah. It was it was a it was a fun ride, but there was an but there was a fairly important side character there. Uh, he's a dad of Hector, this little Mexican boy, and he sacrifices himself to save everyone. And then the movie doesn't even give him a name, <laughs> even though he's kind of important. Even even the main character, when he was talking about his sacrifice, he just goes Hector's father. And then you look at the credits. That's also what he's credited as. Hector's father. <laughs> just come and up with a kinda, name. It's kind of yeah, just kind of yeah, exactly. You're in the apartment, right? It's e you have his wallet. It's easy to come up with an ID, right, or, or some excuse. He is such yeah. a non like he's a punchline basically, and that bothers me. Yeah, but, like they, they didn't give him a name. They just they just use him for a gag, and and that gag has so many questions that even I think. Uh, what's his what's his what's that guy hit hit, hit high top film hit top film. High top even I think high top knows that it it has problems. He just doesn't. I don't want to acknowledge it. He I, doesn't I really care. Think he does. Uh, yeah. yeah, he doesn't. Yeah. Well, like, you guys are just like, interpreting it that way because of bad faith. Oh, yeah. That's an opinion. But then he yeah, said sorry, that it was, it was not a bad, bad thing that um that Barbara kicked that dude nearly to death. Yeah. It's like, I think I said Fucking, it in the stream, but. Yeah. Uh, Jay from that? Red Letter Media said that if you wanted to show her going evil, you needed to have her kill him. Um. I mean, wrong. Right, you could have done that, but like, it's already bad enough. She's clearly evil yeah, at that scene. She's enjoying the power she has. Yeah, yeah it took it took um, random guy that it took random poor guy to come and say, "What you doing?" In such a conveniently yeah. timed way for her to go. Oh my god! Really oh, bugs me that the film doesn't have any accountability for that. Like, well, in general, like yeah. the film tries to absolve accountability at all turns, like. Oh, it's taking away your goodness. Why couldn't it be that she made that choice? That's better. At least, you know, as far as character writing is concerned, as opposed to, nah, the, the rock made her do it. Yeah, because what are you appealing to when you tell her, like, you need to undo the wish, you're, you're losing your humanity. It's like, well, either she will because it didn't take enough of her humanity or it won't because it took too much. Like, whatever happens, happens. You know, it's not, yeah. it's not really interesting to see what whatever gets decided on there. I really do think the lasso compelled everyone to just renounce their wish because what they're wishing for is not true. Rather than everyone in the world has some That's... bit of goodness in them. Well, it doesn't really add up, does it? Because um, you haven't accounted for all of the people who made their wishes and then weren't at a computer screen, if you know what I mean. Yeah. yeah. But didn't they say the, the, the light reached everyone <laughs> or some yeah, shit? Yeah, they said like, like nuts. hot shit. Them. I thought it said yeah. it just reaches every every device or whatever oh that's yeah, but bad it, like radiates out it radiates what about out some, <laughs> some guy in a cave <laughs> yeah or what about the guys who made their wish then left the tv screen afterward right yeah into his cave yeah back to his cave <laughs> it's like i'll come out of my cave for a bit oh my god i wish i'll wish and i'll go back to my cave yeah, the, the wish has so many moving parts. I think it would have been bet. It would have made sense if she just killed Maxwell. Like if everyone in chat Five right now made a wish, that, that would... at least one of them yeah. would troll and be like, "I wish everybody had one, like giant penis on their head." And then everyone's just yeah. fucking around with that. <clears throat> or like one of them will go, "I'm not gonna renounce my wish." Like so many millions of people in Earth, and no one went, went no way. No way, man. Why? Why would I want cancer to return to my father or something like that, right? No. Well, yeah, that's that's a real big issue is the if you told me, like, the truth is he has it, I'd be like, why would that convince me to renounce my wish? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. That's bad. I don't want that to truth be true. Truth is he's gonna die? What kind of... <laughs> truth is daddy's gonna die. A little bit. You may have the power to stop that, but I'm compelling you not to use it. You're like, uh, okay. Yeah, because it's not true. Like, or, or I think this was like in in the discussion, right? Bruce Wayne. <laughs> Bruce, yeah. Bruce Wayne. Would, you're like, I'm not gonna give up my parents. <laughs> Poor <laughs> old Brucey. Right? Old Brucey. Better give up your mom and dad. 
kid. Master Wayne, why right, do we I'm... fall down? To make wishes. <laughs> and then Master take Wayne. them back, because it's, it's not true. <laughs> take them back. <laughs> yeah. um, I, will, I will be back uh, momentarily. Very well. Which leaves me and Lee Kimori together. I guess we can talk about... Do you like films or TV shows or anything? Right now? Or games? Mm, I'm watching some... Some Korean TV shows on Netflix, so I don't, I don't know if, they, if they, you have them Just what I there. expected, you weeb. Yeah. Unless you have NordVPN. <gasps> that way, you could... <laughs> NordVPN. The best way. Nord. To surf Oh, I have a question, Muller. Oh, no. Like, when, when will you be, like, racing with... With, with, the, with the lads on Bloodborne. When is that going to happen? Well, we did one already. Um, oh, cool. I won it because I'm a Chad. Uh, we're going to be doing another one now because metal, metal is more prepared. I don't think Fringy is, but that's okay. That's okay because, you know, Fringy, he's, he's a different breed. He just wants to be able to have fun. And, you know, that's cute in its own way, isn't it? Fun? In video games? What the? What is know, that? Right? I consider it terrifying. Uh, what? So, so is your is your build gonna be the chainsaw build, or, or are you just like using it for fun right oh, now? Oh, we did. We everyone did the um, uh, fuck. What is it? Why am I blanking on the name? The the saw, saw. Uh, the bo the the spear saw thing. No, the saw cleaver. That's the word. Jesus. Oh, okay. Um, okay. so yeah, we're, we all use the saw cleaver. Next time, we're all gonna use uh the cane. Gentlemen. Is it Shalom? Gentle. Oh, threaded I'm dead. Cane? Yeah, the threaded oh. cane. We gotta get in that room, folks. It's gonna happen. You know what my favorite thing in Soulsborne games is? Fucking platforming. Yeah. It's the best. Oof. Oh, I, I just caught up on the stream where you jumped. Oh, damn. Yeah. <laughs> I just saw it. Yeah, but you, you gotta get that just right. Because if you don't, you yeah. die. And it's like, thanks. This is my favorite thing to do in these oh, I games. Am, I am really impressed with like the speedrunners of, of Souls games. They're, they're really like the level of of mastery they have on, on technical mm -hmm. shit. It's very impressive. Yeah. I would never take I the cane sword over the axe. I prefer it to the axe actually. The axe is homosexualoid. Why would you say that? Well, the truth hits. What can I say? Oh, well, I well, I guess I'm a flaming homo. I like the big weapons. Like I re I haven't finished this, but I got to the part where you could get the the sword, the big ass sword. I forgot the name right now. It's blanking. I'm blanking out at this point. Oh, Loki! I made it this time. Yay! Big sword. Gotta toodle forward. off and start my day. Have fun being massive and large, loving large objects thrust in and out of your rump. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <yeah>. No. <laughs> wow. <the> hell? <laughs> you know? Just give it a thumbs up to that statement. Thumbs up. Lud Ludwig's Holy Blade. There you go. That's not a fire yeah. sword. You lied to me. No, no. The big sword, I said. I, I like thought you said a fiery sword. Big and it's like, I think you can apply fire paper to that sword, so that's something. Yeah, there you go. Hey, Fringy, I acquired a third umbilical cord. Are you jealous? Wait. What do you mean you... Isn't that what you need to fight the bad guy? Well, I just thought out of context it sounds funny. I haven't been picking up any umbilical... Where do you get them from? <laughs> you wouldn't have. The only one you'll get is from when you beat Murgo's wet nurse... Or the wet nurse, Murgo, whatever the fuck's called, which you haven't quite gotten to. You gotta okay. kill... How you doing, by the way? You killing the one reborn? You fucking him up? No. Wow. I'm not there oh, yet. Shit. I didn't mean to do this. Nah. I haven't made much headway in the unseen village. You might say it's unseen how much you have progressed. Shad is streaming video games right now. Get him in the call mutually. I mean, he's probably playing a completely different game, and it might. White yeah. Clash of Rooney. What's it called? Game Night is his thing, right? Game Night. He's. What is he currently doing? Commanders, though. That's not what I'm after.
Dragon's Dogma, Dark Horizon, Livestream 2, The Quest for the Ring. Oh my god. Sounds like such a, like, fantasy lame person. <laughs> See, we're cool. We talk about, like, cool stuff. Yeah, like, yeah. um, Mass Effect 3. Yeah, it looks like he's... <laughs> Andromeda. Hey, Fringy! Did you play Andromeda or no? No. No. I'm oh, not. good job. No, good job. And yeah, he's got his yeah, own I, people I he's hanging out with. I don't think... Our... Yeah, go ahead. I don't think he's gonna wanna... Oh, I think they're all... Why do you have to be you two seconds ahead, behind yeah, us? <laughs> um, yeah. That's what makes it all so floopy. Uh, I was just gonna say quick, Shad is streaming with people, and we're streaming with people, so it's just like combining them could only cause chaos. All right, so it's all good. We'll just chill. What's happening to me? Tell me. Go ahead, I was gonna say to Fringy for all its faults, I think Mass Effect 3 has better gameplay than Andromeda, so... Wow, all right. <laughs> is yeah, that, is that controversial? Yeah, I, I think the main, I think one of the biggest problems in Andromeda is that the main character is just so, he's 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 a bit of a pussy or she's a bit of a pussy. Like, there is one side quest where one of if if your loyalty mission for this one character, she just ejects you from the ship and you go into a volcano planet. Uh -huh. Like if, if that was Shepard. Yeah, if, if you're a shepherd, you'd kick that bitch out after, right? After you've done the mission, mm -hmm. you'd kick her out, right? Of course. That 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 was a risky play. You could have landed into lava. No, you j the main character just goes, oh, here we go. Like, uh, but come on. Not... <laughs> she's a whip, or she's a whip. Like, yeah. So, yeah, you could have died. It, it's there are so many opportunities for Ryder to be a badass, but he chooses to be a wimp. It's so frustrating. The main character is a big floppy wimp. It's pathetic. Sounds pretty crappy. I remember hearing yeah. that people thought the gameplay was actually like the good part of it, and it was the, the story was awful. <coughs> what sorry? The what? The story was really bad is what I heard and that the gameplay was actually yes. alright. That's uh, the perspective. The gameplay I've heard. is Uh the gameplay is it's not that mm, shooting is fine, but like the mechanics like they were hyping up. Like I like there's a way for the main character to switch up abilities. Right. Right? You don't have a but class. Depending right? on yeah, yeah, there's no class, but you could have, like, uh, a bit, you could switch a loadout on the fly. In theory, that works, but in practice, it's dumb, because w when really you switch hate, a loadout... Why can't they just make you commit? I'm so sick of video games doing like You can yeah, do whatever yeah, you want, that. mix and match classes. Like, how about, no, how about actually make people commit to the class? I think that that's also a good idea for it. Or, or one oh, of the things this, I noticed... That's what RPGs do. Oh, fuck! Oh. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> yeah. It's like, uh, the abilities that your character has, there's so many, there's so few. Like, there... Right. Or at least you have... have only three ability slots. I think that's why they made you be able to switch loadouts, because you could then have more abilities. But... Just have more ability slots, right? I, I think in Mass Effect 3, you, you have a class that has, you're stuck to a class that has a lot of abilities, but even in the console, you can still like, you can still have a lot of abilities that you can call on, I think. But in Mass right. Effect Andromeda, you're just stuck with free. And going back well, to Mass what Effect was- Mass Effect Andromeda what... was made in like two years, so that doesn't surprise me. That it's just not, yeah. it's just lacking in that regard. And uh, um, what also Fringy, another bad thing about it was that, in theory, the the ability to switch loadouts would be fine. Like, let's say there's a boss that's weak to one loadout, but when you get that loadout, you, there's a cooldown for the abilities. I think that's a balancing issue, but it's... By the time you get the abilities to be stopped, to be activated, like, not, co not on cooldown, the boss could be dead because you're shooting if you have like high if you're near the end of the game or even in the middle of the game you have good weapons 
you can just shoot it to death and and like the ability switching thing doesn't even matter at that point right yeah so it's not i agree that it's not really a poorly it's a poorly designed game i think that has a nifty idea well, I think um, in terms of just that that general, because I, I saw somebody say that I was like being it, that it was based for me saying that a game should force you to stick to your decisions. It's I think I that yeah actually I should stop playing because I need to concentrate when I explain this. So I think a big problem with a lot of video games now is that they do this whole you can play how you want, you can mix and match your abilities and all that, and then the problem is that the game doesn't need to be super thorough at any one specific thing because nobody is ever going to be playing in one specific type of way. So like, if you imagine a game where it's like, okay, so you've got five classes, you've got like Knight, Mage, um, I don't know, uh, uh, like Assassin, um, mm -hmm. Warlord, you know, like you just have those standard classes. It's like, well, if you pick one and that's what you have to be for the rest of the game, then each one of those classes needs to be good. It needs to be fleshed out and, oh my God, the enemies spawn behind me. Um, it needs to be fleshed out, and um, because if it's not, then the game's gonna suck for people. Um, suck, yeah. Whereas now, if it's like, hey, look, if you don't like what you're doing, you can just switch it out. Um, you don't have classes, you can just build whatever you want. I think that just leads to, I think that just invariably leads to the game not having to put as much depth into any one class because nobody is any one class you know yeah. a warlock or like a knight doesn't have to be as good as it's kind of you know it's like cyberpunk has that issue right where it's like you can be whatever the, you want it's like yeah but if you for, if you told me at the beginning of the game all right you need to be one or the other and then i had to commit to that then the game also has to commit to that in a certain sense i agree um, yeah yeah, I just I just think it's really annoying. Um, and I mean, you know, I'd even say in that whole thing, play it your way. I think Yahtzee talked about this. It's like, how about no? How about you tell me that this is the way that I need to play and then you design the game? I think stealth games lately, or if we even had stealth games anymore, but um, when they were starting to die out, they had this problem. Hey, look, you can play it run and gun. It's like, dude, it's a stealth game. Like, yeah. no, you shouldn't make it like that at all. You should make it that... I need to play it as stealth, and if I don't, I'm gonna be in a lot of trouble. Like, I will get killed if I try and not play it uh, as a stealth game. I'll get attacked, um, I, I'll, get, I'll have less health, I won't be able to, to, to fight as effectively as, like, soldiers. I mean, this is what Thief does, right? In Thief, you can't fight people when you're caught. That's kind of it for you. You're in a lot of trouble. And I think, uh, I think that's the way that you should do it. Make the character really good at stealth, but really bad at combat. To disincentivize combat as much as possible, and to make people engage with the stealth. Oh, the women, I'm back at them. Alright. <laughs> leave I'm the women her, alone. Right? right? Being I, a... <laughs> they need to leave me alone, alright? I'm just minding my own business, just making my way. Dishonored had that issue. It absolutely did. Yep, it did. <laughs> Dishonored has that problem. Um, in fact, Dishonored has the big problem of all of the coolest abilities are the ones that are lethal. But non-lethal oh, yeah. gives you the best ending. Yeah, I hate that about Dishonored. Like, the cool shit is locks you out. Yeah. The best ending. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, I've got the machine gun, dude. Is Franey also playing Bloodborne? Or yes. yeah, some other um, uh, we're we're at significantly different parts of the game right now because uh I'm I'm trying to like continue. Are you earlier or later? Okay. I'm later, so I because Mola beat me by a, a huge margin and, and, and metal is also much further ahead of me. So right now I'm playing from where I was before to try and um, you know catch up basically. Uh, not catch up, but like area. figure out. Yeah, I because I don't I don't remember this area. Funnily enough, we're actually in similar areas. Um, it's just that you're in the future part of it in the game. Oh, okay. I I didn't know. Yeah, how cool. Oh my fucking god! What? 
so Fringy, aggressive. Are you reading your own chat too or just Maulers? I am also reading chat because somebody just asked me what are some good stealth games to recommend. Uh, I guess like just the standard, well Deus Ex technically isn't a stealth game, it's an action RPG, but it's basically a stealth game. So like Deus Ex games, uh, Splinter Cell, it's always an oldie but a goodie. Um, I'd also recommend, uh, you know what, Dishonored is like, it's worth playing Dishonored. Um, I think, I feel like there's, I said Thief, right? Because if I didn't, yeah, you did, yeah, you, you, did. Play Thief. you did. Um, not the new one. Uh, Sly Cooper is actually a good one. Somebody just mentioned it. Um, uh, there's more. My brain isn't. If somebody would have asked Metal Gear Solid, I'd, I don't have an answer for you. I don't know shit about Metal Gear Solid. I liked Five, um, but I didn't understand anything that was going on in it. Tenchu? I haven't played Tenchu. Nisa uh, Hawaii. Sounds yeah, like a sneeze. Wolfenstein has good stealth. I disagree. <laughs> it's fine. Is it the same kind of good that Last of Us has? Yeah, I, yeah. Basically, it's it's the kind of like it, it gives you no options except sneak up behind their back and kill them, and uh, don't get seen. Which you know, like that's I guess Wolfenstein has the advantage of it isn't trying to be a stealth game. It just has stealth elements. Um, whereas The Last of Us is a stealth game. <laughs> Can't, it, it, it feels wrong to say that. It's not a stealth game. Not mm -hmm. in any meaningful ways that count. Super Chat makes my wish more powerful. I wish for the sequel trilogy to be decanonized and Mark Wahlberg now plays Luke. Embrace the nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> Embrace the nightmare. <laughs> if that is indeed a nightmare. Well, it's probably gonna... Oh, Hitman! Of course, yeah, Hitman. Um, that was one of the ones I was forgetting. Blood Money was really cool. Um, the new ones are pretty cool as well. I haven't played a whole lot of those, but they're cool. Oh my god, the lag. It's okay, Bloodborne, you can do it. What makes bad acting? I don't like not emoting means it's bad because you can have unemotional characters be good. I hate professional critics saying acting bad without substance. Um, I suppose the best you have to go on is identify a consistent behavior from the character to represent their emotional states and then identify what emotion they're supposed to be portraying in the scene according to how their character would feel about what's happening and then look at their face and listen to how they express it. That's the best you can do. I think that's... Yeah, because otherwise bad acting is instinctual, I think. Or just acting in general. Like, yeah, for the instance, best and worst silence. are typically agreed on. It's the hard part is in the middle. Yeah, I think... Um, I think, you know, a good example is like, what is it about Ray's act, Daisy Ridley's acting, that's really bad? It's like, well... I don't know, her eyes are always really open and she screams, like, you know, like, it, I don't, I don't believe that this is a person, I believe that this is an actor on set, I guess is the most, you know, conversely, if you watch, like, Silence of the Lambs, it's, a, you know, you're not watching Anthony Hopkins, you're just watching Hannibal Lecter, like, you just get absorbed into the, the role. Lecter is a cool um, name. Uh, it's a nice villainy name, isn't it? Nah. Aldrich Killian, though. That's that's uh, that's top tier. <laughs> Fucking savage oppress. <laughs> hey, look, all right. Um, those those are really those are. It's it's good, all right. <laughs> all right, if you say um, so. <laughs> she. We're never gonna, they're never gonna let us get away with <laughs> the constant criticizing of our... Bad acting may be the result of bad directing or writing. When is bad acting ever the result of bad writing? Um, I don't, maybe question. if the line of dialogue is so bad that it feels like it's impossible for anybody to actually do it well. I don't know, even then I feel like they could, 
the, I mean, one woman eighty four kind of goes against that, right? Like lots of his. Right, because Pedro Pascal is pretty good in it. He's trying yeah. his little shoes off. Even I think this. Huh. Chris Pine was good in some parts. Yeah. I uh, I think this is the furthest I've ever gotten in the game because I do not recognize where I am right now. You're getting close to the one reborn. It's gonna be a fun boss fight for you. Okay. Um. I believe in you, Fringy. Right now, You'll be finding yourself oh, running... F yeah, you're right there, almost, so... Oh, okay. You may be having to revisit it quite a bit. I will give you a tip, because I like you, alright? I wouldn't do this for anyone else. Yeah. I wouldn't do there this for Metal, even somewhere. though he knows the tip already. Um, when you fight the one reborn, he's a big flash pile. You need to go upstairs oh, and kill yeah. the oh. six, sort of, witches that are, um... So, he's the Tower Knight, then, basically. <laughs> yeah. You gotta get rid of them first. You didn't, yeah. Uh, I thought you were heading there. Are you going back now? Oh, am I? Am I not? Oh no, going that's the right, the right direction. <laughs> this looks like a big arena. Mm. <laughs> Fear for your life, young Frogold. Oh. Okay. All right. Okay. Chat. Cheer him on. He can do it. If he can't do it, no one can. Oh yeah. This. Yeah. That that empty area that does look like a boss. Boss arena time. <laughs> it does, doesn't it? This courtyard. Yeah. For villainy. I'm gonna have to just start trying to speed run to catch up to you now. That's that's now my new goal. Oh, to catch up. <laughs> How many twins um, do I need? Hmm. Interesting observation. Would you say that cringe dialogue is more cringe when you hear it in a language you can understand? Yeah, probably. Um, I think that's why anime gets away with a lot. Yeah. When they're just sort of <laughs> yeah, unlike, yeah, exactly. When they're just screaming in Japanese, it's really hard to tell if this is good or bad acting or good or bad dialogue. Um, and of course, when you translate it into English, there can sometimes be issues in translation. Um, uh, here is some of my disposable income. Enjoy. Please never stream during my office hours again. Also, hi, Rogowski. Rogowski is not here, um, Rogowski. and you know I can't control streaming hours. Sometimes they happen, sometimes they don't, sometimes they're weird, and sometimes they're not. What can I say? Wait, so there are, I got hit before I was even moving. Um, Correct. So you said that there are witches somewhere on the roof. Oh, yeah, there they are. All right, where oh, are the stairs? Go fuck them up, Fringy. Tell them who you are. Do you know right, who there. I am? <laughs> there should be a play Dr. Mask second. option in this game. Well, somebody said- I- I don't know whether- oh, the stairs are past the one reborn. Alright. Farewell, good hunt. There we go. Farewell, good hunt. Oh, wait a minute. Okay. Uh, 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 uh. You know what's funny? Um, one of the best themes I, I found, because I was just listening to them, um, and I was like, oh man, I love this one. What is this from? Fucking boss fight that the theme was from was uh, The Living Failures. Um, which, by the way, is a funny boss name. Um, there's so many obvious jokes you can make. But uh, it was it's crazy because it's a boss fight that not many people like, but I was just listening to the theme for it. It's fucking great. But then again, it's just, I don't know, Bloodborne Living themes. Failures. Yeah. Oh, from Bloodborne. Okay. What is the best song in, in, in any Soulsburn game? Souls boon. Souls born. <laughs> I wouldn't um, want to claim confidently, but a, a favorite would always. There's a couple of favorites. Ludwig's is my favorite, I think, from Bloodborne. Um, I think my favorite from Bloodborne is Lady Maria. Yeah, that's a good one. I really like that one. Um, but Ludwig's is awesome. Um, but Slave Knight, not Slave Knight. Orphan of Cost has a. It's all the. <laughs> um. And Gurnum is re really cool as well. <laughs> Gurnum. Gurman. Gurman. I, I forget his name. Gurr. Right. Gurr. Yeah. Jay, do you want in to ping me if you do? Yeah, age, right? Oh! Oh! Uh, can I grab him, stab him in the face? This one? Yes. Oh, but it's tough I to get around to him. him. Yeah. Yeah, it is tough to get around to him. Um, what about- alright, let's go through the- the- in order. Um, so we got Ducks- well, I guess Demon Souls, right? What's the best song in Demon Souls? Um, I'd have to listen to all of them. I think- I think- I really like Flame Lurker. 
I really like Flame Lurker, and I'm not sure why, because it's pretty. It's 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 very unlike any of the the other ones. I mean, I'd say that um, about um, Gwyn's theme. Yeah, Gwyn stands out. It's just so unique. Um, I I do like the the one Return to Slumber from Demon Souls. That one's pretty cool. Oh my god. AoE. Um, but if we're going from Dark Souls, Oof. probably is Gwyn. Um. Oh my god. It's dumping enemies at my feet. Oh, there's poison. There's poison. I don't believe oh. you. Hello. Hello. Oh man. Oh. Hello, welcome to- uh I broke my ankles. <laughs> Jay, do you have spare oh, ankles? Oh, I saw uh, it. Well, I, I'm using them at the moment, but I'll let you have them when I'm when they're free. Thank you, Jay, for your ankles. The Remake soundtrack first? lost a lot of its original atmosphere. Yes, you are very correct about that. Oh god. Flame Lurker's theme, the new one, I like it, but it's not nearly as- interesting as the original it's just loud it's like they list it's they're just copying dark souls 3 and dark souls 3 enough. has a really cool soundtrack but Mullenberg enough no Mullenberg tower knight isn't as good either i i do like the new tower knight one a little a little bit but um the old one had the laughing that was kind of cool um in terms of dark souls 2 the best song is Suralon. um that's the best one. Say uh, something good about Dark Souls 2 challenge. No. Oh. Ultimate Fatty just gifted like five tier one subs. Thanks. Nice. Wow, that's what you're calling them? <laughs> that's his name. Five Do you have a tier with one that, simps? Nah, I, 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 to be fair, I just like envisioning a, a situation where someone gifts you a load and then you just call them, oh, go, go, oh, thanks, Fatty. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, man. Um. I think somebody asked favorite video game soundtrack. That's um, that's a tough one. I feel like I always default to Halo Three, um, or Halo Two, but um, but there's so many that are so good. Um, Stellaris. Oh, Stellaris is Stellaris. actually pretty high up um on my list. Um, but Halo. I don't know. This, and also, I don't like picking one from Halo. I just, I just like to say that the entire, well, all of the Mario Donna ones. Um, Jay, do, do you have Crus Jay? Do you have Crusader Kings three or, or are you no? Just no. Hey, look, nothing, none of your no's can approach me doing no for Vivaldi's Winter, alright? <laughs> that's, that's the greatest no that there ever is. True. Um, I need to work on that. the, uh, I, can't, I need to work on the, I feel like I might want to change the, the, uh, the donation one because I don't know if it's obvious that, um, what it's from. Uh, I think that's from Requiem by Mozart. <laughs> You should Free, have it. I feel, I feel like you saying that your no is the best. It's like, it's it's an unfair contest because yours is the standard by which we judge the quality of other ones. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so he's so still really right. The best one. <laughs> well, yeah, I suppose. I guess you're just sad you never stood a chance. Yeah. Uh, no. No. <laughs> no. 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 Just, no. You can't no. do it. All right. Well. <laughs> No. Not as well as you. I think, um, I think, you know, you gotta get practice at it. Like, um, a good way to practice is to do Vivaldi's Winter, but do the whole thing. Um, that could be the challenge right now, actually. I, Let me... I assume that's a Bloodborne thing. I'm sorry, I don't play a little no, footage in nerd games. Vivaldi is not from Bloodborne. Um, what is Vivaldi... this? Do you not, do you not know who Vivaldi is, or? No. It's a boss in Bloodborne. Yeah, he's yes, the final Vivaldi, boss, man. Vivaldi, the, uh, the vicar lord of Shloop. Um... <laughs> of Shloop? Mmm. Oh, I love Shloop. 
Isn't it 12 in the UK? Yes, it is. I, I don't I understand why they're saying that like it's strange. Stupid hairball. Mola doesn't stream at this time, uh, which is funny because this is a way more convenient time for me than like the beginning of the day, which I usually do. But if people are cool to turn it out at this time, then that's way better for me personally. Yeah. Fuck the Gramelia. Jay, do you think it's fucked up that I keep breaking this boss's bones? No, I think that's pretty hard. Is that, is that your thing? Um, well, like, it's broken bones specifically, aren't my, my thing? But, like, someone who's, like, good at a fight, that's pretty, that's pretty hard. Someone, mm -hmm. who's, someone who's strong enough to break someone else's bones, yeah, that that's cool. Oh, look it. at this it's fucker just... healing. Racism. Alive and well. Healing is racism. Healing is racism. Yeah. You know, I've had a lot of balls making this many moving objects attached to the boss when the game can't even run at 30 FPS. <laughs> Xenoblade soundtrack is good. Yeah, Xenoblade soundtrack is really good. Um, Gare, is it called Gar Plains or Gare Plains? That one's, that one's kind of incredible. Garfish. Garfield. 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 Oh, Enough. Oh, is it time to die, you stupid horse? You could, uh, wow. you could cheat and say Super Smash Bros. Stop, Pro stop bullying the, the abomination, Mauler. <laughs> no, it called me names. <laughs> How is that not fair? Because Super Smash Brothers is just a compendium of like all Nintendo soundtracks, it's not fair. Nothing can compete with Super Smash Brothers soundtrack. Uh, and plus, this isn't even putting to one side that like Super Smash Brothers original tracks are all, pretty much always incredible. Um, like Brawl's theme, I remember. Well, surely that would count then. If it's uh, an original track. Yeah, but I guess when I say the soundtrack, if we are to include all of the songs so like you include the the remixes and just verbatim copying and pasting tracks from like other video games and putting them in it's almost unfair yeah. uh it's not almost it is unfair it's like you've got 30 video game soundtracks all in one um that's why it, we don't judge remixes yeah and brawl's remixes are the best um i mean i i um hmm, i wonder um, oh, I'm uh, dying at first. OMG. Because, like, 4 has a really good soundtrack, but nobody really gives it credit. Um, and Ultimate has a really cool soundtrack as well. Um, and Melee, too. Hey chat, would you be interested in seeing EFAP Gaming Raft? Let us know now and Mauler will definitely make it happen. Sure, you know that doesn't work. It just never would work. Raft? Raft? Raft. Like, what, is that a game? I'm sorry. It is a game. It's fun. Oh. It's like this little... It's like this little peaceful survival thing where you're on a raft and you collect resources floating in the ocean to make your raft bigger. Oh. Alone Doesn't that sound so gay? Well, you can, uh, you just co-op mode. Yeah, gather your breeze, scavenge trees, and build your own floating home. But be wary of bad eating shark. Oh yeah, there's, there's a little piece of shit, little, little cup shark in this game. Oh my god. Cup shark? <laughs> Cuck shark. Cuck shark. That's that's my superhero name. Cuck shark. That's, that's the name the of you film. <laughs> Man, Fringy, you you cooking up a symphony? Well, that's the uh, that's yeah. the um the Honor yeah. remix, which that one is super nostalgic. I remember that one a lot playing um Melee, and uh, it's funny when Earthbound is not like a game that I've ever played, and it's not even a game I would consider to be like hugely popular seemingly because like they haven't made a new one in what like 40 years efap would like jay to see lord of the rings that's never gonna happen yeah isn't that right jay Idiot. yeah i'm allergic to orcs and lords yeah and rings lorks you ever see me wearing a ring 
Oh, yesterday. Right. Oh wait, Jay, explain your oh, whole you thing about it. about evil creatures to to Fringy. Let's see, let's see what you guys, how you guys have that conversation. I'll be interested. Okay. Oh, I mean, I kind of want to like preface it with the video, I guess. Well, I mean, um... just explaining concept. You don't need the video. So there is a classic Doctor Who story where there's like um, it's called the Two Doctors. It's not very good, but um, the premise is that there is this. Um, race of people called the Andrigums, and they're just like these normal they're like they're, they're basically humans but well they're humans with orange eyebrows but they're um in the world they're like they're this like savage culture of of like uh food obsessed uh cruel brutal people right um and the whole thing is it's in the story it's established very clearly that this is like genetically inherent to their species that they are um like just like cruel cruel brutish um and just like bad eggs basically like that's that's a genetic trait is that they're just bad and i'm like okay. that uh without having a reason to justify that in the story it's like pretty um i guess kind of kind of like well, first of all, it's lazy, and, and on the other hand, it's also kind of yikesy. Uh, especially when you have, uh, like, the idea that a show or any piece of media is just saying, like, this race inherently is, uh, is bad in a certain yeah. sense. Um, and it's like, okay. uh, I mean, you have lines from the Doctor in that story going, like, uh, talking to a scientist who's trying to make, like, a smart and good one by giving it technological augmentations. You have okay. lines from him going, Lines from the doctor, sorry, going, uh, ah, oh, you're a fool, you can't change nature. Um, you, you know, you know, she'll always be an androgam, you can't change, you know, her genetic nature and stuff like that. Right. Um, okay, so I guess on the subject of, um, a race being inherently, uh, evil, I guess the interesting thing would be, what if, like, those were the dominant traits that survived in whatever environment that that race or uh, species developed in. Um, like, what if that was the explanation with that? Then, uh, I guess, I guess it's twofold, right? Whether or not you would actually choose to do it in a story and whether or not you can justify it. Because I think you could justify it. You well, just I need mean, to do a lot of that. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's not like, um, my stance would never be never do this. My stance is like, hey, you probably want to be careful if you do that. Um, um, yeah, that mixed messages, right? Of like yeah. having um, when you come across creatures that are evil at their core, you must eradicate them or something. Yeah, and get rid of them. It's like okay, because yeah, you can easily see how there's real world context where um, that's a little bit of a problem. Um, it's not a story choice I think I would ever make if I was writing a story because I find it a little bit boring. Uh, hey, they're just evil. But I mean, that's kind of what the Urukai are in, like, Lord of the Rings. But, I guess with the Urukai, there is the difference of there's additional context. Like, orcs aren't inherently evil, but the influence of Sauron, there's also that at play, right? Well, I mean, the, um, the, the franchise I'm talking about is, uh, which, which I'm, I'm bringing this up for in my video, is Doctor Who, which has the Daleks in it, which are, like... Who are just evil, right? Yeah, but that that's justified within the story, so I'm like, yeah, it's fine. I mean, the thing is that, yeah, I would never say that this is a wrong thing to write. It's just that you want to be really... I think so. I you want to be you want to be self-aware that that's what you're writing and the context that that has with it. Yeah, I, I think I prefer stories that have the idea of, like, you know, you, you are not defined by, like, you know, what you are, that kind of thing. That's something I generally prefer. Yeah. Um, but you can make it work. Um, which I think is the most important part, right? Like, is that any of these ideas could work um, if you do enough work. But, hey, remember, a story, you never have to do work, all right? You have the idea, that's good enough. <laughs> well, it's like, um... Uh, <clears throat> it's like, if you have, um, if you have a story about, like, these are the genetic traits that survived in this environment, you want to be, like... Uh, Explicit. Well, yeah, explicit. Well, you want to be self-aware of like what you, what it is you're actually saying. You want to actually 
because if you write a story like this, it's unavoidable that there will be parallels to stuff that's happened in real life, and you want to be aware of what those are, and you want to you want to take control of them rather than writing just a story, like let's say writing a story about just an inherently evil race for convenience, because you know that's just that's just something that makes your story flow easier as having this race be inherently evil, and then not being aware of any subtext that you've got in your story because of that. I guess um. The interesting thing is, you think about, we were talking about Mass Effect earlier, right? In Mass Effect, the Reapers are bad guys. They're like, that they, they are, and there is no coexisting with them. Um, because they're like, well, no, I guess Mass Effect 3 is ending. <laughs> if you were doing Mass Effect 3 is all blending, because are basically evil. They have a logic, but it's a logic that is incompatible with any, like, moral system that we have. Um, and so the only option then is to get rid of them, like to eliminate them completely. Um, but it's it's okay as long as the internal logic follows, right? Or like you know, for instance, there are things that we would consider. I I think like a good example would be just look at the animal kingdom. And there are a lot of our animals that do some pretty th things that we would consider to be like amoral by our. Yeah, and that's the thing. Things. It's like. If you introduce a, a race of people fictional who aren't just like humans but they're genetically evil but they're like oh this is a race of people who can only survive by like laying their e eggs in like fucking uh, some other race's children or something that's a point where you've actually got like stuff that there's i mean that's justified there. there is a conflict there you know we need to would they be considered today. evil would aliens be considered evil i guess it's the idea of like what are your intentions? Well, it's, I guess it's a, you know, morality is complicated, like your intentions versus your actions. That's a, uh, that's a whole conversation. Yeah. Um, so when they start spewing, uh, like, poison, what am I supposed to do? Uh, um, run away, I guess. Call them toxic. Oh, Cause it kept that too. damaging me, even when oh, I was pretty far away. Well, The old one. Just I'm say, stuck. Say I'm, I'm muting stuck. this. Say I'm muting this thread. Oh, I can't. I'm I can't this. believe those people. Instead of just muting the thread, why do they have to announce it? I don't. Yeah. Um, to let everyone know they're not I, paying I attention. Guess, well, if I ever decided to mute a thread, I'd probably be like, I'd probably announce it so that people know I won't be notified if they tell me something on it. Um. Like there are good reasons to announce you're muting a thread. Like if someone. Like, if, if someone tries to, like, post a correction to something you've said, you're not going to see it. Okay. Okay. But, like... No, like, those, those like, meeting in this thread because toxic people found it. When yeah, like, they're no, just calling you out on your bad opinion, or you're wrong. Muting this thread because incels is always, is pretty much the yeah. like... Yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah. The army of incels yeah. have discovered us. <laughs> Triumphed over the uh, the thing. Oh, you killed it! Nice. Like, do you know who's next? Like, yeah, I saw it. Oh boy, I don't Strange know. Do you know who's next? Mikolash. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, achievement <I> <laughs> unlocked. Good job, Frank. Good Trophy earned. I don't want to fight job. Mikolash. Why not? Fight, fight him, pussy. Fight him, pussy. Yeah. Yeah. Bad boss. Well, I don't want to fight Mikolash. Mm. Mikolash doesn't want to fight you either. Stop it, Ron. Right. Stop. <laughs> Fuck me, that was like the longest time I've spent on the Witches of Hamwick. I'm trying to get to where Fringy is. I don't think that's a very good reason to fuck you. Well... Do you want to even consider it? Uh, nice I mean, gunshot. you're gonna need to get a, a better pickup line, I'm sorry. How about... Hello? How, how about, hey, what's hello. up? How you, how you doing? <laughs> how are you doing, sir? Do you wish to put your penis inside me? <laughs> hey, good hunter! Can someone use that in a beam? <laughs> hey, good hunter! How, how are you doing? <laughs> Did you get some blood echoes? You look pretty good. Yeah, oh, here, have... me. Yeah. Oh, Fringy. 
Fuck off, shark, bitch. Whoa. Hello, Muller and Fringy. Hello. Down. It's my birthday on Friday. Happy birthday on Friday. But I have to admit mm. that I'm a pleb who almost like everything. How do you propose you train yourself to have a critical brain? Oh, Jay, take it away. Hey, li liking things doesn't mean you don't have a critical brain. Thinking that good means you have a critical brain. We don't have a... Well... <laughs> uh... Like, I like Alien vs Predator, but I don't think it's good. That's my point. Um, oh, so you think you have a critical brain, huh? Yes. I... Yes. Well, um, well, well. But I mean, like, um... So if... if if you just want to watch stuff without being in any way critical of it, then that's a perfectly reasonable way to watch something. But at the point when you want to like take it to, I guess, an arena of criticism, um, and that's something you want to do, you just want to compare it to, to standards. Like, that's... Mm. You want to compare it to, to, to standards that you think are relevant to its quality. Um, and don't involve, your, don't involve your emotions in that process. Or, if you do in involve your emotions in that process, use them in terms of, okay, so why did this th thing make me feel this way? And then compare it to, uh, figure out what standards it does or doesn't adhere to that, uh, that, that led Gee, you to you're not making any sense. Way. Why? No, I just wanted to say it. Okay. You see, I'm helping you. Thank you. Isn't this helpful? We're learning so much. This is super subjective, but I absolutely hate From Software slash Dark Souls slash Sekiro's combat. It's way too slow and sluggish, though I do love Neo's combat. I feel like Sekiro is a lot quicker. So yeah, Sekiro is. Yeah. Sekiro is a lot more swift. Bloodborne's um, is faster so, as well. And Bloodborne is a little faster than yeah, Dark Souls. So... Yeah. So I, I kind of no... disagree with you. <laughs> I mean, I, I've always liked the trade-off of yeah. like everything feels heavier and hits harder in Dark Souls compared to a lot of games I've played before. You know, it's just like wow, everything feels like I have to think it out instead of it being a rush. They, um, it's a different experience compared to you know, like Devil May Cry, where it's just being crazy, and doing crazy combos and jumping around. May the devil cry though, may he? Yeah, if yes. you want. No. It's okay to cry. No, I'm gonna say no. He can choose to cry. <laughs> no. Yeah, the He's devil can cry. cry if he wants. I'm taking it yeah, away from him. May. It's not allowed. Fuck you. Devil yeah. can't cry. You see, devil, devil, devil gay, cry. no cry. Devil can devil cry if he wants. Devil gay, no cry. Devil. Devil already cried. <laughs> devil cried too much. Stop cry. Devil, devil may cry. cry. Free blood dragon. That'd be <laughs> cool. Devil may cry. Bloodborne I is just really faster like... Dark Souls. I feel like there's more differences than that, but okay. Devil May Coom? Yeah, Devil May Coom. I really yeah. wish there was a, uh, a Blood Dragon 2. Um, or just Devil a full Coom? Blood Dragon game. I'd be really on board with that. Um, what is Blood Dragon? He's good this is what Far he Cry 6 coming out in like a couple of months. Yeah, that's a... And we haven't seen any gameplay for that at all. That's a little concerning. But it's, it's a social got, experiment. It's got it does have Gus Spring in it, though. He's Everything has Gus Spring in it. Yeah, it does, and it's always the villain. Um, he's probably going to be Dr. Doom, I think that's the rumor. Oh my god, really? Uh, Is that going to piss comic yeah. book fans off? I, he's too good of an actor, you know? Like, yeah. Um, I'd be super on board with that, personally. Um, thoughts on Viva Vendetta? I don't have any thoughts, I haven't seen the movie or read the comic. I've seen the movie, I liked it a lot when it came out, but I don't know if it holds up these days. I've it's all about it. fascists taking over our our whole world through the idea of security. They're stealing all the cum. And our freedoms. For that Stop too. them. Yeah, Dave Rubin said that you should watch V for Vendetta guys. <laughs> David Rubin. I think I think my favorite part is how he compared lefties to Thanos. <laughs> he also says like, Thanos. He does say Thanos, yeah. Maybe he's um, only ever seen it written. Maybe he's an intellectual. Thanos. No, but you guys remember Thanos? Have you guys heard of this new movie? Or this it's called Avengers: Infinity War. Marvel Studios Avengers: Infinity War. Sony's um, Marvels. <laughs> Disney's so the one person in chat fuming because we're making fun of Dave, Ru Dave Rubin, it was your mistake for liking Dave Rubin. 
There's, there's nobody who likes Dave Rubin, right? <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm it's sorry. inherently political. You've already gone too far. No, right. That's true. Let's dull it back. How about, um, how about, uh, Twinkies? You know, the, how about them Twinkies? Nice These are Twin Peaks. Twinkies. Like, oh. No, Twinkies like the food. What, like, nuclear bomb proof? Wait, are Twinkies nuclear bomb proof? I'm shot! Well, I think Twinkies are non perishable. That's the main thing. Um, like, nothing. I don't. I, I'm sure they're not bomb proof. Like, if you dropped a nuclear bomb, I'm pretty sure a Twinkie would still. No, know, they are. That's why they make. That's why they make Fallout shells out of uh, Twinkies. Out of Twinkies. It's not the Twinkie yeah. itself. It's the it's a little plastic wrap that makes it immune to bombs. <laughs> but Friggy, my brain is still in recovery mode from taking in all those high level ideas. <laughs> I can't. How would I you can't get those high-level ideas if you weren't exposed to the marketplace of high-level ideas? How high-level is the idea? Is it level 3? I'm not gonna say it's Sorry. level 3, no. It's, uh, it's level 80, alright? It's Cataclysm. Um... <laughs> oh, well, no, I guess there's stuff after Cataclysm, right? Um... It's, it's Mr. Pandaria. It's level 90. Level 12 boss? I can't deal with these, all of these Mr. Pandaria level ideas, alright? Probably pissing off a lot of World of Warcraft fans. <laughs> a regular consumer started yelling and cussing because I asked him to give a different $10 because the one he gave me is ripped. Any work stories from you guys? Oh, so many. I gave a few on EFAB. I got um, plenty, but I can't think of them at the moment. Yeah, like off the top of my head, I haven't really got anything. None that was triggered by that one, but yeah, that's... Uh, Sounds annoying. Um, I feel like a lot of the most interesting stories are like the theft stories, people trying to steal things. Um, yeah, I had my manager chase somebody because they tried to steal a, a PS4, I think it was. Um, it's funny. <laughs> yeah, chasing people seems to be the, um, the, the common one. Um, obviously the laws differ though, like, um, just, yeah, the, the law makes it a lot more blurry, um, sort of, you know, what, what can or cannot be done to, uh, to prevent shoplifting or theft. Beat them to like death. Different countries. Can you do uh, that? Can't. Um, what's wrong with Dave Rubin? Uh, that's not really a discussion that, like, <laughs> <laughs> not, not really some of I mean, like, you know, about. do you mean apart from, like, the things he doesn't say? Oh, God, so political. Oh, no. Oh, we'll, uh... I'm, I'm just gonna moonwalk away from that one. As long as he said something dumb done. about media, we can just criticize him for that. Well, um, yeah, I guess I'll uh, see how many takes on He said Thanos' like name game. wrong. His opinion on Infinity War is shit, therefore. What, what right. did he say about Thanos, sorry? Golden Thanos. <laughs> yeah, he, he Can't be having that, mate. Name. No, no calling him Thanos. Understand. How does one mispronounce his name? You hear his name spoken in the film. You know what I mean? Like, it's like when people call me Fringy, it's like, guys, I've said my name before. <laughs> I think, uh, Tonal still calls you Fringy. Yeah, well, I, I won't hold it against him. I, I think TVC still it. calls you Fringy sometimes. Uh, well, yeah, I, I, I remember, uh... Fringles. Yeah, they were... Fringles. Fringles. <laughs> they're Pringles, but mine. They're yeah. shaped like a Plague Doctor mask. I... I, that sounds like a license, all right? That's a uh, patented trademark Pringles invented by me. The thing that Pringles um, but mine reminds me of um, the Simpsons ads for Butterfingers. Oh, jeez! Nobody better put a finger on my Butterfinger. I remember seeing all of them in the special features, and I was like, what the fuck are Butterfingers? Because we don't have them. Do you remember, but um, you can get them on the Amazon. I don't have Mr. Amazon. Plow ad. The Mr. Plow ad fuck is so, so good. Um, Mr. Plow. My prices are so good, you'll think I've suffered brain damage. You are fully bond and licensed by the city, aren't you, Mr. Plow? Shut up, boy. <laughs> <laughs> this is what so I was looking for. Ah. And I remember his name was Klondike53226. Call now and receive a free t shirt. Mr. Plow, I'm a real tightwad. Can I afford these remarkably low prices? Why is the shark such a bitch? That's not a rhetorical question. Answer. Uh, socioeconomic I I, situation. I think. Oh, 
that explains a lot. I've been trying to shoot enemies, but I accidentally deactivated my, uh, like I, I got rid of my, uh, my pistol. It ain't a dead eagle, them. like, it, it can't shoot through everything. Why are you streaming now? What kind of question is that? <laughs> like, I don't it's know, a why question does that do anything again? The, no. It's a philosophical one, really. Shark? A philosophical question. What, what, Shark, what is it with you in that one panel? Oh, you bitch. Oh, she's the piggies. Oh, no. The Nightmare of Mensis. Uh-oh. This is Mikolash, right? I'm getting closer. Not quite there yet. Right. Keep pushing on, Fringy. Let's get to him before we end the stream today. You gotta meet Mikolash. What is uh, Mikolash's, like, internal ideology? Uh, Jewish. Oh. That's not... So maybe is that Mikolash really ideology? Mikolash is maybe Dave Rubin then, I guess. <laughs> Does do religions count as ideologies? They do, um, right? Uh -huh. A religion is an ideology, I think. Yeah, I think it is. Um, I mean, if a philosophy... Is, yeah, I think so. Um, I guess ideology is a pretty broad term, right? Like, um, well... Hmm. Is capitalism like an... Why do I have sharp objects sticking out of my character all of a sudden? That's the kind of thing that you, sounds like you should be concerned about, honestly. I think it's frenzy or something. Am I, oh, is this a, is nah, it'll be fine. <laughs> I haven't, I haven't reached a uh, a, 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 a lamp potion. Oh, dude! It fucking wiped out a shadow straight away. Is fire the best element in Bloodborne, or just like? Uh, it? I, I think using fire or bolt on. Uh, like, like the papers, I don't know that they're any better or worse than each other. Maybe some enemies take more damage to some, I'm not sure. Is it like a weapon that has like an auto bolt on it when you charge it? Is, is that right? Sorry? Like, like the long mace thing? Yeah, I think so. I, I think it takes uh, your bullets the more you use it, I'm oh. not sure. Oh, okay. Um. Yeah, that would be weird if you could just do it Whoa. without any sort oh. of consequences. <laughs> Oh boy, this is, this is quite... This has got me scared. There's more spiders. Oh no. Ooh. Are you ooh, 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 ooh. You're in Australia. I... Oh my... Oh no, they're killing me. Well, I can see about how that would be scary. Where are you, Mikolash? I'm coming for you. Bring it. Yeah. Uh, Mikolash. Oh. There's a hunter. Mikolash. Oh, no, not a hunter. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and... Enough, Mikolash. <laughs> I'm not in the mood for a hunter fight today. Oh yeah, avoid that prick. <laughs> <laughs> I take it he's not a very fun battle. No. Oh, I found an elevator. I'm guessing this is a Why would you Relevant. play a game if it's not fun? Yeah. Just playing for fun. For the same reason we eat foods that are bad for us, Jay. But that is fun. Exactly. Alright, final shadow, let's do it. Let's see you, Cock Shark. Ho oh, oh. Guys, chat, I'm fucking wrecking the shadows of Yarnum. I hope you're proud of me. Little mud blow has come a long way. Alright, please. I, I How far have you come? I wouldn't want to tell you that. There's things you can do with that information. Like what? Everything. What can you give me? Nothing you deserve. Is that a reference to something? Yeah, it was Harry Potter. Uh, I was, I was it's when Harry Potter asks Alpine, what does he deserve uh, to have, uh, and then Voldemort says nothing you deserve. It's not very I was, good dialogue. I was, for, I was going for Palpatine. What? Something in Harry Potter? Bad. I um, wasn't even. I was going for the, the, the dialogue where, uh, also not very good dialogue. Fringy, I've where caught up to the beginning Kylo of your stream. Ran Palpatine, what can you give Wait, me? What? Oh, sorry? I've caught up to the beginning of your stream. Oh, you have, yeah. Damn, that's embarrassing. I only took you two hours, it took me eight. <laughs> well, now i got to catch up to, to Mikolash. Um, that means i got to beat Rom. Uh-oh. Yeah, 
Wait, Free, have you beat him already? Not yet, right? Make a watch. No, I'm yeah. pretty sure I'm still heading up to where he is. Now I've, hey, I've learned. Oh. I've These learned. cunts. Uh, yeah, you still haven't done the fun running around bit. Uh, you can't get me, bitches. <laughs> I think I've found the checkpoint. I think I've got the checkpoint to Mick. Now. Good old Mick. You have actually, yeah. Sit, man. He's gonna be fine, Mikolaj, soon. If he beats him first time, this is gonna be so embarrassing for me and Metal, but hey. And for Tia, I guess, too. Um, we'll leave him out. He's had enough stress. Hi, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Muller. embarrassing for Metal. Very well, Metal. Hence, it's okay to make fun of him, right? Yeah. Hello, um, Muller and Efab Cast. I want to thank you guys for amazing content. Very kind. Thank you very much. Thank and, you. Uh, also, I want to start making movie reviews. Do you think Captain Marvel is a viable standpoint? Uh, oh, starting, starting point, point, sorry. Yeah. Yeah, so, so. Honestly, I think movie. anything's a viable starting point, though. Yeah, it is a movie. That like, makes it that's viable. The, that's the standard. For um, uh, something that's a viable st standard to start reviewing movies. Though, going from what is implied from the statement, like, what would be more or less viable like if we if we're strictly saying what are you capable of just yeah something you care about what is more likely to to, to be viewed it's like uh, it's just hot <laughs> topics i guess yeah i mean uh, i'm fighting mikolash right now good luck frongo depends what you mean by viable so yeah, like that's, yeah um i mean if you want um something that's gonna get a lot of views when you post it there's nothing guaranteed but you know hot topics if you want something that you know you'll uh, be able to talk about well, then uh, you know, pick something that you know you have a lot to say about and a lot of thoughts on, and you know that they're uh, well substantiated. So Mikolash's main thing is he just runs away from you, and this is what makes him good. <laughs> so, so, That's an element that, that Matthew Matosis praised. Hey, a boss that is afraid of you. How about that? Yeah, except Doesn't when you he, like just... tentacles thing. Yeah. Well, once you get him in his Some room, yeah. No. I'm in his room now. <laughs> once you should get pull him up, in his room, Jay, you should pull up Fringy's stream and have a look at Mikolash the boss and tell me what you think about him mechanically. I'll have a look. Oh, you fucking will, Jay. You will look at him. I'm, I'm yeah, I'm doing it now. Oh, you, you will. You will Spuffering. look upon his Careful, splendor. Oh. Oh. Which one is Mikolash? Oh, Not Jesus skeletons, I guess. Okay. Fuck this fight. No, I'm the, guy the guy with the top hat. That's like a key. Nah, that's uh, oh, him. Yeah, yeah. This is a tactic. Yeah, the tentacle. Yeah, there you go. There it is. Oh, Jesus. Oh! <laughs> Mikolash. <laughs> Sorry. Shabalash. Oh. Oh my. It's a good pun. Oh, how does it feel to get fucking stunlocked, you bitch? Feels pretty good. Very good, isn't it? Dude, this is so satisfying. I'm fucking, like, cheesing the shit out of this. Rita Look how much health this creature has. Damn. You deserve every last bullet that hits your stupid face. Yeah, why is that? You're, you're just weak. I've hit him, like, 50 times. Why didn't that hit? Oh. oh Jesus, the damage of Kekalak is kind of big. Oh my god, we're fucking dominating this poor woman. That, that's a good one. meme quote as well. If anyone here wants How to many visceral meme. attacks even was that? I've hit me for last like 50 times. Dead. It's because he's a good boss, you don't understand. Is he? Oh, so this is just how he's designed. Okay, I thought it was my fault. But Are you having fun? Fault. You should be. <laughs> this is boring. <laughs> More. I'm getting the sense that you don't like Mikolash. I'm, I'm a fan. I like Mikolash's mixtapes. It's the whole fight. Um, this is yeah, only half it's... of the fight. As soon as Fringy gets him to half health, stage two will begin. Stage right. two, Mikolash. He runs yeah. away faster. <laughs> um, he runs away, and you have to go find him. Cause that's fun. And and the enemy the just spawn around him. <laughs> what? This is so boring. I hate this. I hate this. 
I don't think I'm a help when I hit him either, it's like... Oh, Jesus. Yeah, you don't... Why don't... Why doesn't your health bar repair? I guess. Oh, this is fair. I guess. Oh, because they're, they're fake puppets things? I don't know. Uh, yeah. Weekend, why are you not playing Bloodborne? Because it's upstairs and I'm and I'm downstairs, so... There you go, okay. Typical oh, fucking Nazi upstairs. excuse. I, I just beat him, yeah, so I now I have to go find him. Jack. <laughs> yeah, we have stairs out. here, Jay. I'm sorry if that disappoints you. <laughs> so I have to go find Make-A-Watch. Oh wait, so he died? He I goes, yeah, you just need to head upstairs. Again. Just be careful, Fringy. You don't want to die, of course. You don't want to die yeah. of Make-A-Watch. Am I supposed to? Is that restart the whole thing? Oh. Right there, but... oh no. Where is he? This is good game design, this is me just running good, around. Good and design. Maze looking for a shot. Oh, this stupid hat. Motherfucker, stupid. no you don't. No you don't. You bitch! Oh, Jay. You are homosexualoid. Oh, you motherfucker. Non rom. If there anyone, if anyone here plays raft and will understand this, the shark just ate the panel of my raft that all of my wet bricks were drying on. Did you deserve it though? Yeah. Oh, there he is. All right, I found him. Get right. What a good. <laughs> oh, he jumped through a portal. Where am I supposed to go? Gotta keep chasing him. Portal. <laughs> Oh, oh, that's... Oh, God damn it! They kept getting out because they were door lords. Was I meant to jump through the portal or what? No, I don't think so. I mean, those I are like... Mikolash... Kekolash perks. Kekolash. <laughs> oh, there he is. Cool. Ooh. I don't even know if that fucking summon did anything at all. I don't really care. Gotta fight the spider myself. I'm like Thanos. I'll do it myself. You're a leftist? No. In my EVAP. This is such a You'd be having I fun if you level. weren't if you were appreciating game design. You'd be having fun if you're good at the game. Oh. But isn't the level atmospheric for me? Isn't it spooky? Ooh. Who's killing to? He's so very spukes. <laughs> spukey. <laughs> spukes. It's spukey. Mein spukey. Aren't you scared? It's the spukey. With them skeletons, right? I'm offended by this. Oh man. Uh oh. Ooh, don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die. Yeah, this, this is kind of annoying. Well, oh. it's cool because we're both fighting what I consider to be shitty bosses at the same time, so that's neat. Hooray! <laughs> the problem now is it's I like poetry. It rhymes. I don't, I don't know how it's it is like poetry. It, it is its own way. It is <laughs> the thing about poetry is it does rhyme, technically. <laughs> well, oh, I got stun locked by a bunch of spiders. Rip. Well, you don't want to write a prescriptive definition of poetry. What? Fringy, it's all down to you now. I lost my first try against Rome. You, you gotta, you gotta look I... like fucking. You gotta be good. I'm supposed to reach him. Like I'm, I'm What's lost. Happening? Well, I just burped. Did he go into There's his room and the door locked? Yeah. Just... Yeah, you need to go up again. Oh, he. Got... Like up the stairs, I mean, not down there. Yeah. Okay. Turn left as you go out. Yeah. And it'll look no like one. it's a dead end um, yeah, when you get back all the way to watching. the top. But keep, uh, keep find another staircase. Gotta keep going up. I just can't remember where. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Just through there. Yeah. Now you've got him. Uh, okay. <sighs> all my homies hate Michael. You hear our prayers as he once did for back towards Rome. I was gonna say, Fringy, you're probably upset that you were taken away from such an incredible boss fight for those few minutes there. It's just, it's literally, it's just... Oh, now he's doing ninja moves. 
<laughs> Ninja <laughs> moves. This sucks. Yeah, oh, yeah, that's a way. Good game. Get design. good at the game. Is it? <laughs> this is so bad. <laughs> Kekalash, what a great fight. Stop yeah, ripping on Kekalash, he's fucking great. What if we call him... Tesalash? Oh. <laughs> what are these ninja moves? What is this? He's doing like... He's suddenly punching and pushing in the hill. Oh, that's not good. Maybe you can counter it, Fringy. I don't care to. You can I don't care to. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to risk this. But he's the host of the nightmare. He is the host of the nightmare. <laughs> is, that his, is, that his, is that his podcast? <laughs> Stop doing you stupid bitch. I'm gonna fucking kill you, bitch shark. Oh, you bitch my... shark. I beat him in my first try. Is that Excellent job. <laughs> Good job, good job, Ring. Well, you probably don't feel accomplished, do you? <laughs> Not really. Because all, all it is, you just if he had tagged you with any one of those tentacles, you might have died, just because that's how fucking Mikolaj works. He'll knock you over, you try and heal, he does another one, you try and heal, then he does his super move, which can insta-kill you, as long as you're medium to large range away from him. Right. And then you're doomed. The god game at look. Alright, I'm not proud of myself for beating you got that. <laughs> Mirgo's wet nurse is next if you keep heading up. The and then wet. you've completed a uh oh I'm dead on I? Oh I'm gonna eat. How wet is the large portion She's of the so game. fucking wet, dude. Oh I just want to find a lamp post so I can get a. Uh, there's one outside my uh, my apartment. I don't know. So I don't know. <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> there's so many enemies in this game that are just like, hey. You've got the basic set of moves, now you need to add one that they just hit you nine times in a row. Once you've got one of those in there, that's that's when you know you've got a victory. I think what's so cool about this level is how I don't know where anything is and I can't tell where I'm going. That sounds like good game design. Yeah, Every five's good enough. corridor looks the same. Nice frames, bro. I can't do anything. <clears throat> also, yeah, it is smart to knock out the spiders, but obviously the smart, fast way to do it would be not that, but then the smart, slow way would be to do that. There we go. Well, do you say Rom is a DPS check? I don't know about that. As you can see, I just have to make sure I don't get insta-killed. As long as I avoid that, I could probably kill Rom with like half the damage I'm dealing. Why do you want to kill Rom? He's a we'll fuck. Under you. I don't think you should judge him for that. I think he can do whatever he wants. Hey hey. Hunter Blunderbuss. I didn't ask Sorry, you for, I didn't ask you for your opinion we can. Um, I it's all we, I guess. I was I wasn't I don't care if you ask, I just gave it. So. Well I didn't ask for that opinion. <laughs> there you go. Oh, See. that's the move. Close to the mic. <laughs> that's the one. <laughs> all the spiders are equipped with this one move. If they use it, I'm done. But as long as they don't, I'm okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, is it that oh I hate that oh it's damn. just boom 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 and just like oh shit, I'm dead, I guess. Uh oh. E Lucky I didn't use any fire paper that time. I really just don't feel very proud about having beat that Mikolash. Like, I'm just sitting here just kind of pretty, um... 
Yeah, the pride ones the are, of course, <laughs> stuff like Ludwig, uh, Kost, yeah. and oh, yeah, Ludwig. Maria. Those are the ones where you beat them, you're like, fuck yeah. Being, being Mikolaj, you're like, why? <laughs> why? Why is this? Why have I done this? Why is this bus here? <laughs> I just watched it and I was bored. I can't imagine playing through it. <laughs> yeah, imagine how much infuriated it gets if you get killed right before killing him like three times in a row. You have to do God it all damn. the way back. That, that would suck. Yeah, it would. Oh, yeah. Mahler, the, you, your current boss fight reminds me of that other boss fight in Demon Souls with, with the, the big slime thing. Mm-hmm. So the boss doesn't attack you, it's it's minions do. Am, am I right? Yeah, um... Sorry, I'm just distracted by how I really can be killed at any moment if these spiders decide to do it. Just go, just I concentrate just on that. I gotta hope they like me. You and your spider zone. Ooh. Yeah. So. Spider zone! Whoa, those are some, that's a weird looking spider. Oh no, the shark! Bitch! Something What? <laughs> I was like, I'm gonna attack some spiders, and then they killed me. It's like, hmm. They deal so much damage, so man, your health bar is looking real beefy. It is, but it's not an, like... Usually with Rama, uh, my first run was the best one, so out of all of these, unfortunately I, it, I just didn't make it, and now I have to deal with all these bonus runs where I get killed early. Metal uh, and I have noticed this about Soulsborne games. If you are going to take 10 plus runs, the first one is more than often going to be the best of those 10 until you win, for some reason. It's yeah. like the time you had the most patience and you were the most careful. Why are there like guys with katanas in Bloodborne? Why wouldn't they be? Katanas are cool. Are you racist? Well, katanas are cool, but like, this feels not like the setting for ninjas. Again, like Mikawash, the ninja. <laughs> I, think I'm, I think I'm cool with just calling Mikawash a ninja. That's what he does. He does sick ninja moves. It just sounds bitter because you can't perform his sick ninja moves yourself. I, I'm, I'm not... Mikawash is not a person whom I am jealous of, alright? No. Uh, actually, it's based on historical Europe, which is why it's not allowed to have a fight. Those are skimtars, don't be a bigot. I don't know what skimtars are. Skimtars? <laughs> those oh, are. I guess it's what those were. Oh. Wombo? I remember this from your stream. Uh, mutual. I'm up to the pig with the big butt. And, oh, and ten eyes. <laughs> Alright. That was a nice shot. If anyone was, like, wants to get mad on the, like, it's based on historical Europe stats, by the way, it's like, like, race is actually a thing that you can use in world building if you want to, oh, okay. like, don't, don't, don't just use the justification it's based on historical Europe, that's garbage. Um, like, if you want to establish that, like, the culture that you're world building doesn't have any, like, travel or immigration, then it's probably going to be pretty monoracial. Is that a word? It's a word now. Uh, um, homogenous is the That's word. the one. Racially homogenous. But if you have, um, if your culture has access to travel, um, or, Sorry. you know, uh, has immigration or anything like that, then it probably won't be, so... Um, yeah. I guess, I guess it depends, right? Because, like, you could have a culture that basically the equivalent of a nation was on the Silk Road. Um, where. So that pig just hit me once and I died. Um, so that's, that's, that's really cool. Um, yeah, those things deal shit tons of damage. That does sound pretty cool. I disagree. <laughs> I think that's. It's wrong. Oh, what? Okay, yeah, there's there's a thumbnail. One is for casuals. <laughs> there's so the many spundles. <laughs> Why am I not allowed to eat this shark head? I like booty bopper. Now that's the booty bopper. No, 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 no. no. Fire. 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 Fire.
handle they're on. What's that thing that protects your hand from getting cut? A glove? No, it's Kylo Ren. Skin. On his, <laughs> and his lightsaber. What's that called again? Crossguard. Hilt? Yeah, yeah crossguard. crossguard. Harvey Hilt. That's right. They have a, they have a hilt, like, so these aren't the times. You got me, alright? Um, what are you, what are you saying about the Silk Road? Um, well, you could have, like, a cunt, you know, I imagine that the Silk Road saw a lot of, like, in you could have a cunt a, for me. a story where the society lives at the crossroads and has cunts. I like how I'm just like, hey, here's one of my 15 ideas. Something that's like a crossroads place in the Middle East or something. Or, like, you know, obviously the Middle East equivalent in a fantasy setting, right? Um, and then have all of these different. I just find it more interesting to have a place that's got a lot of different people uh, rather than one that's pretty homogenous. Yeah. Um, just because you can, I mean, obviously from a storytelling perspective, there's a lot of advantages that you can pull from having a story where the inhabitants come from different places and have a different community. I'm not going to get over the fact that the backstabbing the game is just shoving it up their butt. Like, that's... <laughs> that's just... Yeah, it looks disgusting. Ugh, Rom's dead. Yeah. Like, um, if, if you part. wanna, if you wanna, like, if you're arguing about, like, the racial diversity of a setting, saying it's based on X is a garbage excuse for whatever the fuck. Oh, sure. Talk about, like, the actual <clears throat> setting that you are writing. So it's like, if it's an yeah. isolationist, uh, if it's an if it's, like, an isolationist state, um, or whatever the fuck, and it's not had um, any recent immigration or uh, access to wide travel, then it will probably be racial, racially uh, homogenous. Racial? But, uh... uh... Constantinople is a good example, as somebody pointed out. Like, that's a really interesting location. Um, historically, anyway. Wakanda. No, so... Wakanda's boring to me, more so yeah. than, like... A place that actually well, gets exposed because, of course, it could be really interesting. They just never explore the interesting it, bits. It could be. I guess it's just like if you say to me, "Hey, what setting is interesting?" It's like, well, Constantinople was like the crossroads between several different because it was in the Middle East, which is its own place, uh, and then of course you have East Asia, um, and then you have Africa uh, and Europe, and a lot of different parts of Europe coming through that one place. So it's really cool. Where am I? I cannot find my blood echoes. It's annoying because I have 20,000 of those blood echoes. Yeah, man. No, you don't. No, I do hate it when I lose my blood echoes. You can't deny my feelings. Well, I lost them. Goodbye, then the blood echoes. Probably on the pig. Yeah, you're right, actually. That probably was where they were. Oh, yeah, and I'm not having mic issues, guys. I'm tired. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that's, that's your mic issue. Poor Frugal. Imagine working hard and cringe. Just oh my god, shut out a video hard. every three minutes. Uh, no, you should just do a vlog. Hey, guys, I'm, I have an interesting life. Trust me. Well, what if I do have an interesting life? I feel like being a vlogger is such a soul-crushing life. What makes you feel that? Well, now I've lost like 40,000 echoes. Very Thanks, quickly. Jay. Oh, I'm sorry. Hey. Uh, so somebody's asked you this, Mola, but I'm gonna answer it. Mola, how do you do a self-isolationist country in a story right in a medieval fantasy setting? It's a story idea of mine for my world. I guess the best explanation would be usually some sort of religious sort of reason. Like maybe they think that everybody else is impure and they want to keep people out to keep their society pure. That's a nice simple explanation. There might be more geopolitical reasons for that. Or maybe it's like an empire that's in a in a place that makes it really easy for them to be isolated. Maybe they're like nestled between mountains, kind of like Switzerland. Not, yeah, kind of like Switzerland. So it's really easy for them to keep people out because that's the important one, right? It's like 
if they're isolationists, they need to be good at keeping people out. Um, so it probably makes more sense for them to be in a location that would encourage that. And uh, I guess also like your culture as well, right? Develop a culture that makes sense for them to want to keep to themselves. Maybe they have resources that they want to keep to themselves. Maybe they're not interested in the resources that other people have. Because obviously they got resources that people like. An island is another one. Like you could do them on an island. Um, though I guess the problem with that one is the people who went to the island in the first place were probably pretty keen to explore. So it's interesting that their descendants aren't so interested in that. Um, no, there could, be, there could have been people li uh, living there for an incredibly long time already. Maybe. Yeah, it depends on your history. Um, it's worth thinking about everything leading up to that point in time. Um, yeah, so it, it, it's just study isolationist empires from history. You know, that there are a lot of them, so they'd probably be your first place to check. Dude, um, just base stuff on history. Like, that's that's the easiest way to write if you're writing medieval. Just copy countries that existed. Well, oh, fuck. No, I, I, mean, I guess I guess, I guess have enough have enough of an understanding of what happened historically that you can create figure out. New. You know, yeah, you can create something that didn't happen historically. But uh, I'm not actually it. encouraging copying. Like, I think it's more fun to create something new. But uh, you know, great artists steal or something. That's the quote, right? So steal from history because nobody owns that. I own history. Yeah, Jay's uh, bought history a couple of times. Somebody said China, but China is not what I would consider to be an isolationist. They traded pretty extensively. I guess isolationist in the sense that they um, they didn't really interact, or hop, like they didn't adopt a lot of the culture or the technology of the nations that surrounded them. They traded extensively. They like built their, walls. Their whole economy was trading with people. That was how they were so successful. Um, well, they weren't very successful, but that's how they survived for so long. Oh, frenzy. Awesome. I love it when my inventory is full. I'm fine the one reborn. I didn't even upgrade my weapons. Whoops. Well, this will be fun. No, I'm talking about ancient China. I mean, they were isolationist in the sense that they didn't adopt a lot of the culture of the people they were surrounded by, but ancient China traded with these pigs, man. <laughs> they traded with these <laughs> pigs? <laughs> <laughs> China traded with these pigs, man. <laughs> it was the worst decision they ever made. Ah. Alright guys, we'll try and beat the one reborn without upgrading weapons first. It's gonna be great. Oh god, that took so long. I gotta get past the pigs to defeat the wet nurse. She's all wet because yeah. of the pigs. Oh god. I know. But what can you do? Dry her with a cloth. God, I'm so not looking forward to the FPS of this game when I start fighting the one reborn. Dry the wet nurse right now to make it dry. There, that is an achievement, but I, I just don't want it. Why not? Why would I want to dry the wet nurse? That's fucked up. Uh, cause she's damp. She... She needs drying. She's gonna get hypothermia! Hippothermia? Yeah. She's fat. Oh my <laughs> god! There were errors in which China was completely isolationist. Oh, alright, fair enough. Um, I didn't know that. Then again, I don't know much about, like, ancient Chinese... Much about anything! Oh ho <laughs> You just oh, wrecked Fringy. I'm sorry, Fringy, I wrecked you. Yeah. As it were, more like as it is. Did you notice any narrative issues with episode 9 of Y? Yeah, um, but that's not major. Are we, we're cool for Y. No, watch Bly. Everyone in chat, watch Bly. But pay fucking attention to it. Yeah. Oh that my god. Problem, right? It needs your full people. attention, this play. It is a dense show with a lot to pick up on. It's so dense, there's a lot of things going on. There are issues. 
Every image is so dense. <laughs> well, so we were talking about this in private, right? If you get to the end of Fly, um, and you're like, it was boring, you probably just didn't notice what was going on in it. Wow, Jay. If, so if someone disagrees end, with you, they're wrong. But if you get to the end of Bly and you can actually talk about why you didn't like it with reference to the actual stuff it achieves, then sure. But I've not seen anyone criticize Bly from that standpoint yet. I'm kind of glad I'm dead. My fucking damage was garbage. Wow. Yeah, but you never heard that before. No, no, I've heard, I heard that in, uh... In Bly, with that, that dead character, is like, I'm really glad I'm dead. Thank you, Fringy. I'll have to think more on it. Never thought of religion being a factor. My first ideas were that they evolved in a very harsh area, and it basically um, called, so gave them a sense of paranoia and mistrust of other na uh, races. I mean, that, that's also kind of cool. Like, I, I do kind of like that one as well. But when we're talking about medieval history, religion was super Ooh, significant. Thanks. So if you're modeling something off of medieval society, you really should have religion be a component. Well, you don't have to, but it would help I mean, because... It, it's, it explains a lot about the way that societies developed at that time. If you want isolationism, though, like, uh, xenophobia is probably a pretty, uh, like, sure, decent justifier but, for why that would happen as well. But, but the important thing is you need to have a justification that overcomes the many advantages that come from not being isolationist. Sure. Because there are a lot of advantages that you are categorical to just like trade um, and sharing resources and cooperation. Um, I'm gonna so you need to justify it. And if you have religious reasons, that's a lot more potent because if you believe, or like if a society believes that like it is an existential threat, um, not only in real life but in, you know, like, whatever they consider the afterlife to be, to do a certain thing, they're probably going to commit to that. Well, yeah, but you don't need, you don't need a, a religion to have uh, irrational beliefs. Like, you can have them justified by any belief structure that, that you know, whatever, ha blames foreigners or whatever the fuck. Well, I guess what I mean is, like, if you believe the creator of the universe wants you to do something, you're probably going to be more motivated, even in the face of all of the issues yeah. that are posed by doing this thing. But the thing um, is, the, the most successful religions survive because they are also viable in terms of, uh, uh, like, spreading and keeping the people who follow them alive. Um, uh, that's true. Um, but we're talking in long term, over thousands of years, whereas this could be maybe a new society that has a new religion. Yeah. Or maybe it was. But yeah, it's something to think about. Um, whoever asked that question, I'm glad to have helped. It's so, like, I mean, Christianity is so successful because, like, it, it, like, spreading well, it is like part of it, right? Is, yeah, exactly. Um, you're encouraged to spread it. And like, I, I, you know, it's probably not a coincidence that it comes pre-packaged with the beliefs that if you follow it, you'll be rewarded with eternal joy. And if you don't follow it, you'll be uh, punished with literal eternal torture. You know, that might have something to do with I it. I find those two things like motivating. Yeah. <laughs> with, yeah, that might, that might, some people might consider that motivation. Okay. Oh, cool, watermelon. Hello, Rags, hello, Muller and Co. Hello. What's your opinion on AMD graphics cards in general? Um, I guess they're pretty good. <laughs> no, I've got nothing I, interesting to say on it, I'm afraid. I really, I hate these things. They're starting to hurt me. Are you a pig Freeze racist? A -cab. Yeah, we need to fucking go against pigs, man. Exactly. We have a um, did it ever come up that the automatic energy saving mode failed on your PC, Windows 10? Any solutions? No. I would recommend Google. They will have people. I like the idea that someone's like, I've got a, <laughs> I've got a tech problem. I'm going to send an EFAP super chat. I mean, you might know the Google. answer. Just Google. Just Google it. <laughs> You'll get way more helpful and specific answers, I swear. Well, maybe that's the advice they needed, was to Google it. Maybe they, they're not used yeah. to Googling tech issues. Um, I'm not gay, but if I was offered a three-way with Wolf and Rags, it would be rude to refuse, right? If Jay's lucky, he may join. Oh, neat. 
That would then be a four-way. We're learning numbers here on EFAP 2. No, one of them one of them gets kicked out to maintain oh, the numbers. Oh, no. Oh. Okay. Time to say goodbye, Jay. Wow. Because you're the one who's going to get kicked, too. Because that's the meme. Oh, I, I get it. Das ist yeah, der meme But I was really invested in this three-way. Hate these snakehead people. Okay, racist. Yeah. yeah. So in in my chat, um, you asked about the issues with episode nine. You basically outlined the the only one I would consider to be the, the, the sort of big issue with uh with that. Like, yeah, I agree with you. But uh, for the sake of not spoiling for anybody else, I'm not gonna say exactly what you said. Don't mm. whistle it to me. Is it is it a nice little little choking one or is it a nice little dream one? Um, yeah, it's the, the former. Because the, the dream one and the, the choky one are the, are the issue there, so... But I mean, for a show, it does so much well, you know, I don't like that. I don't, you know, I I mean, it would be such a tiny fix, though, that's the thing. Yeah, both of the... all of the problems the show has, they're so easy to tweak out. And I would, oh my god, if they had tweaked them out, and if it was perfect, or... Oh. Would we finally have something that we call 10 out of 10? I don't know. Yeah. I mean, I already called Flyer 10, like... What would your definition of 10 be? Um... So... I mean, I guess I would round up to 10 when it's, say, like, 9.8 or whatever. Hey, guys, I think that's uh, fair. help me out here. Should yes. I use cold bloods, or... Um, if I you pop them, you get echoes. So you want to pop them when you're um, ready to buy stuff? Yeah, but, but what I'm saying is, like, are there any... Is there anything else I can do with them, or is that all they do? As far as I'm aware, that is their entire function. Oh. So I should go to back to the, uh, my lance and just to, to get him. Yeah. Because I've got a lot over the course of this game. I'm just gonna level up. Yeah, typically you want to pop them right before leveling up in general. Uh, I'm going to. Like, I'm gonna do it right now. I've got, like, dozens of them. Um, then get popping. So mix paranoia, religion, and mistrust, and or xenophobia to make instant isolationist civilizations? Got it. They're simple lizard people yeah. in a desert with an internal magic system for bodies. Um, I think the fact <clears throat> that they're in a desert helps, um, if they're really far away. You What's know, that? From, Fuck's uh, sake. You also, like, there is also, like, there are other, surely there are rare circumstances where being an isolationist nation genuinely does benefit the society. So, like, if they have um, access to, uh... Yeah wells of resources that if they're fully self-sufficient and have resources that they do want to keep to themselves or technology that they want to keep to themselves oh, like wakanda yeah wow, like wakanda. wakanda is that the Hi, vibranium they are say hello to m m is not even here have any I'll of you hello to anyway. have any of you madmen played dead space uh fuck yeah I like that I played a bit of Dead Space 1 and 2 and 3. Played a whole Thank bunch of them. Not. Big fan of that series. I kind of... I, 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 I guess... I, I wish Dead Space was still cool and still around and they did stuff with it. Shark! Yeah, what Jay said. Calm down, Jay. What's well, a fucking little bitch? Whoa. <laughs> Don't want to get a free stream on Twitch. Twitch might have banned that already. <laughs> Careful. It's a little simp shark. Oh it's no. Incel shark. shark. Don't say it. Oh, incel right. shark. It's the incel shark. Muting this draft because a fucking shark found the thread. So. <laughs> Muting <laughs> this because a shark found the thread. It's not letting me use any more blood echoes. Like, it says I. It just makes them. <clears throat> uh, complain that it's cancelling you. Maybe yeah. I don't have. Well, that usually blood. works. Yeah. Yeah, you can't use oh. more if you can't use them on anything, idiot. Ooh, I have enough to uh, build a thing. Yo, 
his head popped open like grape and melon. What did it do that for? Why wouldn't it? Um, because that's not what heads are really for, honestly. Um, oh, great, Jay. The, sounds like your opinion. The COVID variant in the UK is now in the Philippines, so. Yay! You're welcome. Yay! Thanks, We Jay. sent a gift wrapped. <laughs> Thanks a lot, guys. <laughs> If you search Hunter Biden on Twitter, it's fun. Also, potentially, we'll get you put on a sex offenders list. Quite the stand-up guy he is. All right. Oh wow. Uh, I'm not. I, nice. I'm, I'm going to avoid that myself. To be honest with you. I'm going to do it more now. No. Um. You think you'd be able to stream from the Koof camps? <laughs> what? No, wrong one. Oh well. Stop spinning around, stupid snake. Bloodstone right. shot, thanks. You can't say that about snakes, man. Well, uh, I just did, so, uh, hmm. What are you gonna yeah, do about it, Jay? About it. What are you gonna do? Are you one of them snake? Are you one of them snake lovers? Oh, Jay ran away. Did that. Oh. that was honestly the biggest fucking issue I had with Jay back in the day, was snake loving. So fucked I think up. Left you're, you reminded him of the issue. He knows his place when it comes to snakes. Right, so now Die. the now now the conversations are stupid, are they? Now my phone mid noises. I hope it's not low on battery again. <coughs> what did you do the last? I go to sleep, which is really frustrating because it my alarm does go off. And the amount of times that's made just screw things up. It's super annoying. My phone has lost the ability to make noise, and I need to replace it. That's that's not good. That it's that's, done that. Yeah. That's weird. But even with headphones, like if I plug headphones into it, I still don't get any noise out of it. Oh. oh man. I'd say that's a big fundamental issue with your phone. That yeah. Case. Like, if I could attach like a speaker or headphones to it, I would probably not bother replacing so, it yet. So this is just a funny little thing. Okay. I pulled up my phone and I have a notification from a, a comment on YouTube. The comment is, shut the fuck up, your voice sucks. So oh, that's no. a, a fun little... <laughs> what is that on? What video is that on? Um, Oh, it's on my Far Cry 5 review. Okay, that's a weirdly specific. Okay. So you're not gonna <laughs> listen to him and shut the fuck up then? Is that what you're saying? It sounds like you've wow. just been given some advice for free. Hmm. I, uh, I feel like I've gotten a lot better at not responding to criticism. <laughs> like, I just kind of... It's, like, I it's feel like generous a... of you to call that criticism. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um. Because, like, I mean, that's, that's often criticism where it's just like, hey, you suck completely. It's like, oh, I'm, I'm glad you've given me this workable advice that I can implement and, uh, and work to fix. That's, that's awesome. Um, I just, I think I used to get into more arguments, whereas now I feel like I'm better at just not arguing about it. Have you fought the wet uh, nurse yet? No, I'm still having got into an argument with a wet nurse. Yeah. Can't even beat a pig. How do you propose to beat a wet nurse? <laughs> That's the scale. Yep. <laughs> oh, this one's for you, Jay. Well, thank you. There are games that aren't fun per se, yet they are engaging or thought-provoking in a fashion that is fulfilling to some fashion in spite of pleasantness. Spec Ops The Line, for example. No room for more examples. Well, um, I mean... I was joking, I know that, like, games like that exist. No. Um, I mean, I, I know about, uh, Pathologic. Oh, the fun game. Yeah. Where you die all the time. <laughs> yeah, a real fun game, Pathologic. You sound pathological when you say that. Uh, well, that's logical, but with paths. So I guess, like, you're saying that I walk in sensible directions. Yeah. That's I'm interpreting that, and you can't stop me. I'm glad you interpreted it that way, because that was the way it was meant to be interpreted by you. 
good. But yeah, I don't think that's, that's a shock to you. You probably agree. Though fun is a complicated shock. word. You are a bitch. Yeah, I know. Stop pissing on my wife. Oh. oh. I mean, unless you want it. This boss is great because you get to look at women. Oh. Also, hello, Fringy, Jay, and Weekend Shark. Glad you could be here this morning. Hey, I am also swag. glad they could be here this morning. That's fine. I'd be here. Just hanging out with the lads. I guess it is technic. Wait, no. <laughs> Still. It's just night. Mm -hmm. Fun, fun night. EFAP only fans when? Oh, uh, Weekend, you're, you're the one behind that, right? How's it going? Oh, yeah, it's it's going swimmingly. Mm hmm. Swimming in the is the content. Yeah. Swimming in the kumban. The kum. The kum is everything. Motherfucker shot me in the back what? of the head. Damn. What content Wait, do you want to see on the the... EFAP only fans chat? Yeah, that's the question, chat. Don't be shy. They're being shy, Jay. Stop them. So did anyone see the tweet that Movie Bob did about he's a he's angry that there are no movies coming funny out? Because quote tweeted him on it. It's so funny. <laughs> Wait, I want to see this. I want to see this right now. He, he made another dumb tweet, Jay. Well, all his tweets are kind of dumb, think right? I his main, think his main thrust was, hey guys, get the COVID injection. Not because dying isn't, you know, super Preferable. fun, but because I want to go walk. <laughs> Oh, nice. Oh, I'm fighting the Jesus boss now. Christ, they shot me! What is this? This is Oh, his pinned... His pinned tweets... Uh, his pinned tweet is, if you're contacted by, by email by, like, uh, certain people, do not, uh, in reference to me or my work, do not reply or click links. These are troll accounts. No, I feel right. like... to the wet nerf, by the way. I feel like... Free. You can do it. ...advice on that. I still would reply or click links. Man, this wet nurse has a lot of arms. Is that like jealousy that I'm detecting there, Free? Is that the personal attack or something? That's such a funny quote. Yeah, it is. That like a personal attack? I think, I think, I feel like the most shoutable reading is she was trying to be snarky, but like it just, yeah. it just didn't work. Um, I don't know, but Free Larson does sometimes come across a bit out of touch. Uh, fine, I don't want to fight you guys. Fine, fine, I'm out. It's I'm not, not a big fan of this box so far. Um, it's yeah, Mirgo's not good close. either. Oh. I can't find the movie Bob tweet. Blink it. Oh, just find Mahler's tweet, if you reply to it. Maybe he blocked you, Jay. No, it I'm is. on his account, and I can't, I can't see it. I can't see the one that you are referring to. Margo one oh, hit me. Oh, he blocked you. <laughs> one hit you? Yeah, that's fun. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so I guess I just gotta get used to that. No, no, no he's, right, he's not blocked me. I'm on the account, and I can't find the specific tweet, I mean. Oh, oh let, let, me, let me find it. Let, let me check it out. Oh, One hit you with four swords, yeah. Oh, so. here we go. I'm gonna link it in here. Alright, um... Uh, read it out dramatically, Jay. Do it, Jay. Well... Hollywood prepares to delay another slew of block, uh, block, block uh, <laughs> Hollywood prepares to delay another slew of blockbusters, is the original tweet. Movie Bob quote tweets it with, Get the fucking vaccines into the fucking arms. Every word on the new line. Vaccinate everyone. Block the anti-vax psychos who won't take it and the MAGA super spreaders who made it this bad in the first place all up as a health hazard. Let the rest of us who acted right have the goddamn world back. Um, so that's a little tyrannical, and this is coming from somebody who, <laughs> like, that's a little that tyrannical. Are real, and that people should take them. Like that is yeah. a pretty tyrannical thing to say. Just to a bit. People up. I'm smelling people some have... tyranny. Why is he such a super villain? <laughs> I don't know, man. 
He's even like the super villain trooper. He thinks he's a hero, but he's actually the biggest, one of the biggest pieces of shit that has ever been. Thanos. Thanos. Hey, Bruggen was right. <laughs> oh, you cunt! Hunter Battle is so bad. I don't want to have to do it again. It's so lame. Hunter Biden. Hunter, Hunter Battle. Hunter Biden Battles. Oh, wait. No, I. I, I didn't. <laughs> We're fighting Hunter Biden. I'm not gonna. I'm just All gonna right. ignore it. Fuck it. We'll try and do that on the real run. It's gonna be cancer, but I'm not doing it on this one. Wait. Are we gonna have to fight these and. Oh, wow. Lucky I dodged the one hit kill there. That wouldn't have been fun. Either. Holy shit, I don't think I have enough resources to fight the one reborn. Oh well! Man, my head still hurts from a crash playthrough. I can still feel it. Oh, oh yeah, that's what it hurts from. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it does. It's my righty, and I don't You've use been my doing righty. too many wanks! No, I don't use my righty for that. No. Oh, I'm sure you don't. Yeah. The righty. Righty tidy, lefty loosey. That's how I like it. <laughs> <laughs> you loosen the coom. <laughs> Here comes the coom. So, Margo's wet nurse has put up a bunch of light. Oh, boss. be careful. That portion of the boss fight's a bit of a bitch. She's gonna have oh. Randy's attacking you who are like her, but not her. Oh, you cunts. Hello. Oh, you right. What is- What? This sucks. Oh. More like You can't say my name and then not have a follow-up. I find that outrageous. I did have a follow-up. You haven't made it clear, so I just- I've decided that you didn't have one at all. Except Mola. Oh, wait, what? Do you- Do you redraft? No. Wow. I consider redrafting a sort of, uh, how do I put this, like it, it's ruining what came from your heart. Oh yeah, I understand that. To be honest, anybody who says like, oh you should redraft, they're really just failures, and they're just trying to account for that failure. So yeah, redraft implies that you failed your first time. It's like yeah, they have no the confidence, they probably idea. smell of curry, like they have no idea what they're doing. There is no such thing as a bad idea. All your ideas are great, alright? You know what? They probably didn't Everything smell of curry, and then they redrafted their smell, and now they smell of curry. Yeah, because curry is the redraft smell. Stop vomiting all over me, it's weird. No! Jay. Somebody said a thousand and said, here you go, Frank. Oh! Thanks for helping with the world building. Yeah, no, no problem. I don't know what the thousand means, but thanks. <laughs> Is it bits? I have no idea what that. Like, what are bits? They're like donation tisms. Uh, I think a thousand is ten dollars. I think. Oh, thanks. I dodged. You're being a flunt. Okay. Well, that's a new word. That's a fun word. A flunt. <laughs> and uh, dark gene cream baby. Must I do all of this to get to the good bosses? So I've heard about bits, but like I don't fully understand. Uh, you better just dodging. Yeah, probably. Oh, it's another gifted sub. Oh, that is really generous. Oh, I nearly got one hit. That's 
Oh, you can't! Oh, Jesus Christ. Sorry, Not enough. Mauler, mm -hmm. I, I think I've seen what you mean about hey, the game tricks you into thinking it didn't one-shot you by <laughs> having <laughs> swing twice. Ew, peeing everywhere. I was so close as well. This is a, a lot of the design has that. I mentioned it to Theo, and I think Theo wanted to try and make some form of a defense, like it's a part of the design, like it's a... Oh, I'm out of fucking... Yeah, there's no way I'm winning this. Where'd you pick the threaded cane? Because uh, we will be. That will be our restriction on our most upcoming Second race. We've got to use the cane. Yeah. Oh, are you, doing, are you doing that run through now? Ba -ba. No, this is uh, the practice run. And for me, it's practice, but not with the cane, just like actually knowing what the game's content is <laughs> and how to get there. Um. Uh, Christianity. Oh, how did you find? Oh, go ahead, Mahler. Sorry. Christianity won out by being so malleable in taking on pagan Christ, uh, pagan traditions, along with consolidation of power. And a single figure was appealing to leaders compared to polyth polytheist structures. Also, High Mahler and Co. Hello. Interesting. There's really a lot of truth in that. I don't even know where a good place for fucking blood vials even is right now in the game. Ugh. I just still go back to the opening level and kill the big guys. Yeah, that's probably a good enough idea right now. Uh, is it Central Yarnum, I think? Yeah. Thank you, person in chat. What'd they say? My new hair suits me. I like your new oh. hair too. Thank you, Wumbo. I haven't checked Twitter, but I'm sure it's great. It's yeah, just I long. Say, I haven't like, had it cut for a year. That's that's what I did. Wait, uh, do you have a link? Because I I'm unfamiliar with this completely. And whose My fault hair. is that, Fringy? Hmm? On on this planet, yeah. Uh, let's see if I can find a, a recent picture. I got sixteen blood vials. All right, sweet. Oh, give me that blood. We've been going for four hours. Neato. Oh, damn. Well, what was an impromptu stream? That's not too bad. Mm. <clears throat> Japanese is a class A example for isolation. Uh, isolating themselves for a time. Can't remember when, because of this, they, in terms of art, flourished greatly. In terms of art? Um, I know that Japan were isolationist prior to when they sort of went very empire-ish. Um, you know, like, up in World War II. Dos. World War Dos. Yes, I do think, I do think the hair is very suitable. Thank you. I don't know anything oh, about yeah. hairstyles, like, a nice. black guy hair. So I give seven nice. thumbs. That's more than two. And that's all I actually black have on my hand. Be good. Yeah. Black guy hair is just cheap wolf, but black. Wow, you just compared <laughs> black people to animals. What the fuck? You saying that there aren't black sheep? There are black sheep. All right. <laughs> this is named Jonah. Oh my god, I'm gonna lose all my blood. My, my uh. My oh, I hate it when that happens. <laughs> <laughs> no, my precious blood. Give it back. Not my blood. <laughs> 
I like the idea of somebody crawling up the ground trying to scoop their blood back into their open wound. My blood! My precious. I need it! <laughs> That's mine! <laughs> Fighting the people around them for the blood. Hey chat, excluding Splat and Jean, who's the best Jackbox character from EFAP? I don't even think they would say Splat. Some of them would say Splat. That's gonna be the normies your choice, I think. So you're looking for the real fans? Yeah. Galathar? Oh yes. Someone True just fans. Put J is in chat. Maybe they're saying that you are the best meme. Well, maybe. All right, that'll be good enough for the one reborn. At least trying him one time. Ba, ba, ba. Oh, everyone's saying Galatha. James Galatha, the skin eater. Jay, but with piss. I don't think that <laughs> happened, but you can appreciate the spirit of that comment. When's the next uh, Jackbox stream going to be, huh? I don't know. Could, probably after the next Bloodborne one, because that's, that's probably going to close the chapter on Bloodborne. Oh, the, oh the definitive God. champion, Mauler? Is that, that, I is guess that so, yeah. the deciding? Well. Oh, it's it's pretty much... Whoever beats the other in, in the race is basically the best Bloodborne player on Earth, I'd say. The well, Abyss of yes. Duel, the Nostalgia Critic. <laughs> The classic chapped up character. Mauler is kissing emoji, kissing emoji, kissing emoji. Jay is smelly. Those chat those two chats were back to back. Mauler is kissing worthy and you are smelly. Wow. Can you really argue with the truth there? Oh, why would I want to? Jay but edgy. Oh, who's better, Fringy, oh, that one or Echolush? I didn't even, I didn't even <laughs> get to hit him once. He killed me straight away. <laughs> someone in chat, someone in chat said, "Get jobs, hippies." There's like a ten percent chance that's ironic, I think. Well, but the, but what we're doing would be be done by anybody on the hours. Uh, Fringy did this after work. <laughs> But, but, honestly though, guys, when you sub and give me money, oh, that makes it, that makes my life better, so, <laughs> thank You're you. You're upsetting and, that and poor keep, person who called you a hippie. Keep, keep doing it, alright? Keep upsetting the hippie, that's the guy who called us hippies, I guess. That's, there you go, new, Give me new money goal. specifically to upset the <clears> hippie. <laughs> Can you stop stealing my health? I think... Getting really close to the mic and being dramatic is one of the funniest things you can do. <laughs> like, I don't know yeah, it's it. one of the funniest things you can it's do. One of the Jay, best the comedy you can here do is with so the mic. lackluster. Do something about it. Stop Classic. vomiting. Jay, is Bloodborne edgy with its blood gems and blood echoes? <laughs> I w I'd answer you, but you ended that with a full stop instead of a question mark. So. Oh no. I, I don't know, it's like... I mean, is blood it... is a core element in the game that, like, def like the universe, the story is all about manipulating blood, basically. That is pretty edgy, it. though. Um, I think it's really neat, the, the, the mechanics and the systems they created out of it. Edgy! I think it's more meaningful than simply being like, my sword is a blood sword, it means that it... it... it stabs it, it... you. <laughs> Like the one, the one from Adventure Time where they're self aware that it's a joke. The sword is made of blood. I can't remember that one, but it sounds familiar. Um, it's Finn's, I think, second sword is a, a demon blood sword made out of demon blood. And eventually, like, a demon comes, like, hey, that's my blood, give it back. <laughs> my blood. Um, excuse me, sir, that's my blood you're using. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that would be funny, like, like a said gong. Um, demon blood swords, actual demon person comes to your house. Jay put out more video uh, videos, you Jingleheimer. Oh, I mean, I'm making more video material than I've been making in a while, but it's all going into one big video, so... 
it's gonna be really good. Did that really address the Jingleheimer comment though? Can you hear that seagull? I can. Yeah. <laughs> Cancel. They are pretty loud. Remember when I played you like the um the song the, of your the people? clip of uh I think Fringy, I think you're the only one who was around and you heard, you heard this. The clip of um yeah, seagulls just in my city. That just what it often sounds like. Insane degrees of noise. Of just <laughs> I remember one of the things I when I went to the UK, uh, which is how big the gulls are. Oh, come to Aberdeen. It's the biggest, biggest gulls in the UK. <laughs> That's the selling point. Well, hang on. Let me see if I can find it. Um... Vomiting again, really? I'm sorry. Here. Um, this is the survival guide published by my city council. I will put it in chat, actually. Um... Bring it, it's going in your chat too. Did you allow links? Yeah, um, yeah. I think so. And then it's going in our chat. This, this was, this was published by a city council. Urban gulls. Living with urban, living with urban gulls. Survivor's guide. Do not eat gulls, yeah. Probably a good idea. It's funny, right? Things you can do. Do not drop litter or food scraps. <laughs> <laughs> well, all of them are like, hey, be a good neighbor and don't attract gulls to your garden by feeding them. You can just, just do this in one sheet of paper. Don't feed seagulls. Fucking FPS, man. Oh man, they're encouraging you to smite the eggs. God damn. Pierce or oil the eggs to prevent hatching. <laughs> Wait, why does it say that? This is... I don't even know that this qualifies as a battle sometimes. It's just damn. flash on my screen. Can't you just... Jay, I have a serious question if, it, if it's such a big problem. Isn't there like an extermination course for, for these things? If it's that... How, I don't know how the fuck you could. They fly. <laughs> like, I don't know. <laughs> um, and they're everywhere. And they can go, they can oh live at, like at sea as well. The FPS. Damn. Have so they're an invasive species, huh? Um. Fred landed Mola got to beat his boss, but I didn't get to beat my boss. The yeah, I, got, I got Mikolash next. Okay, pity me. It is illegal to capture, injure, or destroy any wild bird or interfere with its nest or eggs. Oh, so you'd rather it destroy Aberdeen then? <laughs> Penalties can be severe. However, the law also provides a general license system which allows property owners to take action against girls nesting on buildings by destroying nests or eggs. I'm sorry. The license this system is... can only be used for the purpose of preserving public health, public safety, and the spread of disease, or specifically for control of herring, great black bearded, um, what? Great black backed, and lesser black. Backed gulls. The bad camera angle is based on your positioning, Mola. No, no, the game can't handle focus on large enemies that you get close to. Stop forgiving the game for this. Stop. <laughs> Bloodborne is awesome. It doesn't need you to simp for it so fucking hard. Welcome. It's your <laughs> fault because you shouldn't be using focus. Simp for itself. <laughs> yeah, it does just fine. You should be using a fundamental mechanic game has that is specifically for the purpose of making it easier to hit the bad guys. Well, if it doesn't work, just don't use it. <laughs> that logic fucking kills me, honestly. You've already almost caught up with me. I mean, I'm still very, very, very worried about Mikolash. Right, you might not get as lucky as I did. Why are you worried about Mikolash? He's yeah, really he ugly, and he has a weird hat. That's That's why I'm worried about him. They maybe made fun of his hat. hat. Jay, are you happy now? Honest to God, Jay, I thought Jay was talking about wild girls. <laughs> yeah, they make a lot of fucking noise in this city. 
<laughs> it's illegal to destroy their nests unless they're invasive on your property. No, and but it's weird, weird though. Like, if gulls nest on your property, you can arrange for eggs to be pierced or oiled. It, isn't piercing just a, a politically correct way of saying poking a stick I think so, through, yeah. through the egg so it doesn't hatch? Yeah, so abort, abort the seagull. <laughs> oh my god. So you can't kill it unless for very specific circumstances, huh? Um, in relation to the the isolation thing, could that be a civilization that had a bad experience with interacting with other societies? Um, probably have to be a significantly bad interaction several times, I guess. I could almost destroy their entire way of life. And they've just concluded that isolationism is the only way. One reason. Could like, be I guess they if they like... then invaded a lot of times or whatever if like if the people around them are like a, are, are warring people so yeah that could work i'm really struggling with this boss like i feel like i'm stuck pray to jay jay just make this game Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. So, hang on, what the fuck is this tweet? Uh, what's from me, Bob? Or <laughs> what is it? <laughs> I, I so, only just saw. No, okay, so, Elon Musk earlier today tweeted legalized comedy, yeah, which I'm like, kind of kind of cringe. I uh, agree with him, legalized comedy. <laughs> <laughs> like, you know, you know, kind of cringe. I, I replied, legalize shutting the fuck up, right? <laughs> Pretty just like, basic, right. like, no you level shit. Yeah. Someone has right. replied, man, you changed. <laughs> now, you're also... <laughs> That's hilarious. now you're also one of the ever offended. Oh my god. Better so... not watch your own hey, Jay. Cinema Sins reviews. Jay, it sounds like SJW you offended them. Your SJW friends would see that as clear harassment. What? Well, my my CinemaSins videos, my videos about them, if my all my SJW friends would see that as a uh, harassment. Jay, stop being so SJW. Oh wait, you criticize a man? They're probably going to give you a trophy for pie fighting the patriarchy. <laughs> Man, like 2015 oh, no. internet politics. Yeah. Jay, good job on the beating the patriarchy, by the way. Single handedly. I'm kind of impressed. Can you sort out the matriarchy now? Uh, no, that one's good, actually. Oh. What about the middle one? The. The enviarchy. That one's, yeah, that one's pretty cool. The Zumbanbaki. Look at this lad throwing fucking stones. That's not how you make friends, mate. How do you make friends? You don't throw I'm stones at them. Just don't be a cunt. Yeah, just don't I throw stones, yeah, yeah. This is, this is the thing. Hey, I was wondering I how to good. get Ooh, more feedback on my review. How did you guys do it? Was it luck or was it more precise? Share it on different websites, ask friends of yours. Um, it's kind of tough sometimes, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. I would recommend Reddit, but then I would also not recommend Reddit. I got lucky on 4chan with one of my videos, so... You, you do have to, like, show yourself, though. At some point. Like, like, like you mean, like, get naked? Yeah. Like, start that OnlyFans. <laughs> I'm not gonna say I'm against a Weekend Warrior and OnlyFans. Yeah. I yeah. Maybe I'm already on OnlyFans. <gasps> and I'm just, How would I'm, we know? That's right. Well, not telling it's you just guys. like a really crude drawing of a dick with a pencil. Okay. Like. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, my nudes are leaked. Oh no. It's out there. <laughs> the people, they know. Nice tracking, loser. Ow. Oh boy, I get to fight Mikolash. Don't be angry, the game is trying. 
I'm more stressed out at the moment. Um, I think I like midnight streams. I feel like super lucid. <laughs> at the moment. I'm so tired. Um, I've been rewatching Batman the animated series, and it definitely has my favorite depiction of Batman in it. Fair enough. Wait, what? Sorry. Uh, Batman the Animated Series. It's their favorite oh, depiction Batman, of Batman. Batman the Animated Series is uh, some pretty good stuff. Um, or is it? I, no, like, I, I, I do wonder <laughs> that might be another one. Like, I doubt it's like the Clone Wars, though. I, I'm actually, like, pretty confident. But, uh, from what I, even though I haven't watched, like, all of it, um, I'm just pretty confident about it. I barely remember it, I just know it's like good or everybody calls it good. Um, Kevin Conroe was in that, so was Mark Hamill. So they kind of became the established voices mm. of those characters. So they, they definitely had that. Um, and I think Batman the Animated Series uh, started the DC Animated Universe, which is a much more cohesive and better property than the, the live action one. It's pretty funny. Mm -hmm. Well, actually, it's not surprising at all, because it's all about the writing at the end of the day. Production values are only going to get you so far, which is really nowhere at all. <laughs> wow. Mikolash cooperated in that first bit really well. Let's see how that plays out as time goes on. My chat's talking about the North Center League. Do you guys know who they are? No. Oh, no. Central, I, I might be mispronouncing it, but the North Centralese people, they are um, they live on an island, and I think it's either off the coast of India or Sri Lanka. They're like one of those uncontacted tribes, and they still have, um, you know, like, they still have um, spears, arrows. Neat. Um, and, well, it, it doesn't remain neat for long. <laughs> this story takes a pretty dark turn. Um, no. So a bunch of people sort of found this island, and they went there and wanted to make contact with them, but they got spears thrown at them. Um, so that, that wasn't so good. And then they're coming with a helicopter, I think, and they had spears thrown at them. So you can't go there anymore, because I think they actually killed a guy um, in the well, 80s. There are movies that have been made about... I'm not sure if they're based on real events, I'm assuming they are, but when you venture too close to one of these like distant tribes, and then you get fucking eaten by the people there. Uh, well, that might be based on the many... Uh, Amazon based ones. Mm -hmm. There are many. I think there are thousands of them in the Amazon. Um, imagine like being one of them and seeing a helicopter. Like that must be crazy. I mean, like, oh, we start worshiping it, right? Strange bird. <laughs> well, they, they throw spears at it. That's the thing. They don't tend to worship them. They just try to kill it. Fuck off, bird. <laughs> <laughs> And they'll throw spears at it, and it's... Oh. It's not working, guys! <laughs> guys, try the other spear, the big one! <laughs> I'm gonna have to go for visceral attacks, my damage is fucking pathetic. Mikolash, does anyone ever tell you you're really gay? Margo's ghost wet nurse thing. I, I hate it. That's the thing, man. You got it's another. It's, it's a whole row of bad bosses in a. In a, in a yeah. <laughs> God, this fight. Why would you defend this, Matt? Why? <laughs> he runs away. That's good. It's, Come. it's mechanically infertile. Oh my god, a skeleton just, just came into the fight and jumped out the window. <laughs> Wait, I want to see that on the screen. <laughs> yeah, you're... <laughs> Enough of this. <laughs> Jumps out window. I think I might be too far. Oh yeah, there's almost no streams all the way down. Oh, here we go. Um, talk about the cane frogs. Well, they're not frogs, they're toads. Uh, for starters. <laughs> there is a difference. 
Racist. Um, and I'm not sure. I'm not. Sure, and also, you're spelling it wrong. They're not spelled like Kane the name. They spelled C A N E. Um, and also, I don't know what you want to say. They're they're like an invasive species that are hugely destructive to the environment. You just fucking um, obliterate that guy, dude. Uh, well, you know, it's, nah, dead it's, now. It's, 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 it's all good, man. I'm <laughs> I'm not I'm not upset. <laughs> He's dead now. Um, but that chatter is dead. Yeah. <laughs> Cane toads were brought to Australia because they didn't like some of the natural beetles here. Uh, the cane toads killed all the beetles and also many other animals, so that was a very good decision. Um, one of one of the many brilliant decisions made by some of Australia's earliest inhabitants, like letting loose 20 rabbits to hunt them, not killing them all, and then there are like billions of rabbits now, and then you had to build like 10,000 of them. Well, 10,000 is an exaggeration a fence that stretches all the way from the top of Australia to the bottom that doesn't even work. <laughs> good job, Many good um, It's funny, the dingo fence was more effective than uh, the rabbit-proof fence. The rabbit-proof fence is not rabbit-proof, but it is a good movie. How big is the frog fence? There is no frog fence. <laughs> The frogs rule this country. No. The frogs will just jump. They're mad yeah, man. There's no fence that can stop a frog, let's be honest. We're going to build a wall. Around the frogs. The frogs. The frogs. I just to build a wall around the frogs. Wouldn't you? Alright, here we go. Second phase. Wow, he tried to do the super move right at the beginning. That sly cunt. I want to meet You're the person who programmed him. <laughs> just, I, I just want to talk to him. I just want to talk to him. <laughs> I just him. want to oh, talk to him. Out the window. I, just, I just want to kill him. I just want to talk to him. <laughs> Give me the fucking visceral, you selfish... There we go. You want to stay in the corner? Fine. God, this fight's so good, though. <laughs> the pride you must feel watching streamers play against this character when you first release the game. You're like, oh, yes. This fight's more tolerable when you deal damage. I mean, I am. You can clearly... I'm winning. I won. <laughs> but still... I love that, the fight's more tolerable when it's over faster. That's, <laughs> yep. That's the hallmark of a really good game. It's better when it's over. It's better when you're not playing it, really. Ba -da 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 -da. Ba -da 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 -da. Please tell me this is a so hidden boss. No, he is 100% necessary to get a lot of shit in this game done. Man, you Yay. caught up with me. You, you've, like, legitimately just caught up with me. I am here with you, Fringy. Shall touch you. I really do not like this boss, let me tell you. I really thought you were going to say, I really do not like to be touched. <laughs> I want you to put your touching away. You're out of touch. I'm out of touch. Or is that going to get me copyright struck? <laughs> you are out of touch and out of time. Ludendorff. Just saying the name of any song will get you a copyright strike on Twitch, actually. Well, I mean, that, I am what? singing the song. No, just say the name of the song, you'll get banned. You are out of time. For to see. And time. I gotta find so many blood chunks, there's no way. Stop! Diddle dee dum, diddle dee dum. Oh. Why are you calling me dumb, Jay? What the fuck? Um, I mean, I've met you. Whoa, what the hell? I'm gonna tell Free you said that. Don't. I know, Please like, don't tell him. Fringy. What, what did Jay say? Fringy said, she said I'm dumb. That's not nice, Jay. Alright. You better I'm apologize. sorry, I... It's That's it? That's the apology? I There's not even funny. an explanation. You thought it would be funny? Well, who's laughing now? <laughs> Jay, alright. Lyrics aren't usually copyrighted. It's generally the notes of the music that matters, Jay. I, I oh. know that. I was joking. I Jay was having a am. giggle. Just like when you can channel. actually get banned from Twitch for saying the name of a song. It happens all the time, what do you mean? 
So I have to sing it out of tune is what you're saying. Alright, gotcha. Your uh, touch and time. Um, which, yeah, <laughs> Seems out, out of, of more than just tone. Well, yeah, that's gonna trick them. <laughs> super safe, alright? We trick Twitch, right? We, we beat Amazon. I am out of touch and out of time. Out of my head when you're not around. Flogen, flogen, Seven plus. Oh, that's it. Right. You're out of touch. <laughs> Did a shark come and get you again? Oh, that was sort of funny meme. Oh, oh I saw. Is ah. it about a shark? There is so much fear. <laughs> <laughs> I like you, like That was James Wood uh, in that episode, wasn't it? I don't he's run actually it, called uh, James Woods. Oh, Jesus! He has more than one word. Dude, the, the fucking pigs are terrifying. James, yeah. so, James Sticks. Shadows of Yarnum, please save my life, please, 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 please. Yeah, the pigs don't want to mess with me when the shadows of Yarnum oh. come to town. Fucking double pigs. Oop, down I go. It's not really a phase, it's more of an attack. The attack when the, the wet nurse just... You almost fucked her up, dust. Fring, you can do it! I can't, I'm very concerned I'm not gonna beat it. Yeah. Uh, uh. Oh my god. I only have, I only have one healing item left, so that's uh... Uh, cosmic gay, as they say. What if you had more healing items? Well, he could hit me in one hit and kill me, so that's super nice. Uh, in Bly, did I miss the resolution of what happened to the kid's parents and what the uncle had to do with it? Seemed important until they dropped it. <laughs> what? Um, uh, uh, <laughs> I don't know what to tell you, buddy. <laughs> what do you mean they dropped it? What do you mean? They, what do you mean they dropped it? Without getting into spoilers, really they told you what happened show. to them, and it's the whole reason he harbors what he harbors. What do you mean, Basil? I feel like they're expecting it to be a different kind of payoff. Yeah, that's your problem. Is you wanted something else, not that they you, didn't pay it off. You're saying it's a you problem. It is absolutely a you problem. You're out of time. Me. <clears throat> I want more fire papers. I want to write about fire. I'll set you on fire. That's not really the same help. thing, is it? That's not what I asked for. What you just said takes advantage of me, so I'm going to tell everyone. My cunning plan has been found out. Was it really cunning if it was easily found out? Yeah, you're just very clever. I win. Excellent. You know who's next? Well, no, so technically no. speaking, you could pick from a lot, but I mean, typically you go to DLC now. Oh. Okay. Ludwig is the first of the DLC bosses. And technically, some... you can fight Ludwig from as early as you unlock them. That's kind of where the game expects you to begin to try, so you should be in a pretty good position to do so. Oh. That is great. Um, admittedly, I am pretty tired, so I'm probably gonna... Swell. Swell? I think I think I'm gonna... I think I do wanna go for, um, one of the bosses where I can. Well, I can guide you. Kind of. Not really. <laughs> I just realized it's kind of... there's a bit of a wavy path. It's like... Um... I mean, it, it's not that. If you, like, get a YouTube video up that just says, like, Pathway to Ludwig... Because it's not, um... It's not entirely straightforward. Um, 
like, how do I get to the old Hunters DLC? Where do I need to go? The Cathedral Ward? So, yeah, Cathedral Ward, then straight forward. No. To the left of the three exits. We want the left exit. And then... Okay. Um, there is an amygdala that can grab you. You need to walk up to, like... Typically, there's something to collect there, like a like an outfit. You would have picked it up, probably. You can try and... Maybe chat can direct you. I know where it is. I, I think I know where it is. Um, I'm gonna get some water. I'll be back in the future. Very well. Okay. Ow, ow, ow. Alright, alright, Mirgo. You can. Let's have a go, shall we? Let's go, bitch! I'm going to <laughs> eat your face. Yeah, that weapon, Muller. Hey, the thing that has the lightning thing. Wait, she went away. Yeah, Come back. You scared her. Oh no, it's the Moomshlang. It isn't like you. the Moomshlang. I'm dealing so much damage to her. It's great. Yeah. Wow, her just her in the moment. So exciting. <laughs> Is that the wetness? What, what is the, the Fuck this fight too. So many bad bosses. That is the wetness, yeah. She doesn't look that wet, does she? Hey, you stole my joke. Hey. Thank you for stealing a joke of Prince yours. Of same feather. This is what I call gameplay. What is she doing? She's not even attacking me anymore. Okay, that was... Really attacking me. <laughs> you heard you complaining, Molly. Oh, is that it? Is that so? <laughs> just getting offended. Yeah. Why is she just never turning to look at me, though? That's my question. Does she think I'm ugly? She, she doesn't need to. Look at her, her arms. Like she can just reach behind her, take care of business. Take care of business. Yeah. So that just wrecked me. Ow. Not the stupid Sonic move. See, she attacked directly in front of it, but I wasn't there. Why'd you do this to me, Mom? I guess she can't be staggered. Can I throw Molotovs at her? I'm gonna throw a Molotov at her. You guys ready? This is how much I hate you. 129 damage. Hmm. I think I've found the thing, but I don't know how to get the thing on the roof here, but I'm not sure. Touch it! Oh, no, it's getting me. Don't worry. Wait, I could probably, um, if you give me a sack, I could probably guide you to, uh, Ludwig personally, in a way. Although that makes okay. any sense. Yeah. Wailing on the wetness. Where'd you go, Margo? Anyone else bored? <laughs> nah, just keep at it, Mahler. My name Almost is Mumbla. Oh, Is that, that's what you say in like the climactic scene of Captain Marvel, but if you were Captain Marvel? Yeah. My, My name is not Buddy! <laughs> it's not Incredible either. That ship has sailed. I'm Wombo. I am Wombo, do not fuck with me. <laughs> Lord of Chaos. I'm Galathar. Yeah, so you've got, if you've got my stream up for me, just follow my lead. I'll go there in a sec. Once I get a fucking. Let me go home. He did this to me as well. It took like 20 minutes for it to. It's supposed to let you absorb thing. the moment because killing the wet nurse is such a fun achievement. She's such a great boss. I feel sarcasm. Why are the bosses flaking out on Bola? I don't know. They're afraid of the bumbo. Yeah, that took me like seven tries, um, 
but you did it in one, so that's that's awesome. That makes me really happy. Well, I'm so proud of you. I mean, I would just blame the game, right? Uh, let me go buy some blood voils. Great, I have 15 in stock. Uh, there's no fucking way I'm beating Ludwig first try. Oh, oh I guys, so go ahead. Because I, I have to record some stuff. Oh, okay, goodbye, course. weekend the Whoopi or. It was, it was good hanging out, sirs. Good the bug, the Except for Jay, of course. Oh. Like, wow. Oh. Damn. Just kidding, Jay. You know, you know, you know I love you. So. Okay. I love you. When's, when's our next podcast? Yeah, Jay, what the Jay? fuck? Um, it'll happen. It'll happen. I'm, I'm just, I'm very busy at the moment, which is why I would, All right. which is why I procrastinated for two hours on this stream. <laughs> We won't well, hold it. I, I get you. that. All right. I get that feeling. So. Jay, you've never <laughs> been to Dundee, have you? Ooh, getting called out. Damn. Ooh. What is for the best? Do they have bigger seagulls in Dundee? Is that <laughs> what I'm hearing? <laughs> you claim to have such big seagulls and you haven't even been to Dundee. What the fuck? Is that the only claim that I can see that being, <laughs> being contested by uh, the idea that, that I've not been... I've driven through Dundee, I'll tell you that. But no, I've never actually uh, stopped. So the seagulls look too fucking big. I didn't want to get out of the car. Jay, amygdala, oh, God, grab damn. me, help. Um, okay. believe in yourself. Oh. Have, have fun, guys. See, see you next time. Goodbye. Catch you later, dude. Goodbye. Good tag. Good and tag. Um, Jay, how much longer for your Mando video? Uh, six years. <laughs> also, I might have missed some context or explanation of what happened to that thing about Torchwood Freefab or something. I'm going to release it the day Jay releases the video for Doctor Who. It's all going to tie in. Yeah, and you'll know when that is because I'm going to premiere it and I'm going to let it sit there for a couple of days before it's ready with people being notified that it's coming. Um, also, I'll tell you. Yeah, and then you'll get to see a recording from fucking centuries gone. Alright, wait, so Fringy, the best way to do this is probably to watch me do it and then you do it, okay? Because... You can't pause in this All shitty right. game. <laughs> so you want to go forward, forward and then straight to the right. You can pick up them if you want, whatever. Just then you go up here. You're going to see a hunter with two beasts. Avoid, avoid. He's a very angry man. You don't, you don't want to ask him his name or anything. And then you keep on going. Keep on going. You got to head all the way to the top of this big staircase. That's pretty easy to remember. And then you'll find, right at the top, you have to turn right and go through a little hole. That is the first section of getting to Ludwig. Okay. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm with you so far. I'll wait for you to get here, because this is like a safe space. Wait a minute, I think I might have For snowflakes. No, I'm in the right on your tail. All right. Yeah, just get to the top of the else. stairs. <laughs> wait, where are you? Oh yeah, just that staircase, get all the way to the top. And then as soon as you pass the big flaming ball that gets sent to you, you're going to want to dodge left or right when you get to that bit. I, I did. And then turn right. Right. Okay. That's left. This is right. That's right. Yeah, and then through the little yeah. hole. Okay. Alright, now you're going to watch me again, I guess, because this, this, this is a bit tricky. Can be anyway. Okay. You to, so, you, well, go all the way down here, then we'll, then we'll go from there. So, what we want, if you can see on my screen, can you see that bridge in the distance? I can't even, like, where my hat is, we want to get to that bridge. Okay. And then you go to the right of it and we can unlock the first shortcut. I don't usually do that, but for the sake of getting you to Ludwig, I will, so. Because it could, we could, we don't have to do all this again. Um, watch out for these guns, they are a pain in the ass. Yeah, oh, there's one hidden. There's a hidden gun. So stupid. It's a big game, man. Oh, come away. So, I could actually beat German, right? That's like. like German, and uh, I would imagine you would not want to do that because it'll end the game. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but I'm just saying, like, that's where I'm at. Yeah. I'm gonna hop out and get on with what I need to do and also eat some food. Okay, bye. I, 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 I guess I need to do that too. Yeah. But, uh, bye. Wait, I, I lost you. 
I, I lost you. Where am I Wait. going? <laughs> so, um, was that so, for me or was that for someone? When you get through the house, you're gonna get get forward, go through the house. There's a couple of hunters to get past. They can be a bit of a bitch. And then go under the bridge and turn right as soon as you go to the other side. Go up the stairs and follow forward until you come to two double doors. Open them and you've got yourself the fish shortcut. Okay. So go through the house. Okay. Yeah, just go to the bottom level and then go out the door to the right of where you came in rather than the left. To the right. Okay. <clears throat> Where am I going? Under the bridge, turn right. Oh. Oh my god. I'm in a lot of trouble here. Yeah, this bit, this bit is pure chaos when you just want to get to the bosses. Right. Oh. Here. Yeah. Okay. Ah. Through, through in here? Yeah, up there, go through the big hole and then you'll... That's the first shortcut open, so that's some progress for you that's permanent. Awesome. Alright. Um, I just realized that I need to show you the rest of it, so I'm just gonna go back to where I was. Okay. Yeah, go, like, as far as you can without alerting anybody. Just, you know, like, where that opening is. I'll go there in a sec and then show you where's next. Okay. I like how I'm just not even experiencing old hunters at all. <laughs> like, I'm just... <laughs> Oh, well, that's the thing. If you want to explore this place, you can later, but if you want to get straight to the boss. Um, Alright, so, I opened the shortcut, which is by here, so if ever you die, you can go straight to this now. Yeah. And, um, then, if you just, uh, watch me, this is where you'll be. You come out, then you go all the way to that cave over there, and you're gonna, seriously, just watch what I do. Don't stop moving, because there's a couple of things. Like, okay. Obviously avoid all the enemies. This part's a little bit gay for that. There's, you get to this, you need to go all the way around, and then up the ladder. The ladder is... you have to watch me get to it. It's right here, it's a piece of shit. And if you're unlucky, this guy will knock you off it. Uh, I made it this time. Sometimes I don't. When you get up here, <clears throat> just go forward. There's gonna be a big guy with a gun you have to avoid. Just go all okay. the way forward, and then you're looking for, once you pass, uh, this would be what leads to your shortcut. Once you get, well, it's not a shortcut, it's a, a lantern in here, and then you're ready for the boss. Oh, okay. I think I got all that. <clears throat> like I said, bit of a bitch. Alright, let me give it a shot. But I believe in you. Right, let's try it. Pray for me. Chat, pray for him. Alright, um... No, you just hate Mikolash because he's effeminate and eccentric. You checks SJW notes shit stain. Shit swine? Well, how dare you. <clears throat> Alright, Ludwig, let's have a go. choice for top boss. I do not share that sentiment, but I do for a second phase, though. Be interesting to see what you think of him. Exclusive rights to Star Wars games. 
Well, I guess um, that could mean we get some good stuff. <laughs> Maybe. Well, Ubisoft, Ubisoft Massive is the guys who make the division, so I don't know what to make of that. A live service Destiny type Star Wars game could be good, but probably. Mm, I don't know about that. Mm -hmm. I do like stuff about the division, but yeah. But no more EA exclusivity, that's. That's good, as far as I'm concerned. That that deal has not yielded much in the way of good content. Another generic Ubisoft open world game. Yeah, that's the concern, right? It's my concern anyway. Very much my fault. Oh, no, just pull it up. Uh, oof. That looks if you like kill the enemy by the gate before Ludwig, he drops five heals. Uh, is there an easy way to kill the dude with a giant gun? I don't know. Provacus, 500 bits. Ooh. Happy New Year, my favorite green man. Keep fighting the good fight. Cheers. Oh, thanks a bunch, man. Everything is so quiet, is it? Oh. Um. Yeah, I've got like desktop audio negative twenty, game capture like negative thirty six. I remember when I did my crash. Apparently, my voice was barely audible at all. So, I don't want to make the same mistakes twice. You are not dealing much damage. This is a big boy. It's because I chose to. I was kind of experimenting this time around. I wanted to know if it was worth pushing the 40 HP to 50 in, in sacrifice of 10 points in skill while also trying to rush and not level as much as I usually do, and the lack of damage is very clear. <laughs> I haven't actually got the final upgrade for my weapon as well. But I still think I can beat... This guy drops bullets. Oh, not him. The Udi skeleton by the gate. Alrighty then. I like the idea that they probably added that specifically because people, oh, this is probably not what they meant, um, wouldn't have to farm as much, and it's just like, how about you just remove it? Oh, is these? Is this? This is gross. Yeah, shining coins, that's what I want. Oh my god, you're right, he does. Neat. Mauler in the game are louder than you. Oh boy, do I want to mess with my mic. Oh, there we go. That's louder, isn't it? I would presume so. I don't want to blow your eardrums out, that's the thing. Like, whenever I turn the microphone up, it tends to be ear shattering. like five hours later. <laughs> Just quietly accepting this crappy quality.
Yes, get crippled horseman. All I was doing was spamming move, and it's just like, it locked me in. Not cool. Oh, it's the... the one that she looks at once in a while, the... It's, um... You should be able to find it. Just look around. Ah, there it is. Nightmare's Church. Wish me luck. Good luck, sir. Fringy gets quality options on blood for the metal Phase two, but I've lost half my health, so this is gonna be a close one, guys. I've gone the wrong way. Oops. Though this is the best part of the soundtrack, so mm -hmm. let's chill with me. Knock down the stairs. Ah, that was my mistake. Hopefully, I can get back up. If not, I'm in all the bit of trouble. Thank you. <laughs> I don't know if that should have hit me, but alright. Alright, I'm, I'm guessing that. No way! Damn. Really engaging fight, though. Oh, no, you lost. Clearly. I am. Um, I fucked the dodge on his double hit. Cost me the whole fight. <laughs> Moosley was almost a real Gaber man. So true. <laughs> Let's get some fire papers ready, cause... How many- alright, we're still good for health. Oh, you're looking at his cutscene? I am, he's, he's uh, a- sexy He's a sexy boy, isn't he? Really, I was about to say, I'm really, like, the design is really cool. Oh yeah, he's a fucking horrifying monster, in a good way. Oh, I get 
kid. Oh my god. <laughs> you are kidding. Oh my god. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> Ludwig's a tough one. Spaz move. Jesus. Oh, I was really going for a stack of that. Fucking <laughs> stun lock me, little bitch. I'm spam and roll, I got nothing. I don't even think that one was intentional. I think that just happened. best <laughs> prince. Sure, you have to understand, many of us have this tism and your deadpan delivery short circuits are tismy brains. Oh no. Oh well he's gone, so yep. too late buddy. Um How are you finding little Running Ghost Sam two bits. Hello to this major respect for it. How you handled adversity in the black one rant towards the end from showing him that it doesn't matter if you're a broker because his exquisite ass hasn't watched Pursuit of Happiness with Will Smith and you've got an expensive gaming PC. I don't... Like, you lost me. <laughs> <laughs> I got no idea. <laughs> That's... Related to the thanks for the two bits. I feel sorry for the camera in the Ludwig fight. It doesn't have any clue what it's supposed to do. Yeah, I am. Uh, I'm not super cool with the camera at first. Finding a part to... This is pretty difficult, but um, I'm not sure how happy I am with it right now. Um, so hopefully the second time. Ludwig's second phase is so much better than the first, it's not fair. No, don't spaz out. I don't like that move. I don't know how I haven't gotten a stagger. I smashed a little bit to pieces. Um, I'll help you out here with this. Uh, what these blood, Bloodborne playthroughs, would you guys still call it a good game? Or would you do much better than me on Ludwig, so hats off. <laughs> um, um, I think Bloodborne is fantastic. I fucking adore this game. I just have lots of issues with it. Yeah, I like it too. I wouldn't be able to explain the problems very well though. Um, have either of you 
Uh, have either of you played Red Dead Redemption 2? Thoughts on the story and characters? Favorite, least favorite character? Objectively, one of the best written games ever made. Play it, long man, please. Well, I mean, I have a pretty favorable opinion on Red Dead Redemption 2. Um, I do think that game's really good. I do wonder if that game suffers a bit, though, from being a video game. You know what I mean? Like, Arthur is a good man, but in, in gameplay, it's just totally inconsistent. But, um... I'm a big fan of Red Dead Redemption 2. You always hear a boss, a uh, game when you're stuck on a boss, it's like, no, actually, I love being stuck on Koss and Maria, and Ludwig to an extent. Um, meanwhile, I beat Mirgo, um, fucking Mikolash, and, well, not Ramen first tries, but they suck. Whether or not I beat them didn't play into whether or not I thought they were good. I'm gonna do a safety heal. Welcome back to the start of the These enemies just give me trouble and just nothing at all. So fucking greedy of me. Next lock is door to find to get this stuff. I'll keep that in mind. Safety heal. I'm good at Ludwig, or at least for a fucking non-professional, I think. Like, that's really low damage I just beat him with. I know it was 13 blood vials, but that's not so bad. I don't know, you, like, I'm not good at a lot of things in the Soulsborne stuff, but like, I feel like I did well in that fight. I, and this is like, my favorite experience with these From Software games, like, this this is why I fucking love these games. That's some peak -tisms. It's so engaging, like, mechanically, and then the soundtrack. Oh. Oh. <laughs> yeah. You have achieved gamer. Yay! <laughs> Look, it was a long journey, alright? It took you several decades, but right now you're a peak achieved gamer, man. I haven't been using the Beast Blood pellets either, and they're pretty risky, but still. Um... How's, how's yours going? Um, so, I've just got some extra blood vials. I'm gonna go and try him gonna again. fuck him up. Uh, hey Mole, I've been enjoying these Bloodborne streams recently. I finished Sekiro as my first FromSoft game and loved it. Have you played it? I can see why some FromSoft veterans say it's too easy. I've not played it. I need to. Um, yeah, I oh, think, thanks. as far as I know, uh, you've played Sekiro, right? Uh, I have. Um, I like it, but I didn't beat it, so... <laughs> don't know if that's a rousing endorsement. God, I'm always yelling, Ludwig. Yeah, maybe I'll play it one day, who knows? <laughs> he does yell a lot. Uh, see, like, the audio is coming through on the stream, but my TV is, uh on two volume, and I can still hear the screaming. <laughs> <laughs> Chill. And it's like a weird sound as well that kind of 
doesn't come through the speakers very well. Like, it, it almost feels like the speakers are straining to get it out. So, uh, that's some, that's some good game, good audio design there. I mean, it is pretty scary, so... I'm struggling with this, <coughs> with this first phase. It's really difficult for me, anyway. Yeah, he's, um, that first phase is a tough one. Uh, I feel like whenever I'm beating him, it's because of the amount of times in my lifetime that I've played him, and I get a bit of muscle memory back on when to dodge and stuff. Right, because I'm... I used to hate him a lot more, but it might be because of my health there, like, he can... Some of his moves deal a shit ton of damage. Never quite far enough away, seems like, is my main issue. Also, it's locking onto like his belly button, which is not super helpful. A little yeah, hard the to get and that's the thing, and yeah. the problem with Bloodborne's lock on system, there's just a couple of things about it that don't quite work. Oh. Shooting his laser. Awesome. I haven't even like look at how little health I've taken. <laughs> yeah, I know. Oh my god. Uh, guys, I had a roommate buy this on my PS4 forever ago. He's gone, but Bloodborne remains, waiting, watching. Now the long streams it. I guess I need to play it. Yeah, go for it. A very unique game, as many would probably say. Try and jump, I don't fucking get out of the way. Yeah, he got me. It's over. Yep, it's over. Oh, wow, it's not. Alright. Well, yeah, there he Yeah. <laughs> yeah, when he does the jump up move, the uh, Metal and I just fucking panic roll. We're just like, ah. I, uh, I'm not sure if I, my brain is up to it. I think I'm, uh, I think I might call it there. I'm super tired. You know, that's probably a good idea, actually. I might do the same. Um, have either of you played... Oh, wait, you answered that one. Um, apparently GTA 6 will have one protagonist who is female. Will they fall into the go-woke-go-broke trap or avoid it? My money is on the former. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean... <laughs> just because... Has GTA done a female protagonist before? No, so they actually did an interview in 2013, I remember this, where they said, like, we're not interested in doing female protagonists, because Grand Theft Auto V had three, and people were like, well, why isn't there a woman? And they just said, we're not interested, uh, which is a perfectly fine response. Um, if they've changed their mind, that's also not a problem. Like, anything can work. Um, and I get the impression that Sadie Adler from Red Dead Redemption 2 may have push them towards the idea that you can make it work. Um, because Sadie Adler, I, I do like her, so if they did somebody like her or, you know. And plus, well, I guess the interesting thing with, with Rockstar is that, um, Dan Hauser, who wrote a lot of the games, has left. So I'm curious whether or not the tone of, like, Rockstar remains without him writing the scripts. So I, I wonder, because all the houses are gone, yeah, you've just, I think Sam House is still there, but he's producer, so I'm not sure what that means in terms of the direct contribution to, like, the story. Um, I hear rumors that Six is going to be Vice City, but also South America, um, but I'm not sure how true that is. I'm not sure if they'd want to do a map that splits into two locations. Like, it's probably, though, oh, it'd be really cool if they did, like, southern miami uh, southern florida and also like cuba or the the caribbean and i don't know trafficking drugs like around that area that could be cool as a as a story but yeah that's my answer i don't care if there's a woman in it <laughs> yeah neither do i um bloodborne's biggest flaws are the blood vials the estus flash from ds1 is the best healing mechanic of all these games and of course the fps 
Those are two major ones, yeah. I'd say the bosses, there's no way I could ignore that many bad bosses. Like, that's <laughs> significant. Bloodborne strength, so the coolest weapons. Eh, cool is, eh, sure. Uh, great horror atmosphere, sure. Great lore. Sure, terrific boss fights. I mean, there are terrific boss fights. Pity about how many there are. May the good dawn guide your way. And you too, sir. Is co-op possible with Bloodborne slash Dark Souls mods? That would be an answer for Google to, to give you, because I really am not sure these days of what the potential for uh, multiplayer is. But I'm pretty sure you can do it with um, all of Dark Souls 3. So that's something to consider. Uh, dude, I'm really happy with the meme potential, the memes that people are doing for um, that comic. <laughs> Let me send you one. <laughs> that was said to me during the stream. <laughs> That's a good one. Um, but yeah, I think we'll we'll stop it there. It's been it's been a fun one. Yeah. Uh, Super fun. Metal, myself, and Fringy will race Bloodborne with the cane at some point. That is our promise. Yeah, I don't okay. Think we've at some point. Settled on a time yet, but soon, soonish, sometime. It's gonna um, be fun. You know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm uh looking forward to like. I'm probably gonna beat Ludwig though off, um, like offline. <laughs> wow! Did you not hear that phrasing? I'm gonna beat Ludwig off. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if that's what it takes, he does spew out white stuff every once in a while. I don't know. That's true. I'm uh, I'm probably gonna beat him in my own time and then try and, well, often of course that might be, might do a stream again. Of just me trying to do old hunters, that might be that might be uh, some good memes. Hmm. But uh, the Mikolaj yeah, and Mirgo, what are the bosses you hate? Uh, you know what? We'll answer that. I think they're in the other Bloodborne vods we've done. So um, the last one was ask Fringy about Gimpy about the Gimpy Gimpy. I don't know what that is. Um, I don't know what that is. <laughs> yeah, sorry. All right then. Um, it's been fun. All we'll catch you around. Toodly pip. Cheerio. Catch you all later, guys.